Hey, I'm Beverly here and I am so excited. I could not sleep last night because this is a big deal. We have a hundred ring earners on our team. Yeah, I said a hundred. So listen, I wrote a poem about it last night because again, I couldn't sleep and I wanted to share it with you. So listen, you want to hear it? Here it goes. All right. Welcome everybody to the best event of the year. We got our TMV family and our TMV cousins here. You're absolutely in store for an incredible day. So get out your paper and your pens right away. You have the chance before you to listen and learn to the ones who cleared the path. So now you can go earn. It's something different about what the selves have done. The culture here is unmatched and their integrity can't be outdone. It takes something special to be a part of this team. We're changing lives and living our dreams. Now we're happy to announce it's no longer 98. This event was coming up, so we just couldn't wait. We made it to 100, ring earners that is, never done before in this legal show biz. We said we would do it and we certainly got it done because Team New Vision is number one. 100 rings, that's no small feat. New Vision Nation just can't be beat. Around these parts, we about that bling. Platinums and rings are a self-legacy thing. 100 ring earners, too many to name, but we do need to mention our platinum game. Tracy and Darnell Self are leadership extraordinaire. Then we have Michael Humes, he's so debonair. Alistair Edwards, always coming in strong. Then of course, we have the great Burke Calhoun and Fatima Salam. TMV, all we do is win. So you know Marty and Isra had to jump on in. Then shortly after, Jackie and Alex Cote said, hold up y'all. We want to play. It's impossible to stop a man and a woman who will not quit. So James and Kanitha Kelly said, we want some of this. But hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, oh yes, there's more. Kevin and Nakia Mac <laughs> just went platinum four. Keep watching, guys. We're on the move. We don't talk the talk. We show and prove. And if you can't catch this vision, you must be blind. Crazy, insane, or just messed up in the mind. Team New Vision, we just can't be stopped. We're growing quickly, with you or not. So make a good choice and stick around because it's facts, a better team will never be found. Some people chose to walk away and that's just fine. We can't force you to stay. Just leave quickly and watch what you say and make room for the new soldiers who are on the way. We wish you the best and please don't cry when you realize the grass is turf on the other side. With Team New Vision, you have the real deal, unmatched leadership, the best in the field, 100 ring earners, millionaires galore. Never in history has this been done before. TMV for life, I say it with pride. 100 ring earners on our side. New Vision Nation, we all we got. We're taking this thing all the way to the top. 100 ring earners, but it won't last because just keep watching, they're popping up fast. TMV DNA is not for the faint hearted. 100 ring earners and we're just getting started. Faith, family, finance, fitness, and fun. We just want to know who's 101. Now, it's time for the things to commence and bring out our host for this incredible event. No pun intended, they're selfless indeed, helping thousands of people to thrive and succeed. So sit back in your seats wherever you are and welcome the most phenomenal leadership by far, showing these folks how to create generational wealth, the incomparable, the amazing, Tracy and Darnell Self. I'll be getting to the money. Everybody man. I think I'm getting too much money. Everybody man. Hey, what's up, TMB? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. I couldn't sleep last night. Actually, I haven't slept for about a week. But I'm going to be we finally got it started. We are virtual. This is our first time. This is awesome. So we're started. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to go to about 355. We're going to take a five minute break. So hurry up and get your snacks and everything together. Come right back. We're going to start right at four o'clock and end around 730 ish. So, you know, we had to take everything that we usually do in two days and put it into one day. So get ready because I am excited. Yeah, so she's a little shorter here, so I got to take her down. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> hey, welcome to you, family and cousins. We certainly appreciate you all. As my wife said, we're normally uh, in person, so we miss you guys. We're used to getting hugs and 
getting a chance to have that human connection. And so um, we are here, live stream, first time ever. We're great. Listen, this is history right here. Seriously. And so we appreciate you being a part of this. We'll look back on this and say, remember when? Remember we had our first live stream event. And so we're looking forward to next year being in person with you guys once again. Sorry for our delay. Uh, we've got some uh, some technical challenges, but we're going to work through them. We decided to go ahead and get started anyway, and we'll just come through it. That's what we do, right? We focus on the solutions, not the problem. So I do want to manage expectations. We have 48 new senior directors and above. Senior directors, direct, uh, executive directors, bronze, silver, gold, platinums. And so uh, forgive me because we're going to have to show those video clips um, on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page, on our Monday Night Live. So we'll be, of course, highlighting those success stories because to me, it's just as important as the ring earners because the ring earners wouldn't be ring earners without all those senior directors and above. And that's a huge problem I have. Can you imagine? You guys, listen, I wish upon you the day where you have 50 new senior director and executive directors on your team. And so we spent time uh, recording all of those. So, I mean, tear-jerking stories, right? Stories of people who just real people who wanted a real change and Legal Shield provided that. So I apologize, guys. I know many of you are waiting to see those stories. Those stories won't be on this particular show. We've got a full packed yeah. schedule. Yeah. I mean, full for you today. And we know based on the content that we chose today, it's going to be life altering for you. Now we do have our core systems, our 10 core systems, our seven skills, fundamental skills. We trained on that on our last event. For those who are new, we just want you to go to your LS Engage and you can pull those trainings up. We're not gonna do those trainings today because we want you to have access to looking at those over and over again that you already have available to you. But we thought we combed through a few skills and philosophies that's helped this organization now to have 100 <laughs> ring earners and uh, 25 Millionaire Club members. Kudos to my sister, Karen Beverly. Amazing. Yeah, That's amazing. She yeah, she was like, yeah, I just woke up and wrote this. So, I, you know, can I share it? I'm like, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. That's a skill, right? That's a talent. That's a gift. So uh, you all know we're faith, family, finance. And we just added fitness. But faith, family, finance has been for, uh, it's been our model for 21 years, right? And we just added fitness to that. Uh, not just physical, but also mental. And so because faith is first, we're going to open up in prayer, and then we're going to get this show started, all right? So you guys, I hope you're ready. Um, we just, you're, you're, the folks behind the scenes have worked so hard, so make sure, we'll get to, I'll recognize them a little bit later, but make sure we thank them um, when you see them next year at the event or if you see them at any other events along the way. And then um, all of our trainers worked really hard, too, to provide information that they felt would help you to uh, multiply your success. All right, so let's, uh, let's begin with prayer. It's the only way we do it here with TNB. God, we thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to share information with the organization and even our cousins, those who are not a part of Team Vision, who trust in our leadership. We thank you, God, for the things you've already done, the things you're doing right now, this second, in everyone's lives, in the things you're about to do. We ask that you expand our territory, that you bless us, that you place a hedge of protection so that our enemies will never reach us. Father, we thank you for all the things that will happen over the next seven hours. We ask for favor, the favor that you've always provided, unmerited favor to this organization. We ask that the seeds that are sown today manifest itself economically to create generational wealth so that those who are watching their children's children we never worry about money. And in the end, Father, we ask that you get all the glory. All these blessings we ask in your name. Amen. All right, guys, listen. Um, because uh, we're here in the United States and Canada, and we, we have some team in the UK too, so shout out to all of our UK team members. Um, but here, we're mostly 99.9% .9 right now in the United States and Canada. There's no better way to uh, start this then with our U.S. anthem and our Canadian anthem. Thank you also to Renona Johnson and Darlene Quincy for helping us out with those renditions. Mm -hmm.
September of 1998. Many teams have won championships, but only a select few dominated for extended periods of time. The level of dominance, unbeaten. More Hall of Famer, the greatest team performance, most dominant team performance of all times.
never forget in 1991 how I felt watching the beating of Rodney King. I felt helpless as a 19-year-old kid wondering what I could do. I was passionate about helping people. And it wasn't until 1998 when we joined Legal Shield that uh, we heard about Abner Luima and knew that we had found a way that we could help. That was almost 30 years ago, from Rodney King to today. And we see it continues to happen over and over, whether it's Sandra Bland, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Atiana Jefferson, Breonna Taylor. The list goes on and on and on. One thing about Team Division is we'll continue to say their names because Dr. Martin Luther King said that our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And Team Division will never be silent. That's right. That's right. No, thank you. And, and you know, perspective doesn't change what you see. It changes how you see it. And so I've been asked, you know, where does TMB stand? And what Mr. Hume said is absolutely right. We've never had to come out with where we stand as if it's something new. We've always stood on the same principles. And, and so for us, we just wanted to share for the new folks and maybe, you know, you don't know where we stand. So we thought we'd reiterate where we've always stood. In fact, I've had keynote talks at the end of our TNB event where we've shined a light, we've highlighted bias and brutality and racism. We've been doing that since the beginning. Right? So, so yes, we stand for equality for everybody. But right now, we realize that there is a disproportionate amount of deaths happening by unarmed Black men and women. That's why we say Black Lives Matter. So if you did not know where we stand, we're letting you know exactly where we stand. And we're going to continue to encourage dialogue that motivates and inspires learning, listening first, learning and action. Because TMV has and always will stand for what's right. And what is right is equality. And right now there is inequality and we will never be silent.
Wow. Yeah. It, um, it's an honor to do what we do. It is. I mean, yes, a lot of times we talk about the money and um, all the opportunities we have to bless people uh, financially. And that is a blessing, right? When you're able to focus on other things besides the money because you have money. But a lot of people think that, oh, all you do is talk about money as if money is the most important thing. But when you don't have money, you seem to talk about money more because you're trying to get it. Right. So it's hard to sleep at night. But when you do have it and money was never the driver or the only driver, you don't have to keep talking about it because then you get to wake up thinking about what can we do? And guess what? Guess who I hope today? Because you're not thinking about your bills anymore. And it's a different feeling when you're no longer focused on your bills. That's why we're excited because we get to make a difference. Yeah, it's amazing because since we've been in the quarantine every Monday, I pick five people that I don't talk to often and check with them. And like my husband said, I can focus on those things because Legal Shield and TMV have taken care of other things. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I mean, I learned so much from her. I'm like, how brilliant is that to, to select five people? You know, who can I reach out to that perhaps maybe they're dealing with loneliness, maybe they're dealing with, you know, some depression, maybe they're right. And so, they just need to hear a voice. And I thought, man, how awesome is that? Nothing to do with business, just a hello, checking on you, right? And maybe some of you watching this are like, yeah, she's called me. So how awesome is that? Yeah, but it's crazy because when I was watching just everything this morning and listening to my sister's point, just starting in the basement, I can clearly remember being in the house and my husband saying, hey, a couple of people are going to come over. We're just going to kind of talk in the basement. So casual. <laughs> and I said, okay, that's fine. You know, y'all need anything? He's like, no, I'm just going to brainstorm and kind of talk about some things. Six people in the basement, all those years ago, led to this amazing, amazing day. It was all to come here today. Yeah. Virtually. Yeah. You had no idea. Yeah. And it's just been amazing. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, thank you. And look, here's, <laughs> a, here's the thing, TMB, I want you all to get so many people. Like, can it happen for me? I just wonder if it can happen. And I think it's only because they don't know that history, right? They don't know. It literally started in our basement talking to a few people about, look, here's the vision. Here's where we're going. And, and it didn't happen. Came with the name too. Yeah, well, we went to IHOP later. In, 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 yeah, in an international house of pancakes, shout out. At least it wasn't <laughs> Stop it. Anyway, my point is, you know, we... The reason why I'm so excited when I meet new people, they're like, dude, this dude is excited, is because I was there. No, listen, listen, in this industry, there are people who started at the top, there are people who got a deal, there are people, right? And look, I'm not knocking that as long as that's real stories told, right? The thing I don't like is when there's um, this, this pretentious uh, story that's being told of this guy who's making a million dollars a month, and, and they were positioned at the top. They don't know what it's like to be new in that company. They may maybe new somewhere else, but they don't. They never start at the bottom. And we truly started at the bottom. This is why I think our passion is what it is, because we know. I mean, we know that you're new right now. We know where you can be. Like you, you may not believe, but you can't convince me that you can't do it, right? So borrow our belief until you get it. So the CMB history started a long time ago. Got started in the basement with a handful of us. Not everybody's still here with us today, which just goes to show you that everybody's going to be with you. Listen, and that's, that's everything. Bill Gates, right? You can go through all types of folks who, you know, they said, hey, look, here's our vision. Here's where we're going. And most of those folks who started with them didn't end with them. So you have to be okay with that. So um, just know that we believe, one of our core values is that we believe in the uh, symphony of success. And so we realize we're all different. And that's okay. That's okay. So right now, by the way, I should have said this when Mr. Humes and I were talking. If you're offended by us saying Black Lives Matter, it's probably not the right team for you, to be honest. 
right? And I don't, I'm not being insensitive. I'm not being belittling. I'm just saying that if anybody else was dealing with what the black community is dealing with, I would be first to say, and you guys who've been around me for a long time, I have voiced my opinion when there is an underserved community, right? Um, but my point is, is that that's who we are, right? And so we don't apologize. We never force our religion on people. We never force anything on folks, but we're not afraid. We're unapologetic to talk about, you know, what we stand for. And I hope that's okay with you, right? I would want a leader who stands on something, right? Who stands for something and not just, you know, blowing with the wind. The setting of the cell is important. All right, guys, so we got some history. I'm not going to go deep into it today, but you should know that we're not guessing at how this works. People are like, well, I'm the C. I don't need all the hype. I don't need all the, I don't join if it's going to be just motivational. Listen, listen, guys, if you're not where you want to be, you need the motivation. If you're not where you want to be, you need the education. If you're not where you want to be, you need the association. That's what I'm saying, right? And so when people are like, I'm not sure if I should join. Are you where you want to be? No, well, then you should join. Like, why wouldn't you join this environment right now? Unless you're already there. I'm, look, I'm going to be taking notes from the training today because I'm not where I want to be. I'm honest. I'm not where I want to be. All right. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team oh. here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, so you all should know we're, uh, that's Gary Jenkins uh, giving up. So, uh, so we're doing all this manually now. It was all automated, and then we got, like, Darius Chapman has eight computers in front of him. So we got a lot happening, but we, we had it all automated, and now we got to upload again. So meanwhile, we're doing it manually. That's what we do. We focus on solutions. So that's why you can see what we're doing now. Normally, it would just flow through, like, the breakout. No worries. Yeah, by the second session. That's all good. Either way, we're going we're gonna to flow through. You still get the same content. All right, so we have teammates all over the place, right? And uh, my wife's idea was, you know, hey, you know, why don't we kind of go through some of the folks, and most of them are ringers that you'll see, go through some of the folks who are just spotted all around North America and see when they caught the vision. By the way, I don't know if you can see Cast the Vision here, but, um, you know, that's our saying. We always say Cast the Vision. So if you're hashtagging anything as you're posting on social media throughout the day, uh, TMB DNA, Right? It's the DNA. It's who, what, what makes TMB. Like, you know someone TMB because they're leaning forward, they're, they're uh, attentive, they're taking notes. People are like, man, they're team division, aren't they? Right? Um, or at least a cousin, right? Someone who is part of the team division culture and, and buying to our philosophies. Um, so TMB, D, hashtag TMB DNA, hashtag New Vision Nation, uh, hashtag um, Reset2020, Reset 2020, and there's one more missing, hashtag TMB for life. Okay, so that's what we've been hashtagging all year. So hashtag New Vision Nation, hashtag TMB, the number four, life, hashtag, um, oh, by the way, and cast a vision, you cast a vision too. Yep, so anyway, Reset 2020, New Vision Nation, so you can hashtag all of that. All right, and of course, TMB. So we're gonna go out and get uh, some folks who are, see when they caught the vision, what year? You remember your year you caught the vision? Let's go out to some of those folks at this time, Mr. Beecher. Hello, my name is Anthony Klingskills. I am from South Carolina. My background is entrepreneurship. I caught the vision in 2013 and I am TNV for life. Hi, my name is Angel Stevens from Florida. My background is United States Army. I caught the vision in 2002 and I am TNV for life. Hi, my name is Farrah Shelley from Atlanta. My background is in law enforcement. I caught the vision in 2014 and I am TNV for life. Hello, hello, Team New Vision and Legal Shield family. I'm Mary Beverly, right here from Money Making Maryland, where it all started. My career consisted of computers and information systems. And back in 1999, I caught the vision. And ever since then, I've been TNV for life. My name is Lolita Harrison from the DC, Maryland area. My background formerly was in the medical healthcare industry. I caught the vision in 1999, and I am TNV for life. My name is Eddie and my wife Vanessa Bells. We are from South Carolina. My background is I used to be a broke college student. My background is in wardrobe consulting. We caught the vision in 2002 and we are TMV, TMV for life. life. Fatima Salam, Atlanta, Georgia, background education. I caught the vision in 2006 and I'm TMV for life. Hi, I'm Kenny Spurlock and my wife is Dr. Tabitha Spurlock. My background was accounting and auditing in corporate America. Hers is in education and business ownership. We caught the vision 
in 2012, and we are TMB for life. Hi, we are Kevin and Rochelle Palachi from the state of Connecticut. I have a background as a commercial mortgage analyst for an insurance company. And I work in the labor movement as a union organizer. We caught the vision in 2003, and we are TMB for life. I'm Dana Swarner, and I'm a former piano teacher. I'm Bob Swarner, my background is computer engineer. We caught the vision in 2016, and we, we are TMB for life. My name is Jack Soros. I have a background in computer engineering. I caught the vision in 2004, and I'm absolutely TMV for life. Hello, we're the Winders. Lewis and Rwanda. My background is in education. My background is sales. In 2002, we caught the vision. And we are TMV for life. life. Hi, my name is Kyle D. Sprague, and I'm calling in from Las Vegas, Nevada. My background is that in the grocery management business. And Look, I caught the vision back in 2005, and I tell you what, I'm TMV for life. Hi family, my name is Ben Hilger from Hawaii. My background is military and telecommunications. I caught the vision in 2011, and I am TMV for life. Aloha. My name is Balji Chahan from Toronto, Canada. My background is electronics engineering and AV production. I caught the vision in 2005, and I'm TMV for life. What up, TMV family? Malik Self here from Money Making Maryland. Background's a full-time college student. I caught the vision in 2018, and I'm TMV for life. Let's get it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was a cool idea. We have idea. some more, so stay tuned during the day. Because we got some more. Yep. TMV for life. Right? We did. We did. So we up for our next training. For our first training. Yeah, the first one. Yeah. How oh. should we start today? Hmm. Oh, gotta be great. They're all great. They're all great. So we just had to pick one. Yep. And uh, you know this person well from the very he was in the basement that we talked about. He was in the basement. He was in the basement. But you know what is my one of my favorite stories about him is that when we got the call that we got the hundred thousand dollar ring because back then that there wasn't fifty, so the first ring we could get was a hundred thousand. So we got the call, we were so excited, and there was a knock at the door. So we opened the door, and it was Mike Hughes, and he came in with presents, champagne. He was so excited. He was jumping up and down, and I looked at her, and I was like, did he get the ring too? <laughs> and it just shows his character and how he always puts other people first always think of other people. It just warmed my heart every time. And that's one of the reasons why, just one of the reasons why I fell in love with him. Because he's awesome. So, yes. Yep. It's one of the reasons he's fell in love with Oh, I have plenty of stories I can share. Wow. Wow. We'll share those in the ring earner trip. So, those, this is when you get, listen, if you <laughs> really want to get all the inside, like the, the stories that we really don't tell publicly, you have to get the ring. And the ring earners, you know what I'm talking about. We don't have ring earner retreats. Cause we're up to two in the morning hanging out. Okay. That's when you get the real. Just meet me at the pool. I can spill all the tea. <laughs> oh man! So get the ring, cause you guys go hear some stories. You're like, what? That happened? No way! So you know what we're talking. We know what we're talking about now. Half a million dollar ring or a multi, 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 multi. That's seven million. Millionaire club member. Platinum world member. Her bestie, Mike Hughes. Hey, good afternoon, Team Division family. I am Mike Humes from Money Making Maryland. Blessed to be one of the many millionaire club members here with TNV, and I'm so excited for you to be a part of TNV Reset 2020. Uh, and I'm even more excited to get an opportunity to share not only my story, but the importance of personal development and associations and how that's played such a huge part in my business and in my success and in my life as well. So let's talk about it. Uh, you know, again, Mike here was born and raised here in the Washington, D.C. area. I went to high school here. I went to college as well. I think we all have a friend or two that spent about five years in college and left school a sophomore, but that's my story, right? I was trying to find my way. Growing up in the inner city, uh, just didn't see a lot of examples of individuals who had gone on to do amazing things. And uh, although I was a hard worker, I grew up in a single parent household, I always used to wonder how come uh, a single mom or a single dad can raise two, three or four children. And those same two, three or four children can't retire that single parent. And I didn't want that to be my story. So although I went on to college and didn't succeed, 
I became a postal worker, which was actually the career I chose. And at 21 years of age, I was blessed to buy my first home. I was driving a great car, but I was still financially challenged. And I was also time challenged working 65, 70 hours a week. And I'll never forget a coworker of mine tried to explain Legal Shield to me. And in explaining the service and, and that you have access to these attorneys, here I am delivering mail in the nation's capital to lawyers and law firms that charge two, three, four, sometimes five, six, seven hundred dollars an hour. So there was no way I believed that the average person had access to this service because I thought, hey, if it was real, everyone would already have it. I'm so thankful and blessed that two years later, this service came my way again, along with uh, the introduction of this incredible company. And that's when things started to change for me. So let's talk about associations. Let's talk about personal development. Because when I look at what changed most in my life, it was my associations. It was getting away from those who had my problem and starting to surround myself with those who had my answer. That's when I started to see the success. That's when I started to think differently, was being around people who were going, but most importantly, growing in the same direction that I so desired. We all have wants and reasons. We all know the importance of continuing to dream. But we know we live in a society specifically right now where there are 41 million uh, folks who are out of work filing for unemployment, right? We know that folks are, aren't doing well mentally as a result uh, of the new normal that's happening around us, where it is so key that you surround yourself with the right people, and even more key that you work on yourself through personal development. And that's what I found here with Team New Vision. I had to, again, get in a position where I can be around people who thought the way I wanted to think and who were living the lifestyle that I wanted to live. Maybe they didn't have it right away. When I look at my mentors, Don Ellen Tracy Self, and when I started to follow the principles uh, that they were living by, I started to see things change. But in the very beginning, they didn't have all the trappings of success. But what they did have was the right mindset. They were working on themselves. I'll never forget Mr. Self giving me the book, Who Moved My Cheese, right? There, there's five different bookshelves that are in the Hume's household today. And it was simply that one book as I started my Legal Shield journey to becoming full time. I'd already had success. I'd earned about $51,000 part time and part full time that first year. But it was that book, and it was the question that it asked me Mike, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And I said, if I wasn't afraid, I would come out of my comfort zone. If I wasn't afraid, I would do more, I would be more. I would go out here and I would share this with more people. I would do presentations. I would do the very thing that I'm doing right now, which is public speaking. Because I was that person who would literally show up to the pre presentation, the meeting late, just so I didn't have to do the introduction because I was that terrified of getting in front of other people. But something had to change in my life, right? Something had to give. And I wanted to be that person in my family that changed the Humes family tree. And in order to do that, I had to no longer live life afraid. And when that question was asked to me, I, I responded with a resounding, I'm going to go out and do whatever it takes to change the Humes family tree. And I watched my income grow from 51000 to full-time, a multiple six-figure income. I watched as I continued through personal development, reading books like The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership and The 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader by John C. Maxwell. I watched my income grow another six figures every single year as a result of continuing to sow in myself. You know, Malcolm X was asked a long time ago, right? What was his, his alma mater, right? He was on a panel of educators and they said, so what's your alma mater? Well, there were folks who were at Harvard and Princeton and he said, my alma mater is books. And I'm telling you, personal development will change the direction of your life as it did for me. The second thing that was so key wasn't just personal development. It was getting around people who were also growing personally. Listen, the 10 most dangerous words in the English language or what will other people think and what will other people say? And it's unfortunate that most of us live life, live life rather worried about what other people are saying and doing versus the wants and reasons that got us to be a part of this incredible team. I had to decide that I was, if I wanted to, to go and grow, I was gonna have to be willing to go and grow inside. I was gonna have to be willing to control my mind. I was gonna have to be willing to get around people who wanted more, right? Listen, some of the, 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 the most powerful motivational speeches I ever received. They didn't come from Darnell Self. They didn't come from Les Brown or Jim Rohn. They didn't come from uh, Og Mandino or Dr. Mark Vic Victor Hansen. You know who some of the greatest motivational speakers, uh, most powerful speeches, I would say, who they came from? They came from my negative friends and family. 
They came from people who had a watered down, mediocre food stamp mentality and existence. And they would tell me what I couldn't be, right? It came from people who told me what couldn't happen, what doesn't happen in this industry. I don't know another mailman who's done that. I don't know another mall worker who doesn't. I don't know another single parent who's accomplished these things. And I had to get away from those who had my problem to surround myself with those who had my answer. And that's where personal development family started to take hold. So I'm challenging us. I'm challenging you, right, to commit to the books of the month. Not just read them, comprehend them, and then apply them. I'm challenging us to be a better and bigger organization coming out of this TNB Reset 2020. And moreover, I'm challenging us to continue to read the books necessary that will take you to the places that you want to go. You know, one of the greatest books I ever read was Go For No. Why was that book so powerful? Because it, it taught me to stop accepting where I was, to stop getting comfortable and complacent with the success that I'd already had, even as a platinum executive director uh, for many, 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 many years, right? But to know that there are new levels that I needed to go, that true leadership doesn't, uh, you, you, can, you can tell what a true leader has accomplished because true leadership doesn't evolve in the moments when things are great, right? It's in moments of uh, times of challenge and controversy, as Dr. Martin Luther King said. And as we're going through challenges right now, that's how you define true leadership, is how does a leader respond in a crisis situation? right? The same way we had to, to reschedule this, this Zoom, right? To turn this into a live stream versus a live event. That shows the true leadership of Darnell and Tracy Self to make sure that you're still able to get the same information, that your financial independence weekend wasn't null and void because there were financial independence weekends or 4th of July, I should say, and Labor Days, right? And Mother's Days and Father's Days and Christmas and Easter and all the holidays that Mike Humes had to work at the post office. And the only way that was going to change is if I made a decision to say no more. The only way that was going to change was not for my supervisor to resolve, hey, I'm going to give you time to go build your business. It was for me to resolve that in order for it to happen, I was going to have to make it happen. I was going to have to do things that others weren't willing to do. I, I couldn't have the blessing without being willing to go through a little bit of a beatdown. Right? We can't say that we want to win the war, but we're not trying to get in any fights. Listen, there's a fight out there for our financial freedom. There's a fight out there for your freedom in your family, and you've got to be willing to fight for it. You've got to be willing to fight back to get it. So I knew that things had, wouldn't change unless I was willing to change. And moreover, I knew I had to associate with people right, who also wanted to see me win. I was too busy associating with people who were stuck where they were. I was doing a three-way call just today with a young lady who said, look, I want this. I need this. I'm a single parent, and, and I know I can make it happen, but I failed at just about everything I've done, and I already know what my friends and family are going to say. I already know that they're going to be people who are going to think that, that it's not for me. What makes this different? And it felt good that I could you know, say with conviction, you just joined Team New Vision. That's what makes this good. You join the fastest growing team in all of Legal Shield. You join pretty much the number one team in the entire uh, industry of direct sales. And I can say that and I can look everyone in the face and say it because the numbers don't lie. When you've helped 100 people earn rings here with this company, when you've helped 26 individuals as a team become millionaires and knowing that we're gonna double those numbers in the next 24 months. But you've gotta make a decision that, you're, that enough is enough. You've got to make a decision that you want to be a part of that number. And as I talked earlier about go for no, I want to share my screen here in a second because I want you to understand that there are levels to failure that we must overcome. That in order to get away from what the average person is thinking and doing, we have to be able to accept and make no our vitamin. It has to make us stronger. We have to go out and start to accomplish even more. It's one thing to, to look at at those of us who've been around and who are tenured, to see a, a Kevin Mack at a, a, and Nakia Mack at the Platinum Four Executive Director level and say, wow, that's great that it could happen for them. To see a Jackie and Alex Cote, right, who've only been in less than a year, and to see a multiple six-figure income hitting their account, or over $350,000 like Marty and Israel Wynn have been able to earn, and the new ring earners that continue to come. Family, we have success happening on every single level. So you joined an organization that if you're willing to, to get in the car, right, and follow the system and let us drive you to where you want to go, success is going to happen. Because the alternative was for me to continue to sit comfortably in the back seat of my life and allow my supervisor and others at the U.S. Postal Service steer me wherever they wanted me to go. And so I had to resolve that in order for those things to change, I was going to have to be different, that I was going to have to get away from the people who didn't want to, to work on themselves and grow. And I was going to have to surround myself with people who thought differently. Was it easy? Absolutely not. 
Is it easy? Absolutely not. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it is. But here's what I will tell you. It's worth it. To be able to give away six figures when I so choose is worth it. To be able to adopt villages in Haiti, Dominican Republic, Guatemala, Costa, Fre Costa Rica, to be in a position where we could feed families long before COVID happened and now even during this season through our nonprofit Fertile Ground and to know that those individuals don't even know where it comes from. That's a great feeling. To be in a position where I know that my family would never have to want for anything again is a feeling that allows me to go to sleep every single night knowing that I'm living my purpose because I knew a long time ago that my day job was no longer my destiny. And you're going to have to resolve if that's for you as well. So let me share my screen because uh, I'm fired up and I can keep going. Uh, but I want you to understand the power of associations and personal development uh, on an even deeper level. Right? I want you to understand the mindset behind it all and the five failure levels that I was just alluding to. And here's the first one. The first one is level one. It's the ability to fail. Now, here's what we know. We know 100% of the people on the planet Earth have the ability to fail, right? It's where we all start. But here's the thing. What keeps most people at this level status uh, is their intense desire to avoid failure, to avoid confrontation, to avoid going out and, and becoming more. 80% of the people out there will never get past this basic level simply because they don't want the confrontation. Here's level two is the willingness to fail. Level two people develop the willingness to fail, which means that they've come to accept that failure is just a natural byproduct of the process of success. Fewer than 20% of all people ever make it to this level. But here's a scary thought. Uh, even when they make it to level two, they won't even sustain it for a consistent period of time. And then there's level three, the wantingness to fail. And you see this from those who are at the executive director position and above. They get to a point where they make know their vitamin. They understand that not only am I okay with failing, uh, but, but I, I want it, right? It's, it's what's gonna help me to get to a different level. You can see it. It says having the wantingness to fail goes beyond mere tolerance and acceptance of failure as a part of life. So fewer than 5% of people will ever get to this level. And then this is for the ring earners, right? Failing bigger and failing faster because they understand that the more I fail and the faster I fail, the quicker I can get to success, right? Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a mindset that has to happen. And it only happens as you wrap yourself up in personal development. But most importantly, not just wrapping yourself up in personal development, but wrapping yourself up with the people who are going and growing, as I've already said, in the right direction. And then there's level five, level five, which is failing exponentially, right? This is the final level for those rare individuals. These are your Platinum World Council members, your Platinum Executive Directors, who understand that I'm going to continue to fail. I'm going to continue to talk to more people. I'm going to continue to, to put myself in a position where I can control the way I live, and I can help others do the same. I don't want you to think it's going to be easy, family. I don't want you to think that the people around you are always going to have your back because that's just not how it is. You're going to have to try. You're going to have to fail. You're going to have to try again in order to have success. And this short video clip that I want you to watch, I want you to understand that, that this is happening and it's okay to, to get to those levels of success and even understand that some of the people closest to you still won't see it. So let's watch this clip. Johnson's Ohio's. Not anymore. It's all yours, Mama. For you and Mardale and the kids. Where are you? You bought this for me? Yeah, all yours, free and clear. Darling. There's no fridge, no stove, neither. They'll be here for you, me then. How much money this cost you? You never mind that. Well, you shouldn't have done this. You need a decent place. You shouldn't have done it. You should have asked me first. Darling, government's gonna find out about this house. They're gonna stop my welfare. Oh, I know they ain't. Yeah, they are. You're fine. You're working, but I can't live without my welfare. Mama, I send you money. What about my medicine? Medicaid gonna cut me off. How am I supposed to get my medicine? I'll send you more money. I hope you don't expect JD to move in here with us. He's getting out, you know. Why don't you just give me the money? You have to buy me a house. 
didn't have to, Mom. But it's yours. You want the money? Sell it. I don't... I know you didn't mean nothing hurtful by this, but sometimes you just don't think things through. This is true, Mama. I'll try and keep the house. Just worry about all those expenses. I'll send you some more money. <laughs> that man hitting you? It's from the fight. Oh. I'm a fighter, Mama. Find a man, Mary M. Live proper. People hear about what you're doing and they laugh. Hurts me to tell you, but they, they laugh at you. <laughs> wow. How powerful is that? To understand that no matter how much success you have, at some point, even the people closest to you still won't see it. And for many of us, that may be the story that we have today. For some of us, that may be part of the journey. But here's the bottom line. We still only have two choices. You have two distinct choices in life. One is to be less, is to do less, is to have less, is to uh, not strive to be better, is to not work on ourselves less, right? But the other choice is to do it all, is to have more, is to do more is to be in a position where you can give away as much as you want to give away, that you can enjoy as much time as you, you can ever imagine with the people that you love, right? Many of folks have gone through the failures of life and they've come out on the other side. Why not you? Many people have gone through a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, the, the, a divorce, the loss of a loved one, and they still continue to pick themselves up and, and achieve massive success. Why not you? These are the individuals that decided to no longer allow their, their faith to, to sit on the sidelines. They didn't allow their fear to put their faith in a wheelchair, right? And allow it to cripple them from going and growing and becoming all that God has called them to be. You're in a position now, being a part of this team, where you could be all that you've been called to be. And it's up to you to accept that you have an opportunity here with this company, here with this incredible team, to go and grow and be as great as God has called you to be. You know, I think my good friend, our, our fellow ring earner, Harold Branch out of Arizona said it best when he poetically said, what will be your destiny? Will it be something beautiful or will people have to get up and lie at your funeral? Family, the only way you can fail is to quit, but we all know it's impossible to stop a man or woman who will not quit. God bless you guys. I look forward to seeing you at the next level. while he's training, I'm sitting here thinking, what he's training on, I witnessed it. I watched him struggle, I watched him have hard times. I remember being inside the briefing and getting a phone call to come outside and just sitting in the truck crying, saying I can't go home. I can't, I can't go in the briefing. And I had talked him through that and just it's amazing to see the success he's had like so far. Yeah, yeah. And and I think that's one of the reasons why again the longer you're in Legal Shield and with Team New Vision. And when we say Team New Vision, by the way, if you're an adopted family member, meaning that you're not a part of our genealogy, okay. sorry, you TMV today, baby. Yeah. You, you're here, so you're our cousin. <laughs> so we're talking about you too, right? So you take it because we're giving it to you too. And I know we're hard on our team, so we're going to be hard on you too. But it just, it, it, it just speaks to the longer you're here, the less excuses you can really have. And I think that's Mr. Hughes said it so well. You know, some people, that whole ability to fail, Everybody has the ability fail, to fail. I've heard it said before, show me someone who's never failed and I'll show you a failure, right? And so, and, and so when we, because we watch so many people fall, because you watch Mr. Hughes cry outside, and I remember that day, you were like, hey, Mike's out there crying and trying to talk to him. I mean, you guys, people have no idea because they see you for who you are today and not where we come from. And all I'm saying is we all have some struggles, right, that we deal with and, um, it's special, special, special team, and we're at a special place. So whatever you're going through, there's somebody else.
can help walk you through that because they've been there. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when you're in it, sometimes it's hard to see how you're getting out of it. Um, but um, basically, your ignorant and the key to Tucker always says you have to learn how to temporarily put it in a box. You put it in a box, you set it to the side, and you fly. Yeah. And you pick it back up and you deal with it again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's funny because people are like, it's hard. Well, yeah, it is hard. Because people are like, well, you know, I don't feel well. But listen, the bills still come if you don't feel well. I had a headache. But guess what? I went to work when I had a job with a headache. Why would I build my own dream with a headache? Like, I give myself permission to take off with the headache. But I went to work for somebody else's dream with a headache. Now, listen, I'm not saying that you should work your business when you have a headache. I'm just trying to say that's how I had to, I had to talk to myself. I'm like, D, with that same headache, did you go to work for somebody else's dream? Right? So why wouldn't you go to work on your own dream for, for, with the same headache? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying that philosophy, you got to question yourself. I've been taught to go work for somebody else on my child's birthday, but won't work for myself on my child's birthday. I've been taught to, to you know, my kids are crying when I go to my job, but I still go. But yet, if they cry and I have my own business, I don't go to the meeting. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it because when you say you're doing it for that family. But again, we all different. We all want different things. So I'm not here to tell you to leave the kids. I'm, <laughs> I'm here to say that I had to have this talk with me. All right. Okay. All right. Who's next? All right. Who's next? Go, 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 go. That was for my kids. Okay. So uh, <laughs> you have a problem. So that's what I'm going to start to tell you about her. I'll tell you a little next time. So this next, uh, this, this next couple, they just came out the gates on fire. Okay. I don't look, I'm lost, I'm at a loss of words. Like, I don't even know what to say. Cause you know, a lot of folks say it, but then these folks said it and did it. I never forget, they, they've been there for a month and they went to their first uh, event and they were like, hey, look, uh, we just see the roadmap to platinum. I'm like, how about you go ED first, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, hey, you know, that's, a, that's pretty up. They were like, no, 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 we, 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 need, we need to go ahead and get the plane to platinum. And, you know, everybody says that. They did it, <laughs> like record breaking, right? And then the ring, and then the ring, and then, you know, it, it's just ridiculous. And we but, haven't been able to spend a lot of time with them. Not yet. I'm supposed to go to dinner with y'all. Yeah, because of the whole I know. situation that's going on globally. So I know. it's amazing. And then all the EDs they have on their team, they haven't even met any of you all yet. And they've got a ton of EDs now. I can't wait to see yeah. everybody in person. Yep. And they just broke their first ring. Yes. Yes, they did. They haven't been in for one year yet. All this stuff we're talking about. They have not been there for one year. Amazing. So, on behalf of the couple, Alex and Jackie Cote, hey, look, get ready for this one. Get ready. Listen, whatever you're doing right now, tell all distractions to leave you right now. Just say, hey, no, no, no I, need, I, need, I need 20 minutes. Go away. Go away. <laughs> you want to see this. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, you know, tape up their mouths. Do what you got to do. Anybody that's talking right now, just say, hey, stop right now. You're in a barbershop, tell everybody, shut up. I'm about to watch something important. <laughs> Please help me welcome Platinum Executive yeah. Director, Jackie Cote. Hey, TNV family. I am so excited that I get to come to you today and present as a part of the Reset 2020 convention. It's such an honor to be a part of the TNV family. And when Mr. Self asked me to put together this presentation, I was really excited to do so because I do believe that there is no better time than today to hit the reset button. We are literally entering into the second half of the year and it's an incredible time to recommit, to focus in, to, to do the things that you said that you wanted to do. And what I wanna be doing in this training is equipping you with vision to build long-term. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Jackie Cote. And before I dive into my training, I wanna just share with you a little bit about my background and what my husband and I have been able to create. Because I think it's important for you to know who you're being trained by. And it's also important for you to uh, tune in and to take as many notes as you can to get the most out of this. So my husband and I are, um, we have a background in entrepreneurism. He manages professional boxers. He's a photographer and just has always been able to do all kinds of great things along the journey. And myself, I basically come from the world of media. I spent five years working as a journalist, both behind the scenes for companies like Dateline NBC and ABC's Washington Bureau. And then I got my big break and I got on air as a television reporter. And after doing that, I decided to leave the industry, started a business, failed it, 
And I went back to work. I went back to work being a communications director for one of the leading public safety agencies here in the Washington, D.C. area. And I did that for about six years before I decided that I wanted to give it another go, be an entrepreneur. I was also having kids at the time, so I wanted a lot more flexibility. And I was able to leave my full-time job and build a multiple six-figure PR and business strategy company. And so that's what we've been doing for the last few years until Legal Show came across our desk, I should say. And we actually got started less than a year ago. So we started in August. And in that time, we've been able to ourselves go executive director in 30 days. We literally uh, were managers and at the beginning of October, by the end of October, hit executive director. And over the last few months since October, we've been able to hit platinum executive director. We've helped nine other people become executive directors. And we have about four other people that at the time of this recording are going for executive director as we speak. So I anticipate that they'll be hitting that um, maybe even before you watch this. So I'm excited to train you. We now have a team of over 800 people that we've built over this last you know, 10, 11 months. We are in 38 states. Our organization's in 38 states and five provinces. And just in this month alone, we've been able to bring in $19,000 in premium. That's all in our power team. We've been able to earn the $50,000 ring, the $100,000 ring, the $150,000 ring, and we're just really excited. And so I want you to know uh, kind of what we've been able to create because I think it's important as I talk about how to build long term and really what the theme that we're going to be working on that the future is bright, even if today is dim. And I'm excited to train you on that. I'm excited to help you open up to the vision of what's possible, despite everything that may be going on in your personal world and in the world at large. And so before I do that, I will tell you that I've got my notes here because I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. I want to pour into you and give you many of the things that from a mindset, but also from a strategy standpoint that I've been able to implement and my husband and I have been able to put in practice to build the organization that we have today. And so I'm excited to be able to do that. I'm excited to dive in. And I do have my notes here so that I don't miss out on anything, okay? So with that, I want to start um, just with telling you that uh, one of the things that has allowed us to create those results in Legal Shield is that we never came to the table ready to play at the rookie level. I think a lot of times when people think about being a part of Legal Shield, they don't treat it like a real business. And we want it to, from the onset, build a solid book of business. We want it to be able to, most importantly, have residual income so that we could have a way that if something ever were to happen to us, our families were taken care of. And so that was our mindset coming in. We wanted to build a, a solid business. And I just want you to know, because I know that we have people that are just starting out. Maybe you just started as an associate. And we've also got people that have been doing this for 10 years, 15 years, and so on. And one of the things that we know is that in this industry, there is a, a, an incredible track record of success. I mean, I've shared with you our wins. Those are very small compared to what even Team New Vision has been able to create. And so I want you to know that you're in the right place to invest your time, your resources, your relationship to build a solid book of business. There are more women in this industry that have become millionaires than in any other industry that's out there when it comes to business. And even in a world where typically 80% of small businesses fail, there have been more success stories here in Legal Shield than even traditional business. We've actually paid out more than $1 billion in commissions over the last 10 years. And it's incredible to think about the fact that you and I get to get a small percentage of that million and to know that we only have 3% market share. That means that there is so much room available for you to be able to carve out your own success story and to build that over the next six months, 12 months, 10 years and beyond. So what I want to do is I want to start by just sharing with you more about my background, because I think 
Um, you know, when we talk about the future being bright, even if today is dim, I know a lot of times people look at me and they say, well, Jackie, that's good. That's easy for you to say. You're a success story. You've done this. You've done that. You've been able to create these results. Of course, the future is bright for you. But what I would say to you is that the future is bright for each and every one of us. And I've actually had my own setbacks and, and challenges in life. So I want to take you inside one of the number one pivotal moments in my life and really share with you how that shaped me and how I've been able to overcome some of the challenges that came from that. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here because I want you to be able to not just hear it from me, but I want you to be able to see uh, what I mean when I share um, about some of the, the challenges that I've had. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this. We're going to watch this together and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. Tonight we have an uplifting lesson in what goes around, comes around. 25 years ago today, a tragic fire killed two people in Northwest Washington, including a four-year-old child. But there were unbelievably heroic rescues as well. And it's what's happened since then that's likely to touch you the way it did our reporter, Scott Bloom. It's fuzzy video from this day in 1988. A Washington, D.C. paramedic named Wilmer Scott doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on a six-year-old girl pulled lifeless from a burning home on Missouri Avenue. And here's an interview with Scott for the TV show Rescue 911. The first thing I heard was, this one's dead. I said, no. It was a life-changing night even for veteran rescuers. Two died, including a four-year-old child but two other children nearly given up for dead were revived by heroic rescuers, including that six-year-old little girl. Hello, how are you? So now meet 31-year-old Jacqueline Cote, 25 years to the day after she is the one who was saved by the paramedics who wouldn't give up. It really is because of what he did that I'm here today. It's it was Cote's four-year-old sister who died, a memory she still carries forward. So here's the ending that might not surprise you. Cote has grown up to be the spokesman for a major regional fire EMS department, Howard County, Maryland. The men and women that I work with are heroes, and every day they put their heart into what they do. I think you're what they call living proof. Definitely. To know that, you know, that little girl that you saved actually grew up to be a part of the fire service and to make an impact in this way, I think it's really important. It's really important to me getting up and coming to work every day, and, and I hope that it makes a difference, you know, here in the department as well. So what's become a firefighter, Wilmer Scott? Well, he is retired now, and thanks to some of Jackie's colleagues here in Howard County who used to work with Scott in Washington, they're in touch now and planning a reunion soon. In Columbia, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Okay, so I share that with you because I think a lot of times people say, well, Jackie, what was your today? When, when was it dim for you? And I think if you go to, core, to the core of any successful person, and it's the same with me, I've had so many moments of adversity, you know, being six years old and experiencing the loss of my sister, you know, at the time she was four years old. I remember just even as an adult carrying around such tremendous guilt that, man, I should have done more. Maybe I should have, you know, looked for her or done something, even though, you know, you would say, well, you were just six years old. That was something that I dealt with so many years of my life. And then I think about my family, my mom losing a four-year-old child. I've got two little ones myself now, a six-year-old and a four-year-old. And I think about what, what, like, what, how that would feel to lose my daughter, you know? And I think in our family's um, life and our family's journey, that has been one of those dim moments for us where I could have really succumbed to the guilt. I could have succumbed to the tragedy. My family could have succumbed to the tragedy. But one of the things that I know is that whether it was me going through the fire or, 
you know, uh, having to drop out of school because my parents couldn't pay tuition anymore. I remember thinking, oh, if I'm smart enough and I work hard, I'm going to be able to create whatever I want. And I remember the day where the, the dean's office told me, you can't keep going to school here because you haven't been able to pay your tuition. And I've had so many moments like that of adversity. And what I've learned from those moments is that each and every one of us have a choice. We have a decision. It's like a decision point. You can either decide to be a victim or you can decide to be victorious. And I see this happen all the time in legal shield where, you know, maybe you have something that didn't, maybe I had a scenario with someone who used the wrong credit card to pay for someone to get started. And, you know, the, the corporate office kicked it back and said, that doesn't count for your manager bonus. And it's like, in that scenario, you've got a decision. Am I going to blame the fact that no one told me not to use a credit card? Or am I going to blame my sponsor? Am I going to blame my upline? If I'm going to blame corporate, am I going to get mad? Am I going to complain? Or am I going to make an, a, a decision in my mind to be victorious in the situation and, and, and talk to them and try to you know, see what they're willing to do to maybe make an exception? Or am I going to talk to them? Or am I going to go and say, you know what, because of this, this scenario, I'm always going to make sure I get to my bonuses even earlier. So I never have to cut it that close. That's the difference between being a victim versus being victorious. And I think with, with whatever you're doing, you know, I could have grown up and said, well, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I've had everything set against me. I grew up in DC during the crack cocaine epidemic. I, you know, was in a fire as a child. I was molested when I was young. I was raped in my college years. I mean, there are so many things that I could actually go through and say, this is the reason why I'm not successful. Or I could say, in spite of those things, I've been victorious because of the fact that I was in the in a fire and I learned that life is precious and you've got to make the most out of life. Because of that experience, I'm going to create X, Y, and Z. And so I think when you talk about building long-term and you talk about looking beyond today, part of it starts with that mindset of I'm not going to be a victim to the things that are happening in my life right now. I feel like everything that's happening in our life right now is actually working for us. And I invite you to write that down, that life is working for me, that everything that's happening in my life right now is for me. It's not against me. It's not to hold me down. It's not to put me back. It's not to keep me stuck or to not have me rank advance or whatever the scenario is. What is happening right now in your life is actually happening for you. And I don't believe that you're given any situation that you can't overcome. I actually believe that every obstacle is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to rise to that challenge. It's an opportunity for you to overcome. It's an opportunity for you to see things differently or open up or learn that you have even more resiliency than you even thought you had. And so I want you to know that there are two choices and you get to decide how are you showing up? Are you showing up like a ring earner? Are you showing up like a million dollar ring earner? Are you showing up like the top recruiter, the top producer? You get to decide how are you showing up day in and day out? Because if you can make a decision now while you're growing and evolving and building this thing long-term to show up powerfully, the results will come. And so what I wanna just encourage you to do is to think about are you showing up right now as an amateur or as a pro? Someone who is playing business, acting like they're kind of building something, is this a hobby? Or are you showing up as a pro? And I just wanna go through a few things to help you and I would encourage you just to ask yourself that. Like write that down. Are you showing up as an amateur right now or are you showing up as a pro? How would a pro build legal shield? I'll tell you that for myself and uh, my husband, we didn't wing it. You know, I think a lot of times people wing it. They're like, I wanna be a ring earner. Well, how much money exactly do you need to make per month, per day to be a ring earner? Or do you wanna be a 300K ring earner or a million dollar ring earner? What exactly is that going to take for you to do that? 
You know, do you know how much and what kind of effort it takes? Are you asking those questions? That's part of how you build it long term. You build it beyond what you think about. Let's talk about even some of the, the, the things that you that we have set up to support you. You know, are you on the TNV Sunday night momentum calls? You know, is it in your calendar? Or do you kind of hop on and off different weeks and forget about it? That's the difference between you showing up like a pro versus an amateur. An amateur is on some weeks, they're not on some weeks, they forget about it, they hop on late, you know, they might be there. A pro puts those calls in their calendar with an alert and is there early. Not only are you there early, you're inviting other people to be there. Are you watching Mr. Self's trainings on Monday nights that he does inside the Facebook group? And again, are you there just hanging out or are you a pro? Are you tagging your team, making sure that they're also watching? These are the differences between an amateur or, or a pro. Here's another thing. Um, are you willing to actually track your progress? So you say you want to be PC pro and go on the performance club trip, or you want to become an executive director. Maybe you want to be a platinum. Are you tracking it? Do you have it up somewhere like a pro has it? You know, you go into an NFL or NBA locker room, they've got their game plans on a wall. They're not winging it. They're not going out there to play the game and like, oh, well, you know, we'll kind of see if we win this game. They are tracking it. And so that's the difference in how you show up. I always tell people to think about some of the people that have been able to become millionaires. Think about their stories. Think about the things that they've done to be able to create it. And I've kind of thought about, you know, I know many people have heard the saying that it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert. And I believe that's true. You know, in the six years that I've been building business, I would say, you know, 10,000 hours, I, I said years, 10,000 hours is about four hours a day, 365 days a year, if you want to be an expert at business in six years. And I would tell you, looking back, that I've definitely spent about four hours a day building my business, if not more. Um, and I would say here in Legal Shield, if you really want to be good, if you want to be great, if you want to be one of the people that's creating incredible results, you've got to decide to put your 10,000 hours in. And I think the beautiful thing about Legal Shield is that there are so many ways and so many lanes that you can be successful in. You could do group sales where you go in and you sell to employee groups and all of their employees get the service. You could do networking where you're recruiting people to be associates. You could do CDLP where you're helping uh, truck drivers get plans. There's so many different ways to build Legal Shield. And what I would say to you to build this long term, I would encourage you to pick a lane. Pick an area that you want to focus in and decide to be the best. Don't just be someone who's playing it, who's like amateur, like, yeah, I kind of sell CDLP. Decide today to be the best. Decide today to put in the 10,000 hours that you need to become an expert. And if you say, okay, I want to build this four time, uh, full time. 10,000 hours is about four hours a day or five hours a day. In the course of five years, if you did five hours a day, you would be an expert in that lane. If you decide to do it part-time, maybe you say, I can't do it full-time right now and I really want to focus on part-time. That's an hour or two a day over the next 10 years to help you become an expert and to be able to say, I'm, I'm an expert, I'm getting results. And so what I would encourage you to do when we think about building this long term, and maybe you've had moderate success, maybe over the last 10 years that you've been in Legal Shield, you've just had moderate success. I would encourage you to pick a lane and double down and focus on that lane. Focus, seek out the people that are doing it really well, the people that are in the top 10 list, the people that you read about, that you hear about, that you see featured. One of the biggest secrets that I've been able to use through growing things and creating a future that's bright and full of possibilities is aligning myself with relationships of people that are doing incredible things. You know, I've got some of the top leaders in TNV on speed dial because I'm intentional about 
providing value in those relationships, but also getting mentored and coached and having a way that I can ask questions. And so I would recommend that once you pick your lane, pick two or three relationships that you want to build in that lane so that you can learn to be the best and ask questions like, you know, what, what does it take to make a million dollars residually? Do you know the answer to that? Like, what's the formula for making a million dollars residually? The answer exists. You've just got to make a decision that you want that in your future. And then you've got to seek out how to get it done and have those relationships. So, so that's really powerful. I want to tell you, you know, some of the stories that I get inspired with when I think about the future are stories of other millionaires who've been able to pick a lane and have tremendous success. I think about Madam C.J. Walker, and I was looking at her stuff recently because her lane that she picked was hair care. And it wasn't just the fact that she was going out and selling hair care. She empowered hundreds of other women to also be, out, be able to go out and sell hair care as well. And so that allowed her to be successful. That's the networking version of what we're doing in Legal Shield. She had an incredible product, she picked the lane, and then she used networking. She knew that, you know, I think she went from selling $100 herself to $7,000 with a network of people that were out there selling. She went to churches and taught women how to use her hair care products and established social groups. And so that's one way to go about networking the way we do in Legal Shield. I think about another successful um, now billionaire, Sarah Blakely. So the owner of Spanx, you know, guys, and I don't know if you know what Spanx are. I know the ladies know, you know, it's the undergarments that hold you in. And so I think about her story. Her story was before she ever invented Spanx, she would go door to door and sell fax machines, door to door and sell fax machines. And so a lot of people frown at that. But that was part of the 10,000 hours that it took for her to build it long term, to build a future that's bright. And now she's one of the youngest female billionaires out there with her product Spanx, which she created herself and distributed. But it started with her going to door to door. So maybe you want to focus on door to door. Maybe you want to do B2B sales and you want to go to small businesses, go door to door and, and, and you know, share with them the products and the services so that you can really build that into your, your success story. There's so many other stories. I think about Henry, uh, I mean, uh, Milton Hershey, who created the Hershey bar. A lot of people don't know that he went bankrupt twice before he was able to you know, have a successful brand, Hershey. And his vision with Hershey was to create a chocolate bar that was uh, easily accessible to the masses because chocolate used to be this luxury thing that only rich people could afford. And so he started to create it and make it available to the masses. And, you know, he went out there and built relationships so that he was able to offer it in centers where people could buy it. And so you, I could go on and on, but part of what you want to be doing when you're thinking about today versus the future is borrowing belief. You know, maybe you don't have the belief that you can make a million dollars or become a millionaire or even be a million dollar ring earner. One of the ways that I think about things bigger than what I want to create is by borrowing the belief of other people that have been there. You know, I almost for this training wanted to say, hey, Mr. Self, hey, Mr. Humes, can you screenshot for me what your residual checks look like so I can put that up and borrow the belief that that's going to be my checks in the future. So borrow the belief, borrow the belief of stories like Madam C.J. Walker, you know, Steve Harvey, so many people that have been able to create successful businesses, successful enterprises and know that it's possible for you. You would not be watching this training right now. You would not be on this TNB convention if it was not possible for you. And so I'm excited to be able to help you open up to that. And part of what I wanna have you do as an exercise is I wanna just have you think about how would you show up if you were a millionaire right now? How would you show up? What would be different in your life? What would you do if you were a millionaire right now, let's say the next business builder checks were coming out and you were eligible and you were going to get a million dollars bonus and builder bonus, 
what would you do differently? How would you share legal shield? What would your posture be like? How would you sit? What are some of the things that you would do for fun? Go ahead and get that in your mind. Maybe you just brainstorm it down. I'm gonna give you a second to just brainstorm it down. And I want you just to take that in. I want you to think about that. Okay, hopefully you've got it. And if not, you know, take a moment and do this activity just with some fun music on, glass of wine or whatever, cup of tea, whatever works for you. Um, and I want you to start living into that reality today. You see, what often happens is that we live into the reality of the problems, the drama, the things that are happening, whether it's COVID or Black Lives Matter, or just even dealing with the political <clears throat> economic landscape that we're experiencing right now. And sometimes we can let those things that are in our reality get the best of our, our bandwidth and our mental energy. And what I want you to do is start living into that reality right now. Before I ever made six figures in my business, I asked myself that same question. What would I do if I had a successful business? How would I spend my days? You know, and it started to be like, okay, I would get massages like once a month. I wouldn't just get them for my birthday. I would get them once a month. And so I started to have these micro experiences where maybe I couldn't get massages once a month yet, but I could go and get a 20 minute quick massage, or I would have my husband give me a massage or something to help me start living into it. And before you knew it, I was able to get massages once a month, no sweat, not just massages, but all kinds of other treatments. And so it started to become my reality. It started to not just become the, the present, but it was, it was living into my future. So I want to encourage you to do that because what often happens is that what's dim, what's not working can consume you. And we want you to be building this thing long term so that you can have a future and really have anything that you want. I'll close out by sharing with you that many people know that I started my business a few years ago because I gave birth to my son and I wanted to have more flexibility. I was working a job, you know, working for that public safety company. It was a lot of pressure, nights, weekends, two phones I would carry, all of that stuff. And so I remember one day, um, you know, just really thinking, and this is what most people don't know, this is the part of the story I don't get to share, is that even though I had a ton of urgency from giving birth and like, okay, I've finally got to make this thing real, I remember one day waking up and it was dark and dim outside. It, the rain was falling. I think I woke up late because I was, you know, the baby had a, a bad night. And I remember getting in the pit of my stomach, this feeling that I should not go into work. And I just brushed it off. I felt like I didn't have a choice. I felt like there were so many things that I needed to get done that day that I was expected to be there and that I had to go in. And so I reluctantly got on the road. My job was about an hour from where I lived and I had to be on I-70, which is a major highway here in the Maryland area. And so I'm on I-70, the rain is pouring, I'm driving, I'm trying to you know, make phone calls. And before you know it, the car that I was driving swerved from the fast lane, the, the outer fast lane, across three lanes and slammed up against the guardrail and flipped the other way, like backwards. And I gotta tell you, it frightened me, it scared me. I remember shivering and crying and just feeling like, man, like what am I okay? Can I get out of the car? The, the door was slammed in. And I gotta tell you, it was a dim, dark day. And I remember feeling like I've, I almost lost my life. I almost died in this car. And I remember someone, I made my way out of the car, crawled through the window, got out of the car. I wound up waving someone down to help me and to call 911. And it was that moment that I thought to myself, I've got to carve a different future. I cannot live 
and this, 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 this like obligation of feeling like I've got to drive an hour to work, an hour from work, risk my life, go out there in bad weather. I remember thinking I've got to carve a different future for myself. And more than giving birth and having a baby, that incident drove me to focus like never before. It gave me a renewed level of commitment to the business that I was building. It made me not take advantage of the trainings and the coaching and the resources and the support. And for the first time ever, I was like, man, I've got to go after this. I've got to do this. My life is at stake. And so I want to end there because I really do believe that even though you might have dim, dark moments right now, and even though the world might be in a place where it is dim and dark and uncertainty, you've got to be the one that lets your future anchor you. You've got to be the one that's more committed to building this residual income and the things that we're creating here than anyone else because you've got to. You've got to do it, not just for yourself. Don't let there have to be a wake-up call like I had on the road to really wake you up to what's possible here in Legal Shield. I wish upon you the kinds of results that we've had, where we have a team that's thriving and growing. We've got builder bonus checks that are being written that are just mind blowing. You know, we've got the problem of <laughs> who next are we promoting for executive director. I wish those things ab um, upon you, but you've got to start by plugging in really taking action, taking this seriously, not building an amateur business, but building a pro business. Don't show up like a victim, show up victorious. Say to yourself, I am victorious, and know that you've got the whole TNB family behind you. So with that, I'm so excited to be able to have given this opportunity to train you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over to you. I wish upon you the kinds of results that we've had where we have a team that's thriving and growing. We've got builder bonus checks that are being written that are just mind blowing. You know, we've got the problem of <laughs> who next are we promoting for executive director. I wish those things ab uh, um, upon you, but you've got to start by plugging in, really taking action, taking this seriously, not building an amateur business, but building a pro business. Don't show up like a victim, show up victorious. Say to yourself, I am victorious and know that you've got the whole TNB family behind you. So with that, I'm so excited to be able to have given this opportunity to train you. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over to you. So vulnerable, so transparent, and uh, we thank you, we appreciate you. And you would think, that Jackie Cote has been with uh, TNB and Legal Shield now for you know ten years, and uh, she certainly has the DNA uh, because we just believe in being vulnerable, and we are who we are. So appreciate you. And look, um, man, I'm looking at my notes already. Like just from Mr. Humes and Jackie Cote, I'm already like, well, I, I was going to say this, it, it was worth the registration fee, but it wasn't one. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's unbelievable in itself, right? But I, to I told Mr. Humes, I said, man, thanks for the reminder of failing bigger and failing faster, right? Because that's how we got here, failing bigger and failing faster, you know, failing exponentially. My God, people had no idea. I wish they could sit with me sometimes and watch how many people say they're going to answer the phone and don't answer the phone. People would promise me, hey, call me, man, I'm gonna and don't, right? And it's just, but but I expect it now, right? It's that whole wantingness, anyway, it's just... I never came to the table to play at the rookie level. Somebody dropped the mic. Jackie Cote, really? My gosh. Hey, let's keep going. So we got old money. We got new money. Old money, folks have been making the money for a little while, right? And that's good because people are like, how do I know it's real? How do I don't know it's going to last? How do I don't know? You know those folks. I mean, how do I don't know? Because folks have been making a lot of money for a long time. It's not like just six months ago when some little deal started and then it's gone out of business. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, you know, this guy made a gazillion dollars. Yeah, but the business is not around anymore. So who cares? Right, so we're talking about long term. And so we got some folks who've been making some money for a while, and uh, those are our one hundred, uh, our one hundred fifty thousand, two hundred thousand dollars ring earners. And so I want to give them an opportunity to uh, to share their testimony. Not only that, but we're also going to share with you uh, a little bit about our law firms. You're going to hear a little bit from 
our man, Miss, you've already heard his name mentioned. I think Mr. He's mentioned him in his, uh, in his training. Harold Branch is going to give us a little piece of his gift. So you're going to hear from him. In fact, because we're going to hear from one of our law firms, Mr. Hughes, I know you travel a lot um, prior to social distancing and had a chance to go to the law firms. I believe, by the way, once we're able to do this again through the open houses, it really does increase your belief because you have an opportunity to meet the lawyers and experience our product because it is kind of intangible. So if you won't mind mentioning a little bit about some of the law firms and then uh, maybe introduce this to Mr. Thrush. Absolutely. And that's what makes what we do so phenomenal is the fact that we have access to all these AV rated power law firms all across North America. So for our TMB family in California, of course, you know you got Parker Stanbury. You know they previously represented the LA Dodgers, the LA Clippers, Rite Aid Corporation. But the fact that we still pay them over $2 million every 30 days to represent our members. Right here in the Maryland area, formerly Weinstein Friedman and Friedman, now Friedman, Frommie, and Thrush in six states. Of course, we're heading up to Mr. Bill Thrush. Listen, I've had Bill Thrush, not only is he a great friend, and we watched him grow with the law firm to become a partner, but he's personally been in court with me on some uh, situations, but we're not going to go into that. Listen, Willinger, Willinger, and Busey for the Connecticut family. Tom Busey, one of the top 100 small business attorneys in the nation, former mayor of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Many of us remember the Charlotte Nash situation where the lady was bought by the chimpanzee. It was on Oprah, Today Show, Good Morning America, right? You name it. I'll never forget Kevin Palachi, Green Gurner out in Connecticut. Now we're in Bill, uh, was in Chuck uh, Williger's office right after he had done the press conference, along with Bill Monaco from our law firm in New York, Feldman, Kramer, Monaco. Look, the list goes on and on. And that's the beauty of what we do is we have the best of the best and we all have access to them. So TMB, let's continue to use it. So. Am I throwing it out to Bill Thrush? Uh, we're going to do old money first, then Let's Bill go. Thrush, then H.B., poet extraordinaire. Hi, TMB family. This is Darlene Quincy out of Atlanta, Georgia. My background is an IT manager. I've been a part of Legal Shield for about 19 years as a member. Some of you may know my story. Uh, about six years ago, my husband, David Quincy, who was the original Legal Shield associate, passed away, left a legacy for me and my children. And I can tell you that I'm so grateful to Legal Shield because it really has left a legacy for me and my family. And I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to have earned $150,000 on a part-time basis. I look forward to seeing you guys at the top. Hi, Legal Shield family. I sure do miss you all. My name is Tiffany Sullivan. Before Legal Shield, I practiced law for 14 years. During those 14 years, I learned that people simply cannot afford the going rate for attorneys. Uh, most of the people that called my office couldn't afford to sit down and have a conversation with me, much less pay retainers and hourly rates. When I found out about Legal Shield and that I could provide them a membership where they could have access to attorneys at less than a dollar a day, it just made so much sense. Um, I closed my law practice overnight, went full time in Legal Shield, and I've never looked back. Thankfully, during this time of um, being at home and not being able to work, I've never missed a paycheck due to our residual income. I'm Legal Shield for life. I'm just getting started. My name is Tiffany Sullivan. I'm Melvin and Sharon Lowry out of Atlanta, Georgia. We're $150,000 ring earners, part of the prestigious Millionaire Club. My wife's background is in advertising sales. My background is in real estate and management with a transportation company. We were looking for something when this business came along. Didn't know exactly what we were looking for, but we knew we needed a change. And we found that change in this business. In fact, in this business, we found something that allows us to be the creators of our lives, not just the managers of our circumstances. And so for our family, for our team, for our community, we believe we have an obligation to win. And, and we, we expect, expect you to win, win too. TNV for life. All right, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Carlo Brown. I make my home in the Maryland area. I'm originally from the West Coast. And what it means to be a $200,000 ring earner with TMV, Legal Shield, is time freedom. And knowing that you got a company that pays you on a daily basis, and that's what excites me, and also helping other people achieve their goals. With that, I'll see you at the top. Hi, I'm Bill Thrush, the managing principal of Friedman, Frommy and Thrush. We're a Legal Shield provider law firm. We've been a provider law firm since 1988, and we're here at our headquarters in Owings Mills, Maryland. Let's go in and take a look. This is our main office headquarters in Owings Mills, Maryland. 
Here, we manage the Legal Shield membership for seven jurisdictions, Maryland, DC, Virginia, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. Come on in. So here we are inside of our conference room in our headquarters, and I wanted to take a minute to just give you some information about me and how I became a Legal Shield attorney. So when I was in law school, I was idealistic, like a lot of law students are, and I wanted to get into the profession to help people. I was motivated by the desire uh, to give people equal access to justice. So I went to law school, got my degree, got my first job, and it wasn't that long after I got that job that I realized that the profession wasn't quite what I thought it was. Law school didn't really prepare me for the business side of the law. Uh, a lot of attorneys had to chase billable hours. There were requirements of generating uh, work and generating business, and it was a treadmill, and it was a real, real hard grind. And the focus was primarily on making money, not on helping people. And I became very disenfranchised with the legal profession, almost to the point where I quit altogether. Uh, I started out practicing family law, and I thought I was burned out on family law and thought maybe I'll transition to a different kind of law. So I transitioned over to personal injury, workers' compensation, and civil litigation. And, uh, and I realized that it wasn't burnout from the area of law. It was um, a disenchantment with the profession and the way that the profession was being run and the way it was being handled and chasing the almighty dollar. I, I had been forced to lose track of the desire to help people in order to just keep my head above water and to, to earn a salary and to keep my job, frankly. And so I became so disenfranchised with the profession that I left the firm that I was uh, working at and I came uh, to my present firm, which was at that time called Weinstock Friedman and Friedman. And that's when I met Sid Friedman and Ed Friedman and they recruited me to the firm. And I, wow, what a breath of fresh air that was. Uh, I came aboard as a, a frontline consultation attorney. I did consultations. I also did courtroom work, trial work, and, um, and I, I fell back in love with my profession uh, because I realized that it, it is possible to be a lawyer and to help people and also earn a living and not have to be on the treadmill and not have to, to worry about chasing that uh, almighty billable hour. And so uh, I, I threw myself into this work and I worked my way up uh, into management, uh, worked my way into getting control of a department, uh, then worked from there to become a partner and then to become an equity partner and then to become an owner of the business. So I've come in at the very, very ground level and worked my way all the way through up to ownership and legal shield is responsible for giving me that opportunity. And quite frankly, Legal Shield is really responsible for saving my legal career. Because if I hadn't encountered this job, I probably would have quit being a lawyer and God only knows what I'd be doing right now. Um, and I can't imagine doing anything else. And quite frankly, if I couldn't be a lawyer doing this right now, I wouldn't want to be a lawyer anymore. I've worked really hard to get to the top of my profession, and our firm has worked really hard too. Let's take a look inside the numbers and see what that hard work really means. I'm here in the Nerve Center with my practice manager, Steve Myers. Hey, Steve, let's take a look at some numbers. Can you pull up the wills for me? Yeah, I'll get those up for you. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. 2,942 wills done in the first five months of this year. That's an average of about 245 a month. That's a lot of wills for people. People are getting some protection out there. You're absolutely right, Bill. Let's take a look at requests for service next. Oh, here's that data there. Oh, look at that. Wow. 108,275 requests for service in the first five months of the year. That's about 447 a day. That's a lot of requests for service. 
Yeah, it is, Bill. And not to mention the amount of calls that we get from a daily perspective. I mean, on any average day, we could get somewhere between 700 to 900 calls in a single day. And then you add on the request for service that we get from members online going directly to our website. We're extremely busy at this time. Folks, that's a lot of requests for service. That's a lot of phone calls. That's a lot of access to justice. Those are some pretty big numbers and it's easy to get lost in those numbers. But let me bring it back home for you and give you two stories to show exactly what those numbers mean, what they translate to. The first story comes from someone whose home was at risk for foreclosure. This particular member thought that she had paid off her house. Uh, she made an accounting error and missed about $13,440 worth of payments that she didn't realize she missed. Well, the bank put her in default and called the note and accelerated it and wanted the whole 13440 due immediately or they would foreclose. And in fact, they did note a foreclosure. So the member called us desperate, didn't know what to do. Our attorneys reviewed everything and what we realized was that the bank's attorney had missed a key deadline, had blown a statute and couldn't move forward by law. So we made them aware of that and the foreclosure sale was canceled and our member's house was saved. And that's a great result for someone who was on the verge of losing their house and probably wouldn't have had access to justice that way, but now they did. The second story I want to share with you is something that we can all relate to. Uh, it deals with car repairs. So we had a member who took her car in for a free brake inspection. We all know nothing's free, right? So when she went into the brake inspection, the mechanic told her, that there were some urgent repairs that were necessary that would cost $350. And then there were some other repairs that were necessary, but not urgent, that would cost her $1,400. She elected to go with the urgent repair, but put the other stuff on hold. So she took the car in, got the repair done, and received a bill for $923. She was shocked. That's not what she agreed to. That's not what was necessary, and that's not what was quoted to her. She didn't know what to do. Luckily, she's a Legal Shield member. She picked up the phone and she called us. And our attorney wrote a letter to the auto mechanic explaining how they were wrong in that situation. And the auto mechanic issued her a refund of $573. So those stories are a powerful example of how Legal Shield helps people every single day with problems and access to justice that they wouldn't otherwise get. And so that's the end of our tour. I wanna to thank you all for allowing me to be with you today. Uh, and I would welcome you to come back anytime. Come visit us on the web, www.fftlaw.com. Find us on Facebook and follow us, or check out our website and uh, join us for one of our virtual open houses or wheel webinars. We look forward to seeing you soon, thanks. I offer myself to the altar of the universe in order to free my descendants from this poverty curse. And from watching those who have chosen this path before me, it definitely hurts, but it obviously works. And the alternative is so obviously worse. So I humbly volunteer to be crucified in a cross of nose, to be stabbed in the side by the no-shows, to wear a crown of low blows from those who are supposed to support me but consciously chose to oppose my crazy goals. They couldn't believe how a man could conceive dreams bigger than the night itself. Generational desperation is a wrong that isn't going to right itself. And I've been programmed to fail for so long, sometimes I have to fight myself. Those are the moments I give in to the comments and don't even like myself but I'm not doing this for me. That's why I have to succeed despite myself. It's bigger than us. And it's a shame because the same ones we are trying to help will sometimes blame and point the finger at us. And just when you think the pressure is too much, hold on. When you feel like you can't go any further, you must go on. 
The biggest letter in the alphabet is my why. So I take the pain from the journey and I cherish it. They all may not know it, but my family is depending on me to take them to the promised land like my name was Harriet because I will earn financial independence. All of Legal Shield's rings, but my great-great-granddaughter will inherit it. No more excuses. What could I possibly say to justify my failure in these endeavors? Have you ever heard words slurred in such a way that made it okay for a family to suffer forever? I think not. That's like sitting on top of a stove and praying for the heat to stop. You have to move. And if you haven't hit your goals yet, it's not all over. Because in order to win first, you have to lose. Hold your future and past in opposite hands. And then you have to choose. And I don't know about you, but I'm all about tomorrow. That's where my child's destiny lies. So I listen to others' testimonies and borrow in order to make it through the turbulent skies. And then coast and eventually land in the land of milk and honey. No more going to the pawn shop just to get milk money. No more calling in favors so others can handle the rent for me. But if I'm gonna put all that behind me, I must hold on. This is the toughest thing I've ever done in my life, but we must go on. Family, tell me, what will be your legacy? Will it be something beautiful? Or will people have to get up and lie at your funeral? Imagine your grandson in a cubicle building someone else's dream. Have no doubt, if we don't find time and financial freedom, we leave it to our kids to figure out. Every lash of disappointment is just another job application my kids would never fill out. I don't care how long it takes, my will will never give out. Still will don't break. Others still will be fake and I still will be great. Leaders are what we make because this TNV steel mill duplicates. Obviously, I still need to repeat it. Hold on. We stand still while all the competition retreated. Go on. Frenemies try to use their proximity to steal from the team. Mm -mm. Still got deleted. Stand strong. Family. Team New Vision. 2020. And we are still. And they stay there, and they stay there. We'll have you water in front of you. Stay hydrated. Your mind, fresh, attentive, ready to take even more notes. We got a lot more coming up. Yeah. So, well, next. Oh, first of all, let me just say, listen. It's just so great again to to get to know the the lawyers because we all have an opportunity to again increase our belief, and that's going to be important. So let's make sure that we all have an opportunity uh, to build those relationships uh, with your lawyers. Thank them, right? Fill out the surveys and, and give them praise, right? And if there are any challenges, make sure you follow the process uh, where you can share those challenges. That way we can fix those challenges. Every uh, Unequivocally, we get better every single year based on feedback, right? And that's, that's going to be critical for us as we continue to build our business. And thank you so much, HB, Harold Grant out of Arizona. 50K ring earner, AZ, where they do everything. <laughs> awesome job. I mean, you guys, if you haven't been to any of our Hill Branch's spoken word uh, events, amazing, amazing. And when we have a live event, we have a special night where we just do open mic, right? So we do open mic, people come in, they sing, I try to sing. Um, they do all types of stuff, right? So anyway, uh, don't, don't look, look that way. Mike Hughes is trying to make us laugh right now, so we don't pay attention to him. But um, so coming up, we've got uh, we've got some new ringers. This is since the last since the last event, our last team event. We got ten 
new ringer. There's almost a ringer every month, right? Not including those who got bigger rings, right? So even more, if you think about it that way. And so it's, a, it's an honor, right? And so, and again, you know, listen, it's just it's kind of what happens, right? When you are following a system, you make the decision that Mr. Hume said that, hey, look, failure is a part of it. It's all good. And like Jackie Cote talked about, you know, showing up to win, all right? And, uh, and not becoming a victim, but using those same things to be a victor. So we've learned a lot already, right? My son just texted me. He's like, man, Dad, I, got, I had more than two pages of notes already. I know. It's, oh, it's amazing. So uh, if we're ready, uh, team, tech team, let's go ahead and uh, start highlighting some of our ring earners. Let's go to the 90th ring earner. 90th ring earner out of the uh, West Coast. Uh, we have Terry and Vicki Fitch. And so we're so excited for this couple. They're going to share their testimony real quickly with you all. Hey, everybody. Terry and Vicki Fitch here from sunny Southern California. And we are so excited to be the 90th ring earners from Team New Vision. Hey guys, I started my legal shield business because my wife came home one day, threw a brochure on my desk and said, we need this service. Look, I came from corporate America, actually retired in 1995, started the financial service business and brought legal shield as part of my portfolio of services. And then I found out being a financial advisor is complicated. I wanted to simplify my life. So last year I went full time with legal shield. And what's the key to success in legal shield? Just be consistent. It's a phenomenal product. And we're really, really happy to be part of team new vision. Yeah, the Fitches are great people. If you ever had a chance to meet them, I mean, sometimes you just meet people like, oh my gosh, they're just good people. And so, so amazing to have them and awesome to have them a part of the Team Division family, amazing assets. The number 91, this, this is a great thing. We actually number our ring earners, which is awesome. So it's no faking. You know, people are like, man, we got a lot of people. What's a lot, right? This is 91, so the 91st ring earner, Mr. Albert Marshall, let's go out to Mr. Marshall for his testimony. Hey, TNV family, it's Albert Marshall here in the great state of Georgia. $50,000 ring earner. Success can be summed up in three words. Never give up. That's the heart of it, actually. Just keep trying. The best is yet to come. See you all at the top. We're not even going to have them give a testimony yet because they got a bigger ring. But the 92nd ringer, just so you know, uh, Marty and Israel win. Uh, Marty and Tracy went to school together, I think since you were 13 years old, something like that. So they know each other forever. And then we all connected, the four of us, uh, their family to us. But they're the 90 second ringers. They're not going to share their testimony right now because they continue to elevate up. And so you'll hear their testimony a little bit later. We have 93 here. All right, great. So we've got. That's her Zumba buddy. That's our favorite thing to do. Woo woo! <laughs> So you know what's funny is that you can actually introduce someone to the business and then you can marry them and then um, you both end up having rings. You know, I mean, if you're already married when you, when you get started, it's best to really join under the same agreement. But if not, hey, spouse can get the ring too. So let's hear from Nikia Jones Mack. Hello, this is Nakia Mack from Maryland, or as we love to say, money-making Maryland. My background is in medical assistance, and 15 years ago, I decided I need to have more time freedom and financial freedom, and because of Legal Shield, I was able to do that, and I was also able to pursue my other passion, which is fitness and health, and become a Zumba instructor, and that's all because of the time I was allowed with my financial freedom from Legal Shield. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Good work. Good work. Yeah, Jones, Mac. Awesome. Who else do we have loaded for next? This is, this is, listen, this is an awesome, bro. I, look, I can't wait for you to start saying, hey, I've got four ringers on my team. i got eight. You know, so I want to, listen, yes, go for the ring yourself, but it's even more gratifying, I promise you, when you have people that somehow you've impacted their lives with their ring earners as well. So congratulations to all these ring earners. Mark and Kitty win. I mean, I love them. they just make me smile. Look yeah. at that. Just look at their pictures. Huh? I know. I know. They're and all, like that all the time. They really are. So Sometimes on the Zooms, we think that their screen is frozen because they're just like that the whole time. <laughs> we're like, they're their like, screen's frozen. We're like, they were like, oh, no, we've just been sitting like this the <laughs> whole Zoom. Right? But we love Mark and Kitty. Oh, we're so sweet. thoughtful to think about other people first before themselves. I mean, seriously, whatever you are, hey, what do you need? Anything I can do? Anything I can bring to do in 15 minutes? They live up the street and they'll text me in the morning sometimes and say, hey, you want Starbucks this morning? Sure. Yeah, it's really giving people. TMB DNA all the way. Let's hear from Mark and Kitty Win. Number 94. 
Hey guys, this is Mark and Kitty out of Maryland. Hopefully everyone's doing well, staying safe. We miss everyone. Yeah, we really do. Hey, listen, guys, we are so blessed to be a part of the Team New Vision family. Listen, it's only been about 16 months for us now, mm -hmm. and we were blessed to earn our $50,000 ring in our first six or seven months. We know this is truly just the beginning. Hey, guys, we really miss meeting with everyone every week, but virtually it has to do for now. But guys, we look forward to the future. And listen, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Look, babe, they were like that in video. Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You go to number number five, uh, Mr. Patrick Adu. Thank you, Patrick and Lena Adu. And listen, our hearts are going out for them. Uh, they're with some family situations, but we certainly are praying for you guys. An awesome man, driven man. I remember his first private business reception. He did two back-to-back, -back, right? He did one on Saturday one on Sunday. He was like, look, I need two. So he did, and Mr. Wynn told me we were going out there. It was right up the street. It ended up being almost two hours away. So, but it was, look, he, he packed the house. That's where we met Jackie and Alice Cote and their mom. And it was just an amazing. So congrats to Mr. Mr. Patrick Adu and his beautiful wife, Lena. Uh, we're certainly continuing to, to, to pray for you as you uh, come through all the things that life throws your way sometimes. But certainly proud of you, brother. Let's go to number 96. Number 96. The Jeffersons, moving on up. Byron and Janelle Jefferson, we've known forever, and I love to watch people's growth. And to watch their growth over the past 12 months has been nothing short of a phenomenal. So proud of them, so proud of them. Super proud of them. We social distance with them all the time, just in the front yard hanging out. And so if you ever need anything fixed, call Byron Jefferson. He can fix anything. <laughs> and if you ever need your hair done, Janelle's your girl. There you go. Promotions. Let's go out to hear from the Jeffersons. Hello, Team New Vision family. We are Byron and Janelle Jefferson from Money Making Maryland, and we're so excited and honored to be the 96th ring earners on Team New Vision. My background is that of a full-time IT recruiter and a cosmetologist. My husband is a full-time university administrator. And I tell you, family, this has been an amazing journey. Like, we're so excited to be uh, this example, uh, but I tell you, you know, the long, the road to get here, uh, you know, it was long, but it was so worth it. And, uh, you know, we had some ups and downs, but uh, the good thing is that we never stopped believing in ourselves. Uh, we never stopped believing in our team and of course our amazing leadership. And so, you know, we're so thankful to be this example uh, for each and every one of uh, our team members and, and within our team division family. But just know that we've already drawn, drawn the line in the sand once again, and we're setting ourselves up for the uh, next level, which is, of course, the $100,000 ring and our pathway to platinum. And so, you know, we couldn't have done it without our amazing team. And so a special shout out to them uh, for their commitment, for their dedication to themselves and the success of their own businesses. And of course, our amazing leadership, our platinum executive director, uh, Mr. Michael Humes. And of course, uh, what can I say about our impeccable leaders, you know, Darnell and Tracy Self, you know, we so thankful and so appreciative of their belief in us. Even when we sometimes, you know, struggle to believe in ourselves, they saw this for us uh, before we even uh, manifested. And of course, uh, my amazing workout partner and market leader, Ms. Karen Beverly, we thank you so much for uh, for your cheering us on and, and just uh, sticking with us until we made this happen. And so, you know, we're excited. We can't wait to hit the next level and just know that the best is truly, truly yet to come. You know, stay positive, stay faithful, and just know that the road ahead is so much better than anything we've experienced. And so God bless you all. Have an amazing event and we'll see you all over the top. Yeah, we're moving on now. All right. So look, this next couple, they're not going to share their testimony as well. Not right now, because they continue to move up and move up and move up. So our 97th ring earners, you already heard from her earlier, her and her amazing husband, Alex and Jackie Cote. 97th ring earners here with TMB. Excited for them. Uh, they just got started back, by the way, in August of 2019. So very proud of them. But they'll be sharing their story later on because they've already moved up to the bigger rings. Let's go to number, number, number 98. Number 98, right here from Maryland as well. Man, we are money-making Maryland. We just keep saying Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. So y'all might want to move to Maryland and hang out with us for a little bit. <laughs> but as soon as this uh, social distance is over, this quarantine, we are on the plane. We are out of here, right? So anyway, come hang out for a little bit while we're here. <laughs> the 98 ringers. 
you talk about Miss Enthusiasm herself. I'm like, where is your battery so I can take them out for a second? I, you, you think I'm always like this. Evie Johnson, man, Joe Johnson praying for you, brother. Joe Johnson, I heard him train on a, um, on a Zoom. I was like, Joe, how long have you been involved with Legal Show? Amazing job. So listen, if, when you get a chance to meet Joe and Evie Johnson, here's the crazy thing. M many of us never had a chance to meet each other yet. Normally, we see each other on these events once a quarter. And so when you get a chance to meet them, you'll say, oh, yeah, they're definitely going to be millionaire club and some platinum. Certainly proud and excited for our 98th ring earners, Joe and Evie Johnson. Let's hear from them. Hello, everyone. We're Joe and Evie Johnson, natives of Washington, D.C., and we currently reside in Bowie, Maryland with our four kids. And we've been called serial entrepreneurs. We've owned beauty salons, a restaurant, nonprofit association, and we even dabbled in real estate. And guess what? That sounds so amazing. That was so busy. Like they sound like they were like killing it, right? And we were, we, were, we didn't need anything, but guess what? One thing about that, we did not have time. Um, we took so much time away from our kids. Those four beautiful kids we talked about, one minute they were in middle school, and next thing you know, they were grown like out of the house and you say well, you know what we can't continue to live like this so our youngest son uh, came to us last year 2019 with the opportunity to play you know basketball at his dream school which is a prep school and the school was forty thousand dollars and we said where are we gonna get this money from and we were like we don't know because we were so busy but we still didn't have this money saved up you know so uh we spoke about it to some friends of ours mr Wen and Isra Wen, and they were like you know what we might you might we might be able to help you with something so they introduced, us to the, they introduced us to the business of Legal Shield. And we started, we got we signed up in July. We didn't get busy until December 2019 because we really need to get this $40,000. So we got busy um, right away. We uh, started and within the first five months, not only did we make the $40,000, guys, we doubled it. Yeah, yeah, we just doubled it. We made $80,000 uh, since we started really getting going back in December 2019 and we were able to earn our $50,000 ring. Yes, we did. Uh, so not only are we able to help other families like us to get their time back and have equal access to the justice system, but we are able to mentor and coach others and repeat the system that we were taught. So thank you, Legal Shield. Thank you. Thank you, coaches. <laughs> See everybody at the top. Thank you, we love Legal Shield. Awesome, awesome, great. What a great testimony. Hey, listen, you got a reason why? You know what I mean? Like the kids, like, look, I really want to go to school. You know what I mean? You really, you have something to push you to wake, to help you to wake up earlier and stay up later sometime. Number nine, number ninety nine. Now look, check this out. This just happened this week, like this week, like a couple of days ago. We had number ninety nine. I thought, oh my gosh, this is so awesome! Right before the event, so excited to have number ninety nine. And don't share their story. I won't steal their thunder, but new as well. With the leadership of Jackie and Addis Cote, we have Abigail and Raymond Cote here from Connecticut to share their story. Hello, Liga Shield and TMV family. My name is Raymond Cote. My wife's name is Abigail Cote. Uh, she's not here right now, uh, but you know what? We're coming to you from the state of Connecticut. Uh, four months ago, uh, Alice and Jackie Cote introduced this opportunity to us, and now. We are 50K ring and in Liga Shield. Oh my gosh. You know, but you know, we saw this opportunity and we decided that if they can do it, we can also do it. So, you know, like I told you, I was IT professional. Now, Liga Shield is my full time business. Okay. I wake up Liga Shield, I drink Liga Shield, I sleep Liga Shield. That's what I do. I push this, I push this, I push this every day and night. And by the grace of God, I am where I am. I know you, you can also do that. Liga Shield right now has given us something that we never thought possible. And that is vacation. You know, this was something that we never even dream of. You know, we never had vacation before. Now my wife and I, we can take our bags and also say we're going to vacation like normal people do. All right. So we are grateful uh, to Liga Shield. All right. And let me tell you, if we can do it, you can do it. 50K ring and thank you, Team New Vision. Thank you, Liga Shield. Your time is also on the way. Push, push. I'm fired up. <laughs> 
I love it. I love it. I mean, he had me crying on one of the calls because he said they'd never taken a vacation before. And I thought, man, you know, it's easy to take that for granted, right? He's like, we never take a vacation. I thought, oh my gosh, how, I just thought about us. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you really want what's best for your family. And how awesome is that? Four months, Raymond and Abigail Cote. Proud of you guys, congrats. Also this week, and I can't believe it, it's like right before, I'm like, oh, thank you, God. Right before the event, we have our 100th ring earner. Yep. This has happened like two days ago. Our 100th ring earners here with TMV, here in the DMV, that's affectionately known, DMV, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Rico and Susan Carey, oh my God, I remember doing his first PBR, his first private reception was what it's called, in his home, of course, it's pre-COVID-19. And I just remember his first private business reception into Washington, where they are. And just remember, uh, Mrs. Carey sent you home those stuffed strawberries. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, my gosh. She owns a stuffed strawberry uh, company. Ooh. If you want to support a gourmet yeah. dessert business. Oh, my gosh. Here we got to put that out there. Oh, yeah. By the way, so I'm thinking about it. People have been asking about our shirts as and well. Shirt too, right? Yeah, Mr. Hume's shirt. Um, if you go on IG, and uh, her, um, her IG is Boutique Hush. Boutique Hush. And uh, you can go support her. She's our neighbor. So we love to support her, yeah. So and she does a great job with a lot of other items as well. So Rico and Susan Curry, number one hundred centennial Ooh. ring earners with TMV. Congratulations! Let's go out to the Currys. Hey there, Legal Shield family. It's Rico Curry out of Washington D.C. My background's with the federal government. I'm a realtor. I'm a barber. I can remember being in Las Vegas last year and wondering, you know, what would it be like to be the one hundredth ring earner and here we are. We did it, baby. We did it. Number 100. Uh, I must say I'm honored and thrilled to be a part of such a wonderful group of people. Thank you. So humble. So humble. I appreciate that. And he was new in Las Vegas. He came out with the wins. He's like, I'll come. And uh, came out as a new associate. And to watch him now at number 100, very proud of you and your wife. All right, guys, we got to keep it going. We got to keep moving here. So we have uh, the opportunity to introduce our next trainer. And this gentleman, uh, uh, he's proof that you don't have to know everything in order to build a big business because not that he doesn't know everything, I don't. <laughs> and I'm always like, I don't know. No, I know you hear me say no, that. Right? It's funny. Um, people call him all the time and ask him questions. He's like, I'm not sure. Let me call Herman Davis. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he, yeah, he really is. He's behind the scenes on this, too, on this, yes, this whole is. production. So, yeah, yeah, days. him, for, uh, Groom Mitra, uh, is, is doing some amazing things right now because, again, we're doing this manually. Uh, there's Chapman doing some amazing things behind the scenes. Say hi, Swift. Yeah, he's doing some amazing things behind the scenes. And Gary Jenkins, that's where you keep getting the music, yeah. doing some amazing yeah. things behind the scenes. So all that's happening behind the scenes as we're doing this. So we definitely didn't do this on our own. Yeah. And so speaking of... Herman Davis, not only is he a huge support uh, to TMB with the, with the app that we have, many of you get alerts, get notifications, you have all the Monday night uh, live trainings that I do, all on that app, all that is Herman Davis, yep. right? So he just does an amazing job making sure that we're resourceful, because if you're busy, you got to have resources that leverage you, otherwise it's all on you, and we're busy, people are busy. So he's going to talk about as you probably already would imagine based on this introduction, yeah. some of the resources you have available that can help you to build a successful business. Let's go over to our 50K ringer out of Texas. Our personal tech guy, Mr. Herman Davis. Well, thank you, Mr. Self. Look, I'm really excited, TNV family. I can't believe, man, we are already in July. I remember when we started off this year and we had a, a reset mindset and with so much technology advances, I'm here to really try to simplify the things for you in technology so you can use these tools and not be afraid of them whatsoever. Now, one thing I want to say up front, technology does not replace good old-fashioned activity. You must go out there and make your exposures and everything else. These tools and these resources I'm going to show you, they simply simplify it, make it a little bit more effective of what we're doing. So we're going to go over some, what I feel like some frequently uh, used deals, deals and prospect by Legal Shield. We're going to touch on LS Engage, and then we're going to dive right into our Legal Shield app. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into the training.
Prospect by Legal Shield is an excellent tool to measuring whether or not you're doing the proper activity throughout the month. Self accountability can be a hard thing, and really understanding what your team is actually doing can be even more difficult. One of the things I use the app for is I'm always looking at my contacts exposed module. This module shows you how many total contacts you have, period, how many you acquired this month, and actually how many you acquired this week. Once you look at that, you also notice at the very bottom, there's something called engaged. See, it's one thing to send somebody some information. It's another thing for them to actually look at it. And all these things come into play. Well, if I'm doing two exposures a day, five days a week, that leads me to about an average of 40 exposures a month. Well, if it's the 15th of the month right now, and I'm just at maybe two or four exposures for this month, then that means I am not doing my daily activity, which I said I should do. And not only that, you can actually have your organization send screenshots to you to find out exactly where they are. I love setting up accountability groups, especially with my new people, to kind of see on a daily basis not only what they're doing, but also gauge is the activity working or not. Now, how can we diagnose this using just the simple numbers on the front of your prospect by Legal Shield screen? Well, it's real easy. Let me give you a few examples. Let's say it's the 15th of the month. And your associate under this month, they have four exposures. Now, they've been in since the beginning of the month, but they have four exposures. You ask them to send them your screenshots, and they send it to the net. This number right here was four. Then that's an easy fix because we understand that if 15 days pass by and you only spoke with four people, then your main problem is you're not engaging people correctly, right? You're not doing your exposures on an everyday basis. But let's say, for example, it's the 15th of the month, but now you have 20 exposures. Well, that's a pretty good number to say 15 days pass by, and that's taking some weekends off, okay? But this number right here at the bottom, the engaged number, you may have 20 people that you expose, but what if only five of them are engaged? See, that tells me that now maybe it's something with your approach that we can work on. Because if five actually are looking what you're sending, then that means we have a little work to do to make sure we can get more people engaged up front, not just you sending videos out. Well, let's go one more example. You have 20 exposures. You have 15 engagements, which is a pretty high deal, but you have no sales. That dictates that there must be a problem and maybe your follow-up. Are you using three-way calls? Are we doing timely follow-ups? Are we asking for the sale? See, not only can Prospect help you keep accountability for yourself, but can actually be used to diagnose what your team is actually doing and maybe some of their weaknesses where you can pinpoint what's going wrong or what's, what can be worked on a little bit more in their exposure process. Prospect by Legal Shield could be a great way to build and establish true relationships. If you've established great relationships with your prospects and they turn into your clients, if anything goes wrong, if there's a bad experience, if they have a misunderstanding, you'll have a lot more influence over that person because that person knows you as someone they built a healthy relationship with. One of the first things that I do whenever I add people into Prospect by Legal Shield, I always put where I met this person at. Any relevant conversation that we may have had, and also anything that I think would be important to me as I'm prospecting that person. So now when I add that particular prospect inside a prospect, I have adequate notes. Now, if I'm talking to that uh, person and I told them I was going to send them a video, and then I asked them, hey, when do you think you'll be able to take a look at it? Would you be able to look at it today, by the end of the day, or maybe early tomorrow? And let's say they said, hey, I'm going to look at it early tomorrow. So I want to immediately schedule a reminder to make sure that I get back with that person. So when I uh, set a reminder, I'm going to pick the very next day to remind myself to get back with that person and a time that I want to be reminded. 
As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and put a, a warning, because if I told him I was going to call him at 12, I'm going to give myself a five-minute reminder before I'm supposed to call him and follow up with him. And I have my notes. And then when I save it, it's there. Now, notice under reminders now, it's follow up with Joe. And it has a date and a time. Now, the great thing about Prospect is that you're able to connect this to your phone's calendar. So now it actually shows up in your schedule also. So you don't have to worry about um, missing that reminder or missing your follow-up. Now, also, I can look under the notes section. And tomorrow comes around. I call Joe. Um, at the moment, he shares with me that, you know, his mother is sick. He had a chance to watch the video, um, but, you know, to give him a call later. Well, what I would do is I would add another note. I would add another note because I need to know that. Because when I'm following up with Joe, when I call him, the first thing I should ask about is maybe his mom and not necessarily the video. It shows that I'm concerned about him. Also, he may tell me to call him later on this afternoon because he's running some errands so I can set a new reminder. Let's say if it's at 5.15 and I can select a date. And now notice under reminder notes. The notes show, it shows all the notes. So when I save this in my calendar, it's going to show not only do I need to follow up with Joe, but also it's going to let him know that the mom is sick. And every note that I wrote up under him, it's going to show that. So now I can keep an activity log along with notes of every interaction I make with Joe. See, this is a way that we can understand and make intelligent follow-ups. And we don't get people mixed up with other folks. Using the Level Advancement module in LS Engage, you'll be able to tell exactly how, much, how many premium and or recruits you need to go to the next commission level. This Level Advancement module is on the front page. Once you click on it, it'll let you know what your current rank is, what your next level is, and how much premium, both personal and organization-wise, that you need to get to your next level. Each person in Legal Shield should know exactly not only where they are, but what it takes to get to the next level. That way you can set smart goals and get there. The front page of LS Engage has several modules or several sections that are very useful today. The level advancement module tells you what you need to get to the next level. The Performance Club module tells you where you are in Performance Club points, as well as Performance Club Pro and your retention. The Mad Streak module will share with you exactly how many months you're in Mad Streak, along with how many people in your organization are in Mad Streak. Your Performance Club grid will let you know exactly which bonuses you should be expecting. Your commissions are going to show you all your commissions, your sales and premium dollars, shows you a detailed report of not only your current sales and premium, but your total sales and premium. And your membership application status will let you know if anything needs attention, how many memberships are processed, and you can actually track the application status. Effective communication is so critical to both you and your entire organization. We all have our group me's, our messenger chats, our text message groups, but there's one thing that every last one of those platforms have in common. Each person has to opt in. So what happens when you have associates in your organization that don't join your Facebook group, or maybe they're not into your group me message? How do you effectively communicate with those individuals? It's easy through Ellis Engage. When you're onboarding any new associates, it is extremely important that not only do they have Ellis Engage downloaded to their phone via app, 
but also that they have their notifications turned on. This platform is a platform that is exclusive corporate communication and business communication. Just as if you had a job and they told you there was a particular email that you had to check every day to maintain your job, treat LS Engage the same way. The way you reach the messaging center in LS Engage is you click on the menu in the upper left hand corner and the second option on the menu is message center. When you click on the message center, there are several things I want you to notice. Number one, where you see the purple dot, that simply means that this is a message that you did not open internally in LS Engage. That does not mean that you haven't checked the message via email because some of you all LS Engage messages go to your email also. My suggestion is every message that comes in, make sure you check it and get your team in the habit of checking it via LS Engage. This is extremely important. Imagine what happens when you have an emergency, something that came through from corporate that was time sensitive and everyone needed to hear about it. What would be the messaging platform you would use to get it out to your entire organization? By default, most people will go to maybe the Facebook groups, the group me's, the text messaging. They'll tell people to text your team and have them text their team and have them text their team. But it can be so simply resolved if we all were on LS Engage. Because every single associate that hits your organization automatically is added to the LS Engage messaging system. So that gives you a way that you do not have to figure out that they opt in or they're in the group and you're sending yourself six different messages on six different platforms to try to reach your organization. Your downline reports in LS Engage are crucial because they can share with you who to talk to, who deserves your attention, and when to talk to them. As you're growing your organization in Legal Shield, it can be difficult to welcome new associates on board or congratulate associates as they rank advance. But luckily, we have our downline reports. It's easy to get to those reports in the upper left hand corner, click the menu, then click downline reports. I'm going to share with you some ways I use these reports in order to welcome new associates, congratulate people that have ranked advanced, etc. So one of the things that I do every morning before I wake, before I start my uh, day uh, is I look at the organizational new associates. This particular report shows the people that are brand new to your organization. These are the folks that you should be given as leaders welcome calls to. Part of our system with Team New Vision is that a new associate should receive anywhere from three to five welcome calls whenever they come on. How powerful do you think that would be if that a new associate signs up and within 24 hours they get three to five welcome calls? Now, typically, we ask the associate that recruited them to organize these calls. But as leaders, we know that that doesn't happen all the time. And we cannot risk the potential of a new associate not getting the welcome calls because the person that recruited him did not do the welcome calls. So as a leader in your organization, I would access this report right here. And each morning, as I see new people, you can reach out to those new people. Let me share with you the simplest way of doing it. If you look to the left, there's the associate name and their associate number. If you click on the actual associate name, what it does is going to give you a detailed contact information on that particular associate. Now it's going to show their front page of their LS Engage. So you'll see their level advancement module. You'll see if they're in their fast start period, how much premium that they actually have. Also, how many associates they have, so you can see exactly what business that they've done. But for the sake of reaching out to them, at the very bottom, I want you to notice several things. The call button and the messages button. The reason why these are important is literally you can just click the call button or the messages button 
and you can call or text message that associate. When I click the call button, it'll automatically ask me if I want to make a call to that particular number. And I can press yes, and now I'm making a call to that associate. The same thing applies with the messages button, except it'll open my text message program. This is a way for us to quickly welcome new associates and give them a quick welcome call. As I mentioned, imagine how strong and how much impact it'll be if a new associate, once they join the organization within their first 24 hours, gets several people welcoming them to the team, congratulating them, and offering their help. This is how we set up success from day one. Also, another thing I want to show you about any of these reports in LS Engage is that if you click anywhere in this area whatsoever, this white area, it'll give you a detailed summary instead of you having to scroll across like this. It'll give you a detailed summary on one page of everything that was in that particular, underneath that associate and in that one particular associate's file. So that's an easy way of doing it. Some of my favorite reports, of course, is organizational new associates. I always like to look at organizational level advancements. Why? Because my level advancements give me time where I can uh, actually congratulate people as they're advancing. So if someone hits senior associate or manager or senior manager, I would want to personally call and congratulate that person for what they did. Another great report that you can look at is your organizational mad streak report. This report right here tells you exactly who's in the mad streak, how many months they have qualified, and everything. Now, any of these organizational reports, you can actually sort them. In order to sort a report, what you do is you look at the date in which you want to sort them. So for this report, I actually want to sort the Mad Streak report by months qualified. So what I'll do is I'll click months qualified. I'll put it in descending order. So what descending order means is it's going to sort the report by whoever has the most all the way down to whoever has the least. So now I can look at the months qualified and if I wanted to congratulate or have a list of everybody that was in the mad streak, it's easy for me to find because they're already sorted. In this particular example, I have a lot of people in their first month. That is huge. Some of these people may not be in the performance club, but recognition on every level is important. So once again, you can click on the name of the associate and you can personally congratulate them or maybe send them a quick text saying congratulations on being in the mad streak. Another great uh, report that you can look at is your organizational fast start report. This report is critical because it shares exactly who's in the fast start qualification period when their period ends and how much premium that they have. So you can always go down to the settings button and you can change any of these settings that you want and put them in any order. So for an example, if I wanted to find out if, uh, if I want to start off by their 20 day ending date first, if I, that's the first thing I wanted to see right there. And then maybe I wanted to find out how much personal premium that this that they had second. Then I want to find out how many organizational premiums third. Then I may want to find out. Um, let me see if they took the fast start training date. Now notice I'm just moving these things around by clicking the buttons on the side. Once I do that, I'll press OK. Now notice now the first column is the 20 day end date, the personal premium, organizational premium, and a fast start training date. So if I wanted to have this by order of dates, so I need to know who to work with first, 
let me put this in this order. So this is ascending order. For me, I like to put it in descending because I like to know who was the last person that hit the team. So I know these associates up front, what I'll do is it goes by year, then month, then day. So I can go down to the current day, whatever that is, let's say uh, July 9th. If it's right before July 9th, I know that I have these associates that by the 9th, their date is going to end. Have other associates by the 16th. I can see exactly who has what, how much personal premium they have. I can see when if they took the fast start training class. Or if I wanted to just see a whole screenshot of that person, I'll just click anywhere in the white area, like I mentioned before. And then it'll give me all of their totals. Where they are, when is their 20-day ending date, how much premium they have, if they took the fast start class, all that information is right here in this report. Now, let me describe how to actually navigate through the Team New Vision app so you can get the most from it. At the very bottom, to the right, there's a button for your home page. So anytime you want to go home, you can click that button right here. The next button is your chat. When you click on chat, you're able to have all of the chat from anyone within Team New Vision that you can actually have a private chat. The button to the bill with the notation on it, with the numbers, are your notifications. These are just sharing different notifications. And the button all the way to the right with a little circle around it is your personal profile. Now, under your personal profile, you can review all the activity that you've recently participated with in the, in the app. You can actually press view profile. This is what people see when they actually click on your profile. You can put your profession up in there, your location, personal links, all the communities you belong to, the university courses that you've taken, and all the topics that you're following, and any events that are upcoming that you're going to attend. Now let's talk about the Team New Vision community, private community I should add, and app. The reason why we say it's a private community and app is because unless you're actually in the downline of a Team New Vision Platinum Executive Director, then you're not allowed to be in this app. This is for Team New Vision members only. It's a place where we can build culture, can have shared experiences, have great conversation, congratulate people, and build the TNV community that we've known for across the world. As you notice on top, there's what we call featured posts. These featured posts are posts that may contain information that we consider critical to all users of the TNV app. For example, one of the featured posts we have right now is the Platinum Roundtable Replay. This is only available inside of the TNV app, and it was a Platinum Roundtable. Well, all the Platinums were interviewed by Mr. Self, along with timestamps of how that interview went. But the structure of the app is really simple. Just like any other social media, you do have the ability to stroll through posts as you would normally. Now, in the upper left-hand corner, there's actually the menu button. When you click on the menu, you can actually see the Discovery tab. If you click on Discovery, what you'll notice is that what it does, it divides the app up into sections. So the first thing is the welcome tab. The welcome section is are articles that are centered around things of people first getting on the app. New to the TMV app, you have, um, you know, first things first. All these things are introductory posts. While we built Team New Vision app for you, Next, you have the Featured app, which you already saw. Then you have Upcoming Events. You also have members in the same profession. So whatever profession you decide to put in your profile, you can see members that are in your similar profession. We also have members who are located near you. So you can see members 
who are actually near your area. After that, we have topics. You have your top TNV University and your top post. These are posts that are getting the most comments and likes on. So that's your discovery. Then you have the topics. Topics, just like in discovery, break down all the posts in specific topics. The next section, of course, excuse me, is events. Click on events. These are all the events that you can watch that are coming up in our TNV calendar. Next, you have communities. In communities, these are smaller groups. Now, all of these may not show because some of these communities are private. Like, for instance, right now, we have our ring earners community. Ring earners community are for TNV ring earners, where they can share private posts, ask questions, etc. Sometimes we'll have our book of the month community. We have some organizations, some ring earner organizations that actually created their own community within the app. Get with your upline ring earner and find out if you do have a community you can subscribe to. And that way you can get specific things from your community. The next thing we have is TNV University. TNV University is where we're going to house all of our core trainings that we have in Team New Vision. Let's say, for instance, the TNV core training module, TNV University, has all the Bundy Light Facebook Live videos. So when you click on the video, you're able to see it. You're also able to tell what you watch. You can mark it complete. So you can keep up, make sure that you're going through all the trainings yourself. There's even a table of content and the activity feed for each community. And these are different communities. Some of these may show. Some of these are private. They may not show in your app, depending upon your level. Another thing that I want you to see is when you click on a particular post, you can actually see that topic. If I wanted to congratulate all the success people are having, then notice at the top of this, this is actually tagged as congratulations. That means it's under the topic congratulations. So what I'm able to do is click on that actual topic. And now it's going to go through all the congratulations post that recently had. All the things that we just went over are just a brief introduction on what you can use the apps for today. Of course, with all the other resources that we do have, the improvements of the app, just commit yourself to learn. I promise I'll put more resources exclusively in our TNV application when it comes down to utilizing technology, new websites, and all other things that can really help and grow, grow our business. Let's win big, TNV family. Back over to you. Here's the reason why you got to keep taking trains after train after train. TMV. Here's the reason why the part of TMV DNA is that we go to trains over and over and over again because, like, in your first fast start, your first fast start training class, you probably don't realize this. Hey, there's a couple of slides on retention. Because if you haven't been in any business yet, you're not thinking about retaining customers, you're thinking about getting customers. And that's until you go the second time to realize, hey, I didn't see these slides on retaining customers because you don't want advanced recovery. You don't want people dropping the membership. So my point is, there are parts of this training that you're probably not taking as many notes on because it's not as applicable maybe to you in legal seal. I'm sure life principles, yes. But like Herman Davis, there were some things I'm like, oh my gosh, how much easier is that for me? Because I'm at a place where certain things he said I wouldn't have received a long time ago. That's why you have to keep coming to training after training after training so that you receive what you're supposed to, what you're supposed to receive at that moment. Tell you, this is TMV DNA. We don't say things like, I've taken that training. Oh, I've already been there. Or that's like saying I've taken my shower. For the year, you're good, that's it, right? No, you want it, it you've required over and over and over again. It's called space repetition. This is how you build upon levels. You don't leave a level, you build upon it so that you still have what you used to have, but you have more on top of it. That's the key to legal shield and to TMB. So anyway, that I just deal with relationships too, right? Because yeah. sometimes you may say something to me a year ago and it's over my head. When you say it today, 
sound like I'm not, I get it. Because yeah. I'm in a different place and we're in a different place. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes she has to tell me the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, and I finally get it, see? Over but you over always get it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We're talking about, like, the message, right? But, like, we're, okay. All right, so check it out. We're going to take a break right now. And um, because we said it was around 4 o'clock. So only five minutes, though, guys. Five. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put the clock up. Five minutes, like, run to the restroom. Some of you have already put, you know, put, put us, took us to the bathroom with you, which I don't want to know about all of that, right? But um, so run to the restroom. But it's only five minutes, guys. So stretch your legs, do what you have to do, and let's get so much more to go. We do. We the, the up-and-coming trainings, man, so let's just exciting. continue to add on to what you already learned. So I can't wait. So make sure you get back all the time because we're starting right in five minutes. All right, let's start the countdown clock. Hey, this is Tanisha Morgan from Arizona, and my background is that of a nail technician salon owner. I got started in 2003, and I am TMV for life. TMV family, what's up? Rob Johnson right here from Money Making Maryland. Background is in IT project management, core division back in 2005, and I'm TMV for life. Hi, I'm Sean Stone from Atlanta, Georgia. My background is the entertainment industry, and I caught the vision in 2018, and I am TMB for life. Hi, my name is Israel Wynn. And my name is Marty Wynn, and we're from Money Making Maryland. My background is in real estate and professional athlete. My background is in sports and entertainment. We caught the vision in 2019. And we are TMB for, for life. life. Linda Gray, I am from Maryland, background private industry and insurance. I caught the vision in 1998 and I am TNV for life. Hola mi gente, familia de Legal Shield y TNV. Mi nombre es Yamil Toledo y soy de Miami, Florida. Yo soy administradora y yo cogí esta gran visión en el 2019 cuando abrieron Legal Shield en español. Y yo soy de TNV por vida. Nikita Tucker from Atlanta, Georgia. My background is real estate. I caught the vision in 2010, and guess what? I'm TMV for life. My name is Ron Green. I am from Georgia. My background is military, and I caught the vision in 2002, and I am TNV for life. What's up, guys? Rayvon Self out of Money Making Maryland. I have a background working in retail corporate and retail sales, retail banking, and I caught the vision back in 2008, and I am TMV for life. Hey, my name is Maureen Vincenti. I'm a scientist. I caught the vision in 2020, and I am TMV for life. My name is Dave Spangler. My wife and I live in Pennsylvania, and my background is excavating and construction. We caught the vision in 2007, and we are TMV for life. My name is Joel Barnahama out of Arizona. Background is international shipping and the insurance industry. I caught the vision in 2014. I am TNV for life. Hello, everyone. Happy Fourth of July. My name is John Balcone. My wife, Clary Balcone, out of the great state of Florida. We have a background of military and administration, and we caught the vision back in 2006. And we are TNV, TNV for really? life. Hello, Team New Vision family. Timothy Ward, South Carolina. Background is in small business, and I caught the vision. December 2001, and I am TNV for life. Hey, what's going on, TNV family? This is Mike Humes from Money Making Maryland, background disgruntled mailman, and I caught the vision way back in 1998. And just like the tattoo says, I am TNV for life. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really good. Hey, so we will get a chance to uh, to be together um, soon, hopefully. We know we have an event coming up in Charlotte this fall in October, so hopefully that event will be on. Uh, I know I'm registered for it already, and so make sure you stay I'm close. Registered. Yes, you're registered too. <laughs> we'll be empty nesters, guys, Ooh. at that point. I know. So... Kai goes back to Penn State tomorrow, and Milan goes to Spelman in August. So, yeah. So, um, just won't be traveling with you now. So, hopefully, we'll, we'll see each other in Charlotte. That'll be great. In October, we'll all get a chance to see each other. We'll have our TMB breakout, so I'll keep you updated. Make sure you stay connected to our home office so that you will know when that's coming up, okay? So, that way you have that. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So, we got, listen, we got quite a few trainings still for you guys. You guys ready to take some additional notes? Well, before we do that, you know, the TMV has been around for a little bit, 
right? Since 1998, you just heard Linda Gray talk about, she caught the vision in 1998. She was, she was in the basement. The, yeah, she was in the basement too, right? So, um, <laughs> so um, we've been around for a long time. In 2003, we said, you know what? We should pull our culture together and do some team events. And that way the TNV family got a chance to meet other TNV family members, mm -hmm. right? Because back then, when we first got started, most of our team, 99% of our team was African-American because when they told me to make out a list, everybody knew I happened to live in an Af African-American community, went to school with African-Americans, so my family, so I'm like, oh, well, that's what I'm writing on the list. So it wasn't like, you know, hey, let's create a black team. That's not what happened. Um, but as we grew, we started to diversify, right? And, um, and so when people came to our TNV event, they were like, oh, my gosh, didn't matter what you look like. It was family. And that's, I think, what separated us, right? People were like, oh, my God, it's just family. We don't care. You're family. And then a lot of folks, like 30%, weren't even on TNV. And we just seemed like family because they are. They're our cousins, right? And so, um, so that was 2003, our very first event. And then we just continued. Yup, in Florida. And we just continued to do events. We just switched. We went to New Orleans. We went, to all, we went all over, right? We went to Houston. I uh, went to the West Coast, went to Puerto Rico, and uh, this year, we're supposed to be here in, in the D.C., Maryland area, but of course, you're at home, which is great, because now you get the chance to still be with your family and, you know, not have to worry about the flights and things like that, and still stay safe. But we want to give you a little taste of what some of our team event, TNV events are like, because you never been, and you're like, well, I still don't know. Well, we thought we'd give you a little taste of TNV, and so Mr. Jenkins or Mr. Mitra or Mr. Chapman, if that video is ready, let's play that for the uh, team at this time. can't believe another night at midnight at the store. Here I am manager now, working more hours, still check to check. Never failing, I know that all things are working for me. I don't even pay her $5 an hour, but I have to fire her over $4. It has to be a better way. Never failing, all things are working for my good. Man. I know I'm doing good for myself, but I, I just can't keep doing this. And this uniform is killing me. I just can't accept being average any longer. I know it's got to be something else out there for me. I can't do this any longer. This is why you got to keep your goals, your visions, your dreams in front of you. And I always talk about, you know, what are your wants and reasons? It was watching my mother work 32 years for the electric company. It was watching her work and struggle to provide for my sister and I so that we can have a lifestyle. I didn't understand why, why I'm, I was gonna have to go and grow through that same situation. But I thank God that, uh, that I was able to see her push through that situation. I thank God, Molly, that you never quit. I thank God that you never settled for less. I thank God for you. Yo, everybody come get your bounce on, get your bounce on, get your bounce on. Don't be cute with it, you gotta get, come on, fifth ward, fourth ward. Come on, sing it.
He quit and thousands quit behind him. And we still made millions. Team New Vision's here to stay. We don't quit. We don't stop. to make right and it's funny because again we're so used to having so many new executive directors and ringers a part of the videos but we haven't even been anywhere to record you guys but can't wait because uh, yeah, yeah summit and yeah. again we, we didn't even have our ringer event this year because oh, of yeah, the pandemic yeah so we have new videos so we have to show you some old yacht videos and stuff hey look let's get back to the training yes and um, so Herman David did a great job of saying, look, this, this is what you do, right? And so because you have philosophical trainings, and then you have, hey, this is what you do. So let's get back into a, this is what you need to do, training. And um, I can't think of anyone better to share why our team has grown so fast through using third party than this new, new what? Platinum. Platinum. And the newest. Platinum executive directors within the TMV family, our friends, our family from Louisville, Kentucky, yeah. Mr. James yeah. Kelly on behalf of James and Kenita yeah. Kelly. Hey, good afternoon, Team New Vision family. This is James Kelly coming to you from my home office here at Possibility City, Kentucky. And I'm so excited to be here as one of the many six-figure income earners with Team New Vision and one of the newest Platinum Executive Director organizations. And this is truly a dream come true for us. And Mr. Harlan Stonesight said, not all dreams come true, but dreams never dream will never come true. And so we saw this a long time ago, folks, and uh, now getting the chance to be a part of that dream realized. We also get a chance to share with you today how it was possible. And it was the recruiting process. And that's exactly what recruiting is. It's a process. It's not an event. And you have to trust the process. You can't rush the process. So 16 years ago, when we were first introduced to this amazing opportunity, I was 27. My wife owned a styling salon. I owned a barbershop. We loved what we did, but we hated the fact that we were spending 60 to 70 hours a week apiece away from one another and our four children. And so when we got involved, we knew that in today's climate, that as a black man, if I didn't have a seat at the legal table, I would probably continue to be on the menu. And once we had a seat at the table, we wanted to give other people a seat at the table. And that's when Legal Shield messed up and showed us the money, right? And we know money isn't everything, but it does rank right up there with air. You got to have it in order to live. And so for us, the recruiting process was everything. And a friend of ours, Mr. Jermaine McAdory, thought enough of us to reach out to me on a Monday, right? And he put me on a pre-recorded call, a sizzle call as we like to call it. And what was he doing? He was doing the number one most important thing in any given network marketer's day, right? That was personal prospecting. 
He then put me on a three-way call with an expert who invited me out to a Tuesday event. That Tuesday, we showed up at the event, got involved with the business opportunity, and to date, we built one of the biggest businesses that Kentucky has ever seen. As a matter of fact, the first platinum executive director organization ever created in the state of Kentucky. So how, again, was that possible? It was the recruiting process, and we would not be here had he not taken us through the recruiting process. And if you would have told me 16 years ago that I would have been sitting on a yacht on a Tuesday with a group of visionaries and forward-thinking entrepreneurs, as opposed to being in my barbershop on $5 haircut Tuesday, chasing your snotty-nosed kids around to cut their hair for five bucks, could you imagine that? I would have told you that you were crazy. But again, visions can become realities here. And I'm so glad we caught the new vision and there was something about waking up in the morning, kissing our kids goodbye as we were taking them to school, but not kissing them again until we were going to put them in the bed. That just didn't sit very well with us. So that was our why. And why is an acronym? Well, what hurts you or what helps you, folks? And what we want you to know is that, um, you know, we won't be able to keep you around long, but your why will. So I heard it said by Mr. Harold Branch that I uh, have no doubt if we don't have massive success here. We live time and financial freedom for our kids to figure out. And see, I wanted to become the type of man that Jordan, Jalen, and uh, Jacob, my godson, would want to emulate. And then also the type of man that my daughters, Jadot and Jabriel, would want to marry. But you have to become the type of person, right, that would allow those things to talk, start to come to fruition. So what is it that you want? What do you want to be? Is it an influential person who helps other people to have some of the best experiences of their life, right? Is it, you know, being able to experience, what is it that you want to do? Is it being able to experience things that maybe some people only dream about, right? And uh, I'll never forget parasailing with my wife. She hates uh, heights and she hates water, but she wouldn't let me parasail, parasail by myself. You know, we got a chance to hang out with uh, the former CEO, Mr. Rip Mason, as well as, uh, you know, one of our senior directors, Ms. Octavia Harper, at the Indianapolis 500 Speedway. You know, is it uh, being at the top of a mountain, but still having the wherewithal to go up a little higher and be able to look over the edge? There was the El Yunque Mountain in Mexico uh, as we went out there for a Team New Vision event. Or is it being able to train on stage in front of literally, you know, a thousand plus people when that stage in Las Vegas was the one that you had first walked across as the newlyweds from Kentucky uh, when we first went executive director in Legal Shield. What is that you want to have, right? Uh, I remember getting the first BMW and letting Legal Shield pay for it. It was a 745, uh, getting the ring at the $50,000 ring level, getting checks from different regions. That's a Canadian check. That money spends differently. They don't even send it to you direct deposit. Or is it building an amazing organization, right? And we're a melting pot here with Living a Legacy with Team New Vision. And our diversity is our strength. So Zig Ziglar says it this way. He said, you can have everything that you want in life as long as you're willing to help enough other people get what they want. And we live in a system here in Legal Shield that allows us to be able to do it. So what makes it all possible? It's the system that makes it all possible. It's all about duplication, folks. And just remember, system is an acronym for save yourself some time, energy, and money. And we're going to teach you here not just to do what works, but to do what duplicates. And if you trust the process, anyone can recruit a superstar. Anyone can have a Darnell Self, a Mike Humes, a Kevin Mack, right? A Kanitha Kelly maybe on their team, even from 300 miles away, as long as you're system dependent versus being people dependent. And if you realize that all you need to be is the messenger and not the message, you will be able to save yourself a lot of time, energy, and money. All right, great. So here's uh, our blueprint for success. And we liken it to the baseball arena. And did you know that in baseball, if you, uh, you know, had an average of only three hits out of every 10 times at bat, three hits out of every 10 times at bat, that would be sufficient enough for them to pay you a million dollars a year. That means you're out seven times, out seven times, and you still can make a million dollars a year just from hitting three times out of 10 at bat. Well, the same way in Legal Shield, this is a game of numbers. And in order to have a successful business in the recruiting process, you need to build a big list, right? We say at least 100 to get started at home base. And then going from home base to first base, folks, is your primary responsibility. It's approaching and peaking interest. What is approaching and peaking interest? It's exposure. And what I want you to do is write this down, that exposure is everything. Exposure is everything. 
And what is an exposure? It's simply finding people to talk to. It's simply finding people to talk to. Well, when you look and open up your database and your cell phone, many of us have hundreds of contacts right there in our cell phone. So you only really got to go and find people, but now you do have to approach them and peak interest. And so when you utilize your team script or maybe the corporate script, that way you can take the guesswork out of reaching out to people. You can get good at exposing, which again is your number one primary responsibility. So what does that sound like? It's like, hey, you know, James, how are you? Are you busy? No? Okay, great. Look, I just started a new business. I'm really excited about it. And I truly believe that it's going to help me to be able to spend more time at home with those Kelly kids as opposed to being at the barbershop all the time on the weekends. I think you might like it too. And you may know some people that I can help. Oh, by the way, are you open to making some extra money? Okay, great. So what I want to do is I want to send you a quick three minute video. And if I sent it to you right now, could you take a look at it right now, right? The sense of urgency in our prospecting makes all the difference in the world. But what did I just do? I just introduced them at first base to a third party tool. Everybody with me, a third party tool. Third party is always going to be better than first party when you're building a successful systemic business. Now, once I sent them the tool, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to learn how to speak highly of the person that I want to connect them with on a three-way call. And you're gonna hear more about three-way calls in just a second from some of the, you know, the most professional people in the world of Legal Shield, uh, you know, about how to make sure that we're moving people to the next base in the process. So second base is a three-way call. And remember this, write this down, right? More three ways, more paydays. No three ways, no paydays, or little pay, you know, paydays. So we wanna increase your check, right? But we increase the check by increasing uh, being systemic here in the world of Legal Shield. So once the three-way is done, the three-way is going to lead to the invitation. And remember, your job is to do the invitation or, or the invitation initially for the third-party expert to lead people to doing the presentation, which is what happens at third base. And then once we get people to third base, guess what we do? We close with a backbone and we get them uh, to you know, getting started with us. So exposure is everything, but here's what I want you to know, that we didn't necessarily have the success that we had because we just got exposed. The fortune is in the follow-up, and I need you to write that down. The fortune is in the follow-up, right? So as soon as you get done with getting them in front of the information, the next goal is to make sure you follow up and get somebody else on the line. So follow-up is not just immediate even though you want to be urgent with the follow-up. So if I send a person a video today, I'm not waiting six days to follow back up with them. I'm, I'm sending them a three-minute video, and I want them to watch it now, so I'm following up with them six minutes later. Everybody with me? Now, that's the follow-up. And so often in our business, we watch people miss out on big results because they don't do the daily disciplines. And see, prospecting and follow-up when you're new can be ugly. And it's, it's hard, right, trying to teach you that it's okay to be ugly when you're learning how to build a business. Kevin Mack says it this way. He says, uh, you know, it's okay to be bad in the beginning as long as you intend to get better. But you can't look good and get better at the same time. Here's the challenge, right? Most people want to shine bright like a diamond, but they're unwilling to get cut like one in order to have the brilliance. So it's important for each and every one of us to recognize that when we're going out to expose, when we're following up, that we may not be great at it in the beginning, but we have to practice the disciplines. And what you do daily is who you become permanently. So if you're willing to follow up, see, listen, you're about to hear from some executives that I had to follow up with for four years before they got involved, right? Four years before they got involved with the business opportunity. So it's not just about the immediate follow-up, it's about the consistency in the follow-up, right? And what you do is you continue to show up and be present, what I call the ministry of presence, and people will see your growth and development as you've taken people through the process because at the center, the epicenter of what we do is training, which is where we're at right now in the Millionaire Success Training, this streaming live with Team Division, uh, which is helping us all to get better at the game. Lastly, what I want to share with you folks is that we have to work with the willing. As we walk people through this process, a lot of times people will think it's our job to make them become successful. It is not your job to make someone else become successful. It's your job to teach them the system of success, and it's up to them to follow you along the pathway of success. And as long as you make that pathway clear and they know they can follow you, it is completely up to them to follow you along the pathway of success. And here's what I want you to know, that clarity creates the pathway to possibility. 
So what we're showing you here today is how to get clear about the process. Because if you try to make people become successful, Jim Rohn says, listen, I try to make people become successful and I almost died, right? I said, it, it, it almost killed me because I said I was going to make them successful if it did kill me. What I had to learn is in running a business like this, right, you have to work where deserved and not just where needed. So you got to work with the willing, those who are willing to pick up the phone, those who are willing to come to a train like this. It's free, folks. Yes, it's the 4th of July and the country is celebrating its independence, but we're talking about creating financial independence. And that's what we get a chance to do here with this amazing opportunity, right? So you got to work with the people who are willing to put in the reps just like you are. Champions are not made in the ring. They're just displayed there. So you got to be willing to put in the work and be plugged in in private so you can be powerful in public, right? And those who are doing that are the people that you spend your time with. And guess what? Even once you become a platinum executive director, even once you become an executive or a senior director and your performance club pro qualified, you'll never stop doing the basics of exposing, following up, and making sure you're working with the willing, right? Because that's what helps you to continue. When people ask us, how are we able to write 30 personal memberships in the month of June in order to help qualify for the 100K ring? and the, uh, you know, the platinum executive director position and qualify as an executive on our own with networking premium, it's because we've consistently prospected over the years that led us to still having a list today that we could go and draw from to create 28 new members or 38, uh, 30 new members. And all we want you to know, folks, is that you can do the exact same thing. You too can become an executive and a platinum and a ring earner here in this amazing team and company if you're willing to trust the process and not rush the process. So we're gonna jump right into some examples of what it looks like to utilize this process and use the team in order to be able to do that. Well, great Team New Vision family. To master the recruiting process, we have to realize that we have to work on us. You gotta to go to work on you. And you have to fight the daily activity battles, the prospecting, personal prospecting, as well as personal development. But in order to win the success war, right, that battle, is gonna require a team. And every one of us needs each of us and each of us need all of us in order to be able to succeed. And you just have to realize that people are either lifting you up or they're pulling you down. There is no in between. And either the people on your team are gonna be people that stretch you or they're gonna pull on you. And you gotta know the distinction there. And if you look around at your circle and you don't get inspired, you don't have a circle, you got a cage. And I'm so thankful that I've got people around me that I'm inspired by. And the people that I'm about to bring to the stage are people that I've got a great deal of respect for. And I'm so thankful that this gentleman joined the team, you know, a few years ago. And of course, we call him a COI, right? He's a center of influence. And of course, his dedication and his work ethic, as well as his, uh, you know, uh, conditioning of the system has helped him to be, ex be extremely successful here in the world of legal shields. So I'm going to go out real quickly and bring to the stage Mr. Delvito Johns. Mr. Johns, are you there, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Delvito Johns. Um, 17 years active duty military, um, been with Legal Shield about two years and with Bronze Executive Director. Absolutely, sir. Thanks so much for being with us. The next person we're going to go out to is Mrs. Alicia Dukes, his lovely wife, and you know, met this young lady, and uh, we already knew she had a coaching ability, and we just wanted to make sure that that translated here to the world of business, but she was my daughter's AAU coach uh, when we were introducing uh, her to Legal Shield. And of course, she already had a pizzazz for life and a certain flair about her that she was bringing uh, to the world of business. And you now have seen that as we've helped, you know, as she's helped to build this living the legacy culture. So, Miss Alicia Dukes, are you there? I am, sir. Hi, TMV family. Alicia Dukes here. Uh, my wife, a mother to five. I spent the last 28 years flossing other people's teeth. I've got a background in dentistry, you guys. Also officiated women's college basketball for 21 years. We've been with the business uh, just a short two years, and we are executive bronze directors. Fantastic. Fantastic. And the last person we're going to go out to, uh, of course, is the person that is responsible for the spirit of this amazing organization. And, and, you know, she's the wind beneath my wings. And, of course, she's the fire to my ice. And you know her affectionately as the voice of the team division momentum call. And, and this young lady, of course, is one of the newest platinum executive directors here in the world of Legal Shield. I'm talking about Ms. Kanika Kelly. Ms. Kelly, are you there? I am here. And thank you so much for such a great um, introduction. Again, Kanitha Kelly out of this um, Louisville, Kentucky market in a possibility city 
as um, it is affectionately known when you're walking through our airport. Been in this great business for 16 awesome years. Yes, we are the newest Platinum Executive Directors. My background is that of a former hair salon owner and stylist, and currently I'm actually adulting four children who are adults but turning around and also being a great caretaker for not only my mom, my sister, and my dad. So still totally busy giving to others. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. Absolutely. So as we move a little bit further into the recruiting process, we're gonna go out to Mrs. John, so we can start talking about the three-way call. Yeah, so let's talk about the recruiting process. Um, first of all, when we first got started, I was, I was thankful that there was a process and a system in place um, to guide you through the three-way call process and the recruiting process. And these are some of the things we'll be talking about. Leveraging an expert, edifying your expert, get yourself out of the way. The expert will make the invitation, not you, and um, show your prospect the support system that we have already in place. Absolutely, sir. And as we think about that, right, it's so important to realize that you are the message, our messenger and not the message. Write that down, right? That you are the messenger and not the message. So the three-way call system allows you to get yourself out of the way, like Mr. Johns was saying, and it allows you to leverage the, uh, you know, the expertise of the expert who has come before you. And how would you like it if you could actually let somebody else do the heavy lifting, but you got the beach body? Would that be okay with you? That's what the three-way call is all about. You got yourself on mute, Mrs. Dukes, go ahead. <laughs> Absolutely, so let's just jump right into how that actually works. So a three-way call, it's imperative that you text your expert first, right? Make sure that they are available. And then you're gonna call your prospect, right? And then um, you're gonna edify your expert prior to getting your expert on the phone. So you're gonna do that with your prospect first. And then once you have everybody merged on the line, all three are there, you're going to hit mute after that introduction and just listen. Fantastic. So when we think about the, uh, you know, of course the, the, the triangle effect of the edification and this three-way call system, there's you as the associate, there's your expert, right, as your business partner, and then there's your friends, family, and neighbors, which are the people that we're going out to talk to. Now, your friends know, know you, like you, and trust you, and that could be the reason why they're not listening to you as it relates to Legal Shield. But here's what you get a chance to do. Again, you get a chance to leverage your expert because when you edify your expert, you can actually lift that other person up, and when they speak to your prospect, the level of the deference that they have for him or her is greater because now you've said something or spoken highly about them. And it's so important, right? Because we come from a world where people focus on negativity. So when they hear people talking to one another about how good or how important somebody is, it is a unicorn in today's society, right? So you create the respect through the edification. And before you know it, at the end of the call, the expert is gonna make sure that they edify you and the people that you've been talking to now have a greater deal of respect for you and the company that you're a part of so you can take yourself out of the way. So Ms. Kelly, I'm gonna go out for, to you to talk a little bit about how you edify your expert. You got yourself on mute. Edification is definitely key. Always speaking more highly of someone else than you are of yourself. And so when you're speaking of your expert, you want to make sure that you are telling your expert that you want them to hear his or her story. Um, you want to get your expert or business partner on the line in order for them to share just a little bit about how this opportunity can work for them. You don't want to de-edify. You don't want to say he or she wants to talk to you because we don't want them thinking that they're more important than the actual expert. Also in edification, you wanna mention that he or she or that business partner or mentor or coach is super busy. So let me see if I can get them, get a moment of their time and you know get them on the line with you. Again, continuing to make sure that you speak highly of them. You don't wanna de-edify them and say, look, I know you're busy, but let me see if I can get in touch with them real quick. No, it's not about the prospect's time. It's always about your expert's time. 
And then, of course, last but not least, you always have the opportunity to edify the expert using Mr. or Mrs. when you're getting them on the phone. Just creating that deference between the client, your prospect's first name and your expert's last name. So you want to get Mr. Smith on the phone and or versus let me just call my buddy um, James so he can holler at you about this business. Definitely not what we want to do. Definitely not. Definitely not, ma'am. And so again, here's that. You may want to take a screenshot of how the certification works because we want you to realize that the person who knows what to do will always be at the mercy of, no, of the person who knows why you're doing it. So the psychology of edification and the deference that goes along with the business that we're building and the culture we're creating is what has created you know, Team New Vision's uh, you know, long-term success. And so we're gonna jump into real quickly what we call some entertainment. And I love this folks because many of us have made mistakes over the years, right? And it's the small things, the nuances that have kept us from growing business exponentially. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually jump in and show you the wrong way to do a three-way call, okay? This is the wrong way. But when you are looking to set the frame for a three-way call, the keys to a successful three-way are number one is to be excited. People will move more based on the height of your enthusiasm than they will the depth of your knowledge. Always text your expert first to make sure that they're available. So you may want to text a few people to make sure you got a few people that you can reach out to and then call your list from top to bottom and make calls in bunches. I can't tell you, of course, how many calls I've made in my first three or four calls, every time I make them, I experience trepidation. I, I experience call reluctance. But once I get to call five, six, seven, or eight, I'm in the zone now, right? So it's important to make calls, uh, a bunch of calls from top to bottom when you're sitting down to start reaching out to your prospects. So Mr. Johns, we're gonna go out. Kanita is gonna be your friend that you're calling, right? And then Mrs. Dukes is gonna be your expert. So let's go ahead and start with the role play. Ring, ring. Hello. Yo, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. Who is this, Vito? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you, you well, I ain't talked to you in a while. I know you. You check that. You check that video out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You did send me that video. Um, don't think I really got around to watching all of it. It's got the talking about legal stuff, and I ain't really it, no it, criminal, so it, I didn't listen. It it, it 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 don't matter. It don't matter. Let me uh, let me see if I can get you somebody else to talk to though. Uh, I know she's she, actually she's been waiting on you to call. Uh, waiting on me to call her. To get you on the phone anyway. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to no, I don't talk to nobody. Hold on. Hold on. I only click. know you. Click. Please. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, God. Lee. Yes. Yes, Vito. Lee. Hey, you remember I was telling you about my girl. She's on the she's on the other line. She don't like you got you got a few minutes. Seventieth time that you called me in the last three hours. Are they gonna be? I, on I know, but I'm I'm on the grind. I'm working. I'm on the grind though. Let me let me let me let me uh let me buzz you in. Let me buzz you in. Hey, Kenny, you still there? You still there? Y'all stop, stop. Y'all sit down. I'm on the phone. I'm here. I told you I didn't want to talk to nobody. I got, I got Alicia on the phone. I, my homegirl. I was telling you about you, Alicia. You I know an Alicia. What's her name? What's her last name? Alicia Kelly. Is that you, girl? Girl, Alicia, what's up? Girl, how you been? Oh, man, over here beating these kids. You and me, you and me both, you and me both. What's up? What's going they, on? They are wearing me thin. I'm over here trying to cook dinner. Wait, hold on, hold on. Y'all know each other. because Please. Vito, huh? Tell her about the money. Tell, tell her about what we... Tell her about that lick we made last month. Come oh, on oh, yes, yes, girl. You trying to get- All right, pause, cut, X, right? As we can see, <laughs> as we can see, family, everything about that whole three-way setup was wrong, right? So the approach, we didn't, you know, find out if the prospect, uh, you know, was, was busy when we first reached out. Of course, uh, you know, the, the lack of professionalism when we're reaching out, right? You don't have to be somebody you're not, but we do want to show a different approach to who we are uh, as we're starting to build a business that could be a multi-million dollar business, right? So do re realize that you're not supposed to talk over your expert, and we're going to show you how to do it the right way here as well as you're going to respond and follow up to a person that you sent a short three-minute video to that is going to pique their interest as it relates 
to this legal shield opportunity. So Mr. Johns, we're gonna go ahead and do it right this time. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, Kanita, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Who is this, Vito? Yeah, it is. You got, you got a little bit of time, you busy? Actually, just about to start dinner, but you know what? I can hold on a second, what's going on? Okay, no. thank you, thank you. The kid, how the kids, how the kids? They are running around screaming about how hungry they are. So this definitely has to be quick. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, so did you, were you able to check that video out that I, I sent you? In between a few things that I was doing, I was able to watch. Um, I didn't really know if it was for me because I don't really, I'm not a criminal. <sighs> okay, me, me too. I, I totally understand where you're coming from um, because I, I actually thought the same thing. Um, but once I actually got a little bit more information, I realized that it was everything that I needed and more. Um, but on a scale of one to 10, 10 being most interested in getting more information, um, where do you see yourself? Well, honestly, I see myself at about a nine because I do know a few folks that look like they may need access to some attorneys. Not saying they criminal, but I do want to make some extra money because I remember I do have three kids. I'm glad you say that uh, because you're actually just the type of person we're looking for. And um, as a matter of fact, I have a business partner, Miss Dukes. Um, she knows 100% of the facts. She loves helping people. She's, um, she has a lot of fun and she's made a lot of money in this business. And let me see if I can catch her real quick so you can hear her story. Hold on. Okay. Wait, ring. Hey, Mr. Johns, how are you? I'm all right, Ms. Dukes, how are you? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. What's going on? Not much, I have, I have Kanitha, on, Kanitha on the other line. Um, she saw the three minute video. Um, she actually saw value in the membership and she, she needs a little bit more information. She has three children. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buzz you right in, okay? Perfect, let's do it. All right. Hey, Kanitha, you still there? I am. Lucky we were able to catch her. Um, Ms. Dukes, you still there? I am. Hello, Miss Kanita. How are you? I am awesome, Miss Dukes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is all mine, ma'am. Pleasure is all mine. How was your day? Oh, it's been adventurous, to say the least. The kids are running around. I'm trying to start dinner um, and at the same time still keep them occupied. Well, I can totally relate. So uh, how many children do you have? I have three boys, three okay. adventurous boys. Okay. I Hey, I can, I totally get it, right? I have five, so I have three boys and two girls, so I totally understand what that's like. As a matter of fact, when we were introduced to the membership, you know, about two years ago, we actually had to use it um, as a result of an emergency involving our oldest son. And, really? Yes, and you know, really, it was actually just as devastating to us as COVID, to be quite honest, because it was really unexpected. It was financially draining and, you know, we really didn't know when things were going to get back to normal. But, you know, our experience really after using the membership is what made us firm believers. And, you know, we took a 14 hour trip because it happened in Texas, right? Driving back from Texas to Kentucky. And we just started sharing it with as many friends and family, you know, the power of the service, you know, how effective it was. And within three hours, we were able to, you know, make close to about $700 just by, wow. yes, by following the system, right? We got really excited. We created a team and, you know, and we've been carving out time here and there ever since then. And, um, you know, now we've been able to reach the top position of the company and we've made about $40,000 in extra income doing wow. something you know, that we love doing, which is already protecting and serving others. So, um, you know. And we get to do it from the comfort of our home, girl. So, you know. Really? Yes, absolutely. So, so um, yeah. So let me ask you, you know, what are you, what are you doing tonight that you just can't get out of? I mean, outside of, you know, getting dinner started and finishing up, um, not too much. I could probably, you know, make some time. Wow. What do you have going on? Okay. Well, I would love to be able to introduce you to other people like myself, right? That have had great success within the company, provide you a little bit more details. If mm. Mr. Johns sent you a Zoom link, are you familiar with, with Zoom? Do you have? That I'm not really familiar with the Zoom. I'm not great with technology, but you know what? My kid is, and I can definitely probably have him help me out. There you go. There you go. I can relate to that too. So there's a Zoom app that you can just download straight to your phone. It's free, right? 
And so Mr. Johns is going to send you the link in, uh, okay. the, and you can just press the link, right? You can um, jump on, you'll get to hear some more amazing stories, right? Like I, what I just shared, you can mute, you can turn your camera on if you want, or you don't have to just listen and watch. Can we count on you to hop on? I'm definitely going to be able to hop on. Tell me this. Is it going to give me an opportunity to learn how I can share this with my friends and family members? Because I'm ready to make some money, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to do awesome. Yes, for sure. So you listen, you, you want to make sure that you thank Mr. Johns for sharing that short video with you and, and introducing us, girlfriend. Right. Because absolutely we're about to explode your bank account for you and help you with those three kiddos. Um, Mr. Johns is doing amazing things in the market. He's a future leader, and so you couldn't be in better hands. So I look forward to seeing both of you guys tonight at 7 o'clock, okay? Absolutely. You said explode, and my bank account definitely needs some explosion. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure to speak with you. Pleasure was all mine. Pleasure was all mine. Thank you, Mr. Johns. Nice to meet you, Kanita. Pleasure meeting you, too. Thank you, Ms. Dukes. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Um, we appreciate everything that you do. Anything for you, sir. See you guys in a little bit. Great. All right, fantastic, right? So, and then the last thing that we do, folks, is we make sure we confirm the appointment and then we get off the phone. So the new associate, if you realize that if you stick around on the phone, uh, then the person is gonna start asking you questions that you don't really wanna be responsible for answering. So you wanna make sure that you're able to get that person to the webinar and we'll be able to make sure that they get a full presentation. And once they get a full presentation, now they can make a full decision on how this opportunity is gonna work for them. And we get a chance, of course, uh, now move people along without having to be the deal so that they can see the success, even if you're not yet successful, right? So you wanna leverage yourself through the power of this amazing system. Wow, I mean, that was so good. And look, y'all been doing three ways forever, like for a very long time. And a lot of three ways. That's probably what I do more than anything else. Three ways, whether it be walking calls, whether it be moving people along, whether it be closing. And I still wrote down great. It's just reminders. Isn't this great? Like, even if you know, it's reminders like, yes, yes, yes. Plus, you want to have your team here in it so that your team is on the same page as you. That way it leverages you. Look, the, the, the person who has a lot of people watching this from your team, that just leveraged you. Because you're like, how do I, how do I teach all these people trade? Well, the Kellys just did it for you. Alicia Dukes just did it for you. Del Vito Johns just did it for you. Awesome job, team. Oh, y'all are funny. What are you doing? I'm beating these kids. <laughs> oh, y'all are funny. I love it. And we do that in a skit format live, which is really, really funny. But you guys did an amazing, amazing job. I should say in person. Um, so good. You know what you made me think of, Mr. Kelly? When you said in a zone, you don't get into a zone until after seven to eight calls and I thought how brilliant because I've never seen anybody do something one time and somebody say you're in the zone and somebody made one basketball shot you don't say they're in the zone it's after a lot of them you say they're in the zone tonight no one says it after one how do you even get in the zone until you've made so so many people do one and they're like yeah I made a call yeah I made an exposure yeah I made a a a that's one is that until you do multiple that you're in a zone Good tip, and that was brilliant. That's worth millions right there. If everybody's waiting until they got into a zone, and then they start, all right, now I'm feeling it, right? You do one push up, it's not a zone, right? It's when you're pushing, you're like, oh, I don't think I can push. Come on, push, push, push. Now it's time to work out. Now you woke your muscles up. Come here, woman. <laughs> this is Tracy Self. Welcome back to the stage, Tracy Self. So um, we have another platinum to introduce. Yes, we do. I'm very excited. Yeah, and 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 she's uh, sent in um, so many different ideas. She's like idea platinum of the group. Yeah. Just in case you didn't know, we have um, so many different groups that we're a part of, right? Like the ring earners, for an example, have their our own group. It's going off like crazy, right? Our own group, we communicate back and forth. Really a fun group to be a part of. And then we have our platinum group, right? Which is, you know, once we have platinum for a few months, you come into this particular group conversation. And this one, this young lady is like Miss Idea. She's like, so I've got this thought with this strategy, right? And I love it, right? It's the educator in her, but I love it. And so she said, hey, I like to share three things that I really got out of being a part of TNB. And I was like, sure, that would be awesome. So we're going to go out to Platinum Executive Director. We need some more girl power in these days. Fatima Salam. 
Let's go out to the salon. Hey, I would love to share three simple tips from the top. The first one is, is it is so important to have your why in front of you. I know when you were a brand new associate, one of the first things you were asked was, what is your why? Your why can be a person, a cause, or reason, but you want to keep that why in front of you because it is going to motivate, inspire, and drive you on your journey of life. The second thing that I wanna just remind us today about is that vision is so important. It's what pulls us forward. Yes, we wanna be in the reality of now, but we always want to see what this reality can be in the future when we put in the hard work, dedication, and effort. The third thing to always keep in front of you is your dream. Your dream is possibly something that you want it to be when you were a little boy or a little girl or something you'd like to do. Keep it in front of you and as your dream grows and as you start to fulfill your dreams, you're going to see that really when people around you see you growing and fulfilling your dreams, they're going to go after their dreams as well. So no matter what it is that you're going through in life, I know for a fact that having your why, having a vision of what your life can be and what you can do for others, and keeping your dreams for yourself and for others in front of you makes a huge impact. All right, we are back. So look, um, we've been learning a lot today. And it's time to talk about some money. Hope you're not offended by money because we're about to talk about some money. So first, I want to recognize some folks who've gone, who've elevated to the bigger ring. Bigger ring alert, right? Mm -hmm. That means they've gone from the $50,000 ring uh, on up, right? So the first ring is the $50,000. Once you do that, you can elevate to $100,000, $150,000, $200,000, $300,000, $400,000, $500,000, $600,000, $700,000, $800,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000, $1,000,000
All right, Mr. Dunbar, that's what I'm talking about. You just heard from James and Kenitha Kelly, not only are they new platinum exec directors, but they just recently elevated to the $100,000 ring, and they are not slowing down. They are proof that consistency at some point pays off. You just stay consistent. It doesn't always show up tomorrow, but it shows up. When it shows up, time, sometimes there's a big boom that exists. In fact, I know he wouldn't mind me sharing, he and Mrs. Kelly, but their income last month, June of 2020, was almost five times the amount than June 2019, year over year. Wow. Look, ask any business over year over year. We take a look at your year over year, year over year revenues, year over year profits. That's a big, <laughs> no one's growing at that rate. And that's what I mean by the so and see, so and see, never leaving the garden. That's this couple, James and Kenita Kelly. Let's hear from them. Hello, Team New Vision family. We are James and Kenita Kelly from right here in Possibility City, Louisville, Kentucky, the newest six figure income earners with Team New Vision. And we know that TNV isn't just a family, it's a culture, it's an experience. And we've learned that once greatness is possible, good is no longer an option. Absolutely. And listen, when we first got involved with Legal Shield, I was a barber, my wife was a stylist, and we were spending more time at work than we were with the people that were most important to us. And we got involved with this opportunity just to make an extra half a thousand on a monthly basis to be off on Saturdays. And the company now has paid us over a half a million uh, from home. And uh, what I love most is building an amazing team has given us the ability to realize that business partners become friends, friends become family, and people will give up on a business, but they won't give up on a family. And the beauty of this amazing opportunity with Team New Vision is that we now have a culture that is helping other people to realize their dreams here with this amazing opportunity. So it's not just about leaving a legacy, it's about living a legacy. And that's what we get a chance to do here with TNV. They, they smiled differently at 100,000 than they did at 50K. And you know what? They promised me dinner when they got to 50K. <laughs> so now they owe us two dinners. We'll take them. We'll take them. Thank and the cotes owe us dinner, too. Potatoes. We got some dinner's dinners good. coming. Nice dinners, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want some nice I want to dress up nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just heard from the Cotes earlier. Again, I mean, just phenomenal couple. I'm not going to steal their thunder. Just, we're just such an amazing asset to the organization. They've already moved up from the $50,000 to the $100,000 ring. And stay tuned for July. Alex and Jackie Cote, new six-figure ring. Hi, my name is Alex Cote, and this is my wife, Jackie. We live in Frederick, Maryland. Um, my background is uh, professional boxing and, and photography, and my wife's background is PR. Yeah, and we are so excited that we've been able to earn not only our $100,000 ring, but also our $150,000 ring. And it's funny because I still remember the first time that we saw the presentation. One of the things that stood out above everything else was the TNB culture, the, the mantras of faith, family, finance, fitness. And we just knew that it was something that we wanted to be a part of. And so in order to hit these different ring levels, it really was about us focusing on one thing and also tracking our progress and being okay with overcoming the obstacles that came our way. I think a lot of times people stop at certain things that they hear and what we just decided to do was get good at hearing no, but also get good at overcoming them. So thank you so much to our team. Thank you so much to our leadership. And we know that this is just the beginning and we can't wait to celebrate more wins with you. Stay tuned. All right, congratulations, Coach Hayes. Next. All right, so, um, of course, you know, you can keep moving up, guys. You don't, you don't have to stop. You can keep moving up. And so just like the Cotes uh, belong really in this category, so again, you don't need to put them twice. 150, let's go out to our newest 150. This is since our last CMV event. So again, you don't have to stop. You can keep going. And by the time you come to our next event in 2021, who knows where you'll be. This is our great friend. Danny Katoa, we watched his growth from the day he got started to where he is today. His heart, I'm not sure how it fits in his body. It's the biggest heart we've ever met. Oh, it's just an awesome man. It's an awesome family. Such a servant leader. We'll give you the shirt off of his back. In fact, he came to America without a shirt on his back, ironically, right? And now just, uh, just a giver, right? And he's used those monies uh, to invest in another traditional company uh, where his jerky is now in Costco's all around the world. So how awesome is that, right? Multiple chains of income. Danny Katoa, let's hear from Mr. Katoa. Aloha, Team New Vision family. Hey, Danny Katoa here from Honolulu, Hawaii. Prior to Legal Shield, I was born and raised in a little third world country called Tonga. And just like many immigrants who migrate to this incredible country, they come looking for a better life. And um, 
I heard the same conventional wisdom. Most people here go to school, get the good grades and get a good job. My first ever job uh, after pursuing a career as a professional athlete, I was a school counselor and made $22,000 a year. I remember getting my first paycheck after working a whole entire month with $780 and some change after Uncle Sam and Auntie Fika had gotten a hold of my check. And uh, you and I both know that that's not a lot of money to raise a family on. So I wanted more. I just didn't know what more looked like. And I thank God for Legal Shield. They came along as allowed my wife and I to be able to make in a month what took us a whole year to make. Uh, some of our best days been $22,000. But uh, truly, what Legal Shield has meant for me and my uh, lovely wife is that we're present in our, in our children's life today and uh, we're able to rewrite uh, the Couture legacy uh, financial wise for generations to come. Definitely in love with Legal Shield. Thank you, Team New Vision. Aloha. Karen Beverly, we know her a little bit. Just a little bit. You want to say anything about your sister? She's amazing. I just love her. She's in the other room right now. She'll just bring her. She'll just be like, that's my mom. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so her, proud of her. Yes. She is amazing. Just to see her growth from when we were younger to now, it just blows me away every day. And I just love her so much. I'm so, so proud of her. And she's already on her way. She's like, my 50, no, no. She's already on her way to the 200. So yeah. let's hear from Steve. Yeah, yeah, KB, Karen Beverly, $150,000 ringer. And look, hope before we go to Karen Beverly, I just want to say this because I have to say it. She would have already been so much further along if she wouldn't have taken the back seat to us. I mean, she decided to watch our kids when we were trying, we were going to convention. She decided, oh, I don't need to, you guys do it, right? The team needs you more than they need me. I'm like, no, they need you too. She's like, no, they need you. So. I mean, it's been such a blessing for us because we have such an amazing support system and she has been vital and key to our support system, which has allowed us to, to be in a position we're in today. So she actually took a backseat for our own income so that we can develop our business. And then she said, okay, I'm ready now. And that was just such a blessing. Yeah, but the best part for me is when she first started finally coming to conventions, um, no one really knew who she was. Mm -hmm. And so when we were walking, people would say, excuse me, um, can you take a picture of me and Mrs. Self, please? And she very graciously said yes. So now the crazy thing is people are like, excuse me, Mrs. Self, you're not taking a picture of me and Mrs. Beverly. <laughs> right. And I'm like, absolutely, I love it. So it's her time to shine. I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, me too, me too. So let's go back out to, uh, to Ms. Beverly. Do we have uh, Ms. Beverly ready? Hey TMV family, Karen Beverly from Money Making Maryland. Uh, prior to Legal Shield, I was an HR representative at a mental health facility, but now because of this amazing opportunity, retired from corporate America at the age of 32 uh, and been blessed to build my business full time from home for the last 12 years. And what Legal Shield means to me as a single mom is never having to tell my daughter no, not just financially, but to spending time with her as well, being able to volunteer in her classroom now that she's a school teacher, being able to go on missions trips, with my nieces and nephews uh, and being able to be there because I have the time leverage for my family for whatever they may need on a daily basis, being able to travel all over the world and do some really amazing things. And I cannot tell you how excited I am about getting the $150,000 ring. It is just a pit stop, guys. And been blessed to do that simply because I have an amazing, amazing team. Uh, and I stand on the shoulders of giants within the Team Division leadership. And then, of course, we have the incomparable, unmatched leadership of Tracy and Darnell Self. So with that, how could you go wrong, right? So guys, look, the best is truly yet to come, and I am TMV for life. All right, look, hey, look, we don't stop. TMV doesn't stop. We just keep going. So, you know, you, it's up to you. You can, you can choose. This is the wonderful thing. When I realized, hold on, you mean the only thing holding me back? Me? The only thing holding me back is my fear about what other people think about me? Because that's what held me back. Held me back. I remember telling you about it. I was like, man, I just, you know, I was so concerned about what other people thought. I mean, how, I, mean I don't know, man. I mean, is it real? I mean, because I was so concerned about what other people thought. In the moment I put that behind me, my gosh, it all happened. Because what wouldn't you do if you no longer cared about what other people thought about you? Think about that. All right, so what, what, what are they going to think? Who cares? All right. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Who's next? Do, do not do that, Dan. <laughs> so um, the wins, again, look, this is one image. Just forget all the other images because the wins, we can't keep up with them just like the Cotes. 
So 50,000, this is all since our last EMV event. 50,000, uh, 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, 300,000. Yeah, oh, whoa, y'all got it there. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just keep it just there. Keep, I, who knows? Who, hey, stay tuned. Stay tuned, because they're just not slowing down. I mean, their work ethic is unbelievable, right? Now you know why. Oh, wow, you got all these things. Okay, tech companies just coming through, all right? All right, so let's hear from these superstars. They, they motivate everybody on TMB. Everybody's like, oh, you know what? Let me step my game up. Take up all of us out of retirement. Let's hear from Isra and Marty Wynn. Hi, my name is Israel Wynn. My name is Marty Wynn, and we're from Money Making Maryland. My background is professional athlete and real estate. And my background is in sports and entertainment. We've been in the business now for 13 months? 14 months, to be exact. <laughs> and we are so honored to be a part of Legal Shield and the Ring Earners. Yeah, it's amazing, guys, when we got involved uh, over the span of the last 14 months from this amazing team that has been built, not just because of our leadership, but the leadership has come before us. We've been honored to be able to get one, the $50,000 ring. Then they had the nerve to turn around and give us the $100,000 ring. This is within 14 months. Then they gave us the 150. Then my wife got upset with me and I had to end up with the 200. Then she got a little happier because they gave us the 300. So right now we're feeling like Michael Jordan, baby. We're waiting for the 300 to come. So you guys, we're looking so forward to you guys getting to the 200, 300, 400 million dollar ring. Just stay consistent. Let's go to the top. Peace. Gotta love the wins. <laughs> Gotta love the wins. Congratulations to the wins. And today is Nadia wins. 15th birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Nadia. So uh, it is uh, just a great time with the TMB family. To, to, so if you're like me, I love to celebrate winning. Week before, you can ask the seven who were in the basement. Uh, and specifically, I'm talking about Linda Gray and Mike Humes right now. Um, we always, like I know the first event you couldn't go to because we couldn't afford for Tracy not to go, right? Which is a whole other story we could probably talk about at some live event. When we couldn't afford to do it, we just didn't do it. But at some point, we did, right? And so we were just careful because we never wanted to be broke again. Right. You know what I mean? And we were like, when we started making money, we were like, okay, let's not spend it. You know what I mean? Let's be really careful. And so we just, we were very careful because we knew what it was like not to have anything. We were like, never do we want to be in that situation again. So just be careful as you make money, trying to impress other people. Remember talking about caring what other people think? And so we were just very careful. Even when we were making hundred thousand dollars a year, people didn't think we were because we weren't spending the money, we weren't buying cars and all that kind of stuff yet. So just be careful. I said all that to say that um, you know we're in a, we're we're in a situation right now where we have an opportunity to really help a lot of people get to their next level. And I hope that you're inspired as we're inspired when we see other people winning. Because in the beginning, we the couple of us, Mike Coons, Linda Gray, and a few others, we were so happy seeing other people win. It wasn't even TMV but we learn from others so that we can create this TMV culture. So all I'm saying is whether you're on TMV, not on TMV, whether you're having a success, you're not, whether these folks are on your team, not on your team, still be happy for them, Absolutely. right? Because if uh, God is blessing your neighbor, it means he's in your neighborhood. Could be next. All right. Who's up next? Oh, money. We said we're going to talk about money. We got a few more trainers. Stick with us. Only a few more trainers, and that's it. And we got something special that I know that you are so oh excited God, about. Can we play it now? No, we cannot play it now. It's my favorite video. I know. I did that. Yeah. Mm, not yet. All right. So, um, but let's talk about money. Listen, get your get, get your your tablet out. Your for whatever you take notes on, pen and paper, old school. Oh yeah. Because we're gonna talk about maximizing the compensation plan. I don't know who better to do this than a man who's always thought long term. From the day I met him. He's talked about, you know, hey, look, man, residuals where it is. So he's gonna talk about maximizing the compensation plan, writing good business, so you can keep that business and you keep getting paid off of that business. Let's go out to Platinum, the executive director, three hundred thousand dollar ring earner, Mr. Alice Stair Edwards. Happy Fourth TMV family. Definitely excited to be able to share some information with you today. Um, I know you all are, are excited with all the information that you're going to get today, and I know it's going to be a phenomenal event. 
Uh, I've been tasked with showing you the money today. And so before I get started, I'm Alistair Edwards, one of the many millionaire club members here with Team New Vision. Um, and definitely honored to be able to share this information with you today. Uh, the reason I was chosen to talk about this topic because I've always been one to talk about residual income. I'm a firm believer that residual income is the thing that makes the difference in our income, uh, that makes everything that we want to, um, to happen, happen. And so it's very important. And so my goal today is to pretty much go through the money, show you the money, right? So let's get started immediately. And I want to start off with a short video. It makes total sense now. Ellen? It's the way you live, the way you move around. You're just not cut out for the real world, are you? Are you afraid you'll end up like Ellen. Barr? Is that what this is? Look out the window. No, I have work to do. Humor you need me. to leave. Okay. Let, let go of me. Can you tell me what you see? I see the same things I see every day. Well, imagine you've never seen it. Imagine you've spent your whole life in other parts of the world, being told every day you're defending freedom. And finally, you decide you've had enough. Time to see what you've given up your whole life for. Maybe get some of that freedom for yourself. Look at the people. Now tell me which ones are free. Free from debt, anxiety, stress, fear, failure, indignity, betrayal. How many wish they were born knowing what they know now? Ask yourself, how many would do things the same way all over again? And how many would live their lives like me? So Team New Vision family here, we are come together as an organization based on faith, family, and finance. And uh, all of those go hand in hand. And our finances is something that we all have to take control of to have financial freedom. And this opportunity here with Legal Shield has totally been um, a true catalyst and vehicle for that kind of financial freedom. And so my goal today is simply to go through the process with you of understanding the money so you can understand why you need to take advantage of this business and do it the right way. So let's talk a little bit about our compensation. Our company pays us in several different ways. We have several different ways of getting paid. Anytime you personally market a membership, you're gonna get paid. Anytime you recruit someone and they go out and market a membership, you're gonna get an override. And when those memberships stay on the books long-term, there are some residual income. You can do that through direct sales. You can do it through Greek group sales, meaning going into companies and providing that as a benefit. The company also has some great production bonuses. Both on, the, both on the networking side and on the business solution side. And of course, we have great performance club point bonuses also, which could be a whole nother financial vehicle all in itself. So our commission, as we all know, for those that are brand new and those that are in the business a while, let's just go on our basic 49.90 plan. We know that as a brand new associate, you're gonna make 60 bucks every time you market a membership, 120 at senior associate, 140 at manager, 160 at senior manager, 190 at director, 230 at senior director and the executive director position is 280 bucks. We also know that if you are a senior associate and you recruit a brand new associate and they sell a membership, not only do you get the 129 when you sign that person up for your membership, but you're going to get a $20 override when that brand new person sells their first membership. So they get paid 60 bucks, you get a $20 override. And we also know that compensation plan goes all the way through to executive director paying you as much as $180 every time someone brand new on your team writes a membership, but there's no one in between you and that brand new associate. That's $180 paid to you in what we call a team override. Our commission payment options are good too. So the company allows you to take what we call a full advance. They also allow you to take a partial advance and you can also get paid as earned and you can also do payment earnings. So just understand there are four different ways that you can ask for your deposits to be made to you. So what is full advance? Full advance simply says, look, when I collect a payment from someone, they pay their 160. If I was a senior associate, when they pay their 49.90, just go ahead and give me the full 120 when I make the sale. So as soon as the sale is made, 120 is direct deposit to you, even though the customer only paid for the first month. So the company is assuming that you did a good enough job to where the customer is going to keep the membership long-term to where they're going to advance you that 120 bucks. As earned is saying, look, when the customer makes the first payment, you just pay me 10 bucks. If they pay again next month, pay me 10 bucks. If they pay again the following month, pay me 10 bucks. Meaning as the customer pays, I get paid, right? That's what's called as earned. 
If you chose that option, that simply means you're saying, hey, I don't want any what we call recovery fees or any chargebacks. That is simply something that's gonna be paid directly to me. My goal today to talk to you is, is about the residual income and understanding that the company grades your book of business 14 months from when it's written. So if you write a membership today, just know 14 months from now, the company's gonna look at that benefit, those memberships and see what's the percentage of them that are still on the books. So hypothetically speaking, if you write 10 memberships today and 14 months from now, five of those have canceled, your grade on those remaining five memberships is gonna be a 55% or below, right? Up to 55%. If all 10 of them are still on the books, your grade is gonna be a over 85%. So there are five grade levels that you can qualify for. Up to 55%, 56 to 65%, 66 to 75%, 76 to 85%, and then over 85%. So those are the grade levels that you want to be aware of when you market a membership. The company also wants you to understand that we're going to add additional income on overrides too regarding those persistency grades. So let's start off with your personal persistency. Let's say you are an associate when you market a membership today, right? If that membership is, it, let's, well, let's do this. Let's say you market 10 memberships your first month in the business as a brand new associate. And a year from now, five of those memberships cancel you're going to get graded at a 55% on the five memberships remaining, meaning the company is going to pay you $5.77 on those five memberships every year moving forward, as long as each one of those memberships stays on the books for the life of those memberships. That will be your residual income grade on that book of business that month, right? If all 10 of those memberships had stayed on the book when you wrote them as an associate, and 14 months later, all 10 are still on the books, you're gonna be graded at an 85% over, right? 28.85 is what you will earn on each one of those 10 memberships moving forward every single year for the life of those customers. So as you can see, it's a double-edged sword. The more you have that stay on the books, the more money that you make. And that's why writing good business is so important. If you were a senior associate when you wrote those 10 memberships, and a year from now, they grade those memberships and five of those have canceled, you now fall under the 55% category. You now are going to earn $1.15, right, on every one of those memberships. But you're also going to earn the $5.77 because you were the associate also. You were the associate and the senior associate when you wrote that membership. So I want you to understand that that dollar amount is what we call cumulative, meaning if you were a manager, it would be the 115, the 115, and the 577. But remember, had you done a good job in making sure that all the memberships stayed on the books, it would have been cumulative also on the 85%. So if you were the manager that wrote the membership, you would have got paid 28, 85, 575, and 575 on each membership that still remained on the book 14 months from now. So someone writes 100 memberships a month, right? And let's say they have 50 of them canceled in the first year, leaving 50 memberships at a 55% persistency they would only be making $16.14 on each of those 50 memberships, meaning they'd earn an additional $807 every year moving forward just on that book of memberships that they wrote, right? Where did I get the $16.14 from? If you add this top column right here, right, up to 55% at the executive director level, you'll see that $16.14. So they would have earned an extra $807. But here's what you got to understand. Someone writes only 10 memberships a month, and all 10 are on the books a year from now, their business is gonna be graded at an 85% or higher persistency. That dollar amount is $80.70. So with only 10 memberships, they're still gonna make the same dollar amount as the person that wrote 100 memberships and had 50 of them cancel. I want you to think about that. Someone wrote 100 memberships and 50 of them canceled, and they now have $807 a year in residual income on that book of business compared to the person that only wrote 10 memberships and kept all 10 of those on the books that month because of their persistency grade. So had the person who wrote 100 decided, look, instead of trying to sell everybody a membership, let me work better at selling them correctly. If they had only sold 50 memberships instead of 100 and had all 50 of them stay on the books, 14 months from now, their grade level would be that the 80% or 85% or higher. So that 80, 70 times the 50 would have been an extra $4,000 a year added to their income in what we call residual income. And so that's why I want you to understand that marketing in the membership right and right in quality business is the only way for a bright future.
right? So you have to make sure that you're doing those things and doing it correctly. So let's talk about some of the things you definitely want to do. Make sure that every new member that you visit with understands how to download their app, how to have access to it, how to activate their identity theft protection. Make sure they understand that you are uh, their membership kit. Whether you send them one digitally or you give them a full membership kit, make sure they understand the importance of it. And also make sure every single member activates their ID Shield membership. This is the important thing that we have to remember. The identity theft plan is not fully active until it is actually activated by the member. So even though they sign up for the service, they have to go in and do some activation. So make sure they understand that there may be two different numbers assigned to them and that it, one for them and one for the spouse. You also want to make sure that they understand the value of the member's perks. Why is that? Because the member's perks is the greatest value, immediate value that we can show to our customers, meaning they can immediately start taking advantage of movie tickets, immediately start getting discounts on hotels when they travel, immediately get discounts when they have any type of real estate transaction or um, doing any type of car shopping. So the discounts and the money value that they're going to save is going to be well worth it for them to keep the membership. 10 things I recommend that you do. You definitely want to call your pre-cancels. When someone is, goes into pre-cancel, that simply means that they are unaware that their credit card canceled, or even if they are aware that they're canceling, you get to talk to them to probably save that membership. Make sure every one of your uh, customers has downloaded the My Legal Shield app to their phone, meaning when they see it, they use it more often. Make sure they understand the credit monitoring authorization process. So when they get an alert, they can make sure they answer that and get ex uh, expertise advice. Explain the law firm system. Let them understand that the reason we get top ranked law firms to do this for such a small fee is because of the collective buying power. Meaning in every state, the law firm gets a third of every one of those payments on the 15th of every month. So when you call in, they don't consider you a $24 customer. They consider you a million dollar customer because the Legal Shield network to them is worth over a million dollars every single month. Send each member the 1144 Legal Shield and ID Shield overview with Don Thompson from Prospect. So when everyone signs up for the membership, I always make sure I send them that video so they can get a second presentation or a second look. But not only that, they now have something they can show a spouse. So if the spouse says, hey, what did you spend $24.95 on? They can say, hey, just watch this video, right? You want them to be able to fully understand the value of what they have. Always promote bank draft at all, all possible. Why do I say bank draft? Because nine times out of 10, people don't usually change bank accounts that often. Credit cards expire every year, every two years, right? But a bank account is usually something people have long-term. Like the, the one that my Legal Shield membership comes from is, is from my credit union that I've been with since I was 16 years old. So very rarely do people cancel bank accounts, meaning very rarely will that membership cancel. And encourage them to get their will done. Use the membership. You want your customers using the membership and having an experience with the law firm to fully understand the value of what it is they just purchased. Use everyday stories of the membership and highlight the members' perks. Sell the membership in person whenever possible, so that way they understand that you not only didn't understand the, the use of the membership, but you actually want to sit down with them and communicate that value to them. And they'll appreciate that more and keep the membership long-term. And always sell it right. There's no need for you to oversell the membership or make it into something that it isn't. Just simply sell the membership the right way. Let's say, so let's just talk about Performance Club, basically. Persistency and why it's important. Let's say you did five memberships a month for 12 months, meaning you did 60 memberships for the year. And you kept a good persistency of 85%, right? Meaning that's an extra $4,000 that you're putting into your household every month, every, every year. So every year that you remain in Performance Club, you're adding about $4,000 in value in residual income, right? Now, if you did that for 10 years in a row, 10 years from now, your residual income would be right around $48,000, just based on your personal production of staying in Performance Club and keeping a good persistency. So you also got to understand that you're also going to get some overrides on the people that you train on your team to do good business. So if you have people on your team that are doing good business, just realize that you're also building lifetime residual income from the overrides from the good habits that you've de developed throughout your organization. So your goal, one of your goals should be to get five people to write five memberships a month at an 85% persistency for 10 years, right? Th that is how you create a six figure residual income is by simply getting a small group of people to do the business the right way. 
meaning they don't have to be out there and doing massive amount of sales. They just have to be writing a good book of business every single month. Basically five memberships a month at an 85% persistency will guarantee you a six figure residual income uh, a few years from now. So you definitely want to understand the, the, the importance. We also want you to focus on joining the ring. I call it the ring club, the 50 K ring club, right? The TMV ring earners have some amazing trips that we go on the fellowship, the, the, the mentorship that you get is far beyond anything I've seen in any other business or any other organization. So being a 50 K ringer and it should definitely be something that you strive for. And I know you're thinking that's a big task, but realize that 50,000 a year is basically $4,166.66 a month in earning. So your goal is simply to understand you know, I was, it was always told to me the best way to eat an elephant is simply one bite at a time. Meaning break that thing down to the smallest denominator to figure out what it is you need to do on a daily basis. So we know that 50,000 is simply 4,000 plus a month, which simply means it's a little over $1,000 a week, exactly $1,041.67 per week, which simply means that you need to make about $148.81 every single day. So if you were a senior associate, just realize that basically one sale a day and getting someone on your team writing a membership with an override is basically going to cover that. And if you get in the habit of doing that on a regular basis, you'll not be a senior associate. You'll be in a, a senior director or an executive director. So the dollar amount that you write each personally will totally eclipse what is necessary. I need you to understand that the things that this will allow you to do is create generational wealth. And this is what we need to focus on as a family, right? The TMV family here, as you can see, these are all kids from our uh, people under 18 that are all experiencing residual income. That's my son on the top left, my daughter on the top right. Uh, Mackenzie is uh, Nikita Tucker's daughter, right? And then you see Linda Jones's two daughters. You see uh, Mrs. Quincy's son, Austin, and, and, her daughter, and her daughter Paige. My son, Dorian. Tiffany and, and uh, Johnny Sullivan's kids, Alyssa and Ross. Joy, Catrice Jackson's daughter, right? And her son, Chris. Um, these are all people that have one been on performance club trips, right? Because we did the business the right way, but two, they're all experiencing residual income. And this is income that will be passed on to them. This is my niece. I pay for her medical school. And this is my mom, right? Who I take care of, right? But that's all done through the residual income that's gained by legal shield. So I want you to understand the value that each one of you builds and it will go ahead and close out with this video. I want you to understand the heart of the grind. Listen to me. Luck is for leprechauns, and you ain't green. Luck is for leprechauns, and you're not green. I'm going to say it again. Luck is for leprechaun and you're not green. What I am telling you is that if you're willing to go beast mode, you can have whatever you want. I'm a living example. You can start from nothing. Start from nothing. You know the story. Mom was a teenage mom. Start with nothing. Grandma had 14 kids. Start with nothing. Two bedroom house, one bathroom. Mom got kicked out because she had me. Start with nothing. Start with nothing, high school dropout. Start with nothing, homeless. 12 years to get a four-year degree from the university. Start with nothing. If you are willing to grind, I believe effort, and you've heard me say it. You might come from prison. You might have a father that can give you everything your little heart desires, but you will not outwork me. Listen to me, I told you, I told you, I told you, I want you to think about those goals. I want you to taste them. I want you to, I want, I want you to be, I want you to internalize it. I'm not asking you to tell me what your goals are because I'm interested in hearing everybody in the room. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly do anything with it. Listen to me, this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you to dream your dream because I want you to feel it. I want you to taste it. I want you to know how close, I, I want you just like when the weather is changing, you can feel it. I want you to be able to feel when you're getting closer to it and closer to it. But more importantly, I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. 
You might be the ant, and the ant has very little, but he's determined, he's strong, he has a dream and a goal, and he'll do whatever it takes. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The bigger your dream is, the more effort you're gonna have to put in. And for those of you who raise your hand and put up 70%, you'll never see it. You'll never see it for those of you who are 70%, 70% beast mode, 30% gazelle. When you said to yourself, when the ball comes out, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta outgrind them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120. Oh, excuses, guys. I wish I could, I wish you could pay me a thousand dollars today. And I could tell you 70% is enough. I wish you could pay me 1500. I wish you could pay me 1500 but it's not going to happen. You're thinking, you're thinking, I want you to get it out of your system. You're thinking, I'm going to work hard for 10 years, then I'll relax. And if that's what you're thinking, this ain't for you. So family, I want us to get into beast mode, but here's the difference between us and our closing statement. You don't have to work the rest of your life to have a financial freedom with this business, right? If you give it 10 years, you can walk away with great financial freedom based on the residual income, knowing that you've built a team and a legacy to come behind you. So I just want you all to know, I definitely appreciate you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you all today. Um, TMV, let's just go break records as we already have been doing, but there's some financial freedom out there that we have to give to ourselves and we have to introduce this opportunity and give to others. So let's go out there and be great. And with that, thank you all so much. Truly glad to have been with you here today. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm looking forward to seeing every one of you on the next Ringer on this trip. Take care. <laughs> Say there, time to go get it. I mean, so much great content there, Mr. Edwards. Thank you so much, and motivation all in it. I mean, you think about what it feels like to know that you have an opportunity to change someone's life where they can earn residual income. And so many of us are reactive, and when things happen, like, man, I wish I had some income coming in now, because I didn't know this was going to happen. And no, and no, we don't. We don't know what's around the corner, and that's why we prepare. And um, so, you know, I'm just saying it's worth it. And this is why we have to be careful beating up on people that have jobs, because as Mr. Edwards talked about, you're talking about a handful of people to get a handful of memberships every month, but if we beat up on them, like, why are you only getting five? Why are you, why are you letting that, that boss talk to you that way? Listen, if they're happy with where they work and they're happy getting five and they're going in beast mode for the five and they're like, yes, say yes with them. Man, that's awesome. This just shows you how you can earn six figures by finding fee, a few people who show a few people how to get a few. Great job. I'm proud of it. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. We got to keep going because we got to, we got to. Who's next? Who's next? Hey, are we going to stay in that same state? We going to stay in Georgia? Why, why not, man? In Georgia, making big things happen. Let's stay right in Georgia. Oh, okay. I have to say something about this next trainer. So I remember Vegas National Convention 
2000, right? Year 2000, after everything is done, all the final things have been said, this gentleman comes up to me. It's his first event, it's his very first event. And he comes up to me and he pulls me to the side because most people want to talk to my husband, but he's like, no, I want to talk to you. I said, okay. And so he said, I just have this one question for you. And I said, okay. He said, is this real? Mm. And I said, yes, it's, it's real. And he said, do you think I can do it? And I looked him in his eye and I knew whatever I said to him, I just felt for some reason, whatever I said to him would make all the difference in the world in that moment. Mm. And I looked at him and I said, you can do it. He said, okay. And here we are, our next trainer. $300,000 ring earner, platinum executive director. Amazing. Millionaire club member. They call him fire because he always brings <laughs> the fire. I watched him go from engineer with a car. I don't even know the name of the car. For some cars, you're like, oh, car. But you don't know the name of the car. <laughs> So where he is today, proud of him and his family. Please help us welcome to our virtual live stream, Mr. Burt Calhoun. Happy Independence Weekend, Team New Vision Nation. Uh, my name is Bertram Calhoun. I'm Zooming in here from my home office in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And what an honor uh, to be able to be one of the Platinum Executive Director trainers for this epic weekend with this legendary team within network marketing, the fastest and number one growing team uh, within Legal Shield. And so my task is to train on growing and building a massive team. Now, before I do that, for those who don't know me, my background was that of an engineer. Matter of fact, at five years of age, I, I fell in love with the idea of wanting to be an engineer. My mom and I grew up in LA went to visit my grandparents in Arizona, and I said, I want to be a locomotive engineer. That desire translated into high school, uh, loving math and science, choosing civil engineering as a major, uh, went to Howard University, and after five years, I was able to earn my degree, and I had five internships every single summer, so I understood the value of field training. We're going to talk about that. So I played the resume game and was able to uh, land a, a job with the environmental engineering firm that really established the infrastructure for wastewater treatment and water treatment in America. So I, I did that and embarked on my path within my profession in corporate America in 1995. And within five years, I was a part of five different network marketing companies, always had that entrepreneurial spirit within me but decided in 2000 to get involved with Legal Shield. And long story short, it is simply this. Uh, after getting involved with Legal Shield, you know, I was able to just start uh, my journey. And before Legal Shield and those five other companies, we're gonna talk about again, growing and building a massive team. Uh, no really resume to speak of in terms of success as a track record, but I learned a lot along the way. My preparation season, I was, able to build a team of, wow, 50 distributors in that other company before Legal Shield. It took a year and a half to do that. But with the concepts that I have learned and that I have applied within my 20 years, a couple of decades, uh, me and my business partner, Fatima Salam, we've been able to build a team that's approaching 40,000 associates. So how do you go from 50 a year and a half uh, to almost 40,000 associates. It's because of what I'm going to share with everyone uh, this afternoon. And so let's jump right into it. Five success secrets on first growing a team. Now we talk about the word growth before we talk about building. We're talking about from a perspective of understanding what that word means. It's a natural process where something is alive. It's living, it's breathing. And the team is that. The team is alive, it's, it's living, it's breathing. And as the team grows in a massive way, there are things that happen with that growth. 
it undergoes a natural development and of course it increases in size and then it comes into maturation by progressing. So that's the foundation for that word growth and the five success secrets that we have applied. The first is starting with the relationship. Now I'm gonna borrow a story from my workout partner, Kevin Mack. We call him Ice. And they named me Fire, right? I didn't name myself that, but we have a Fire and Ice tour that we've uh, traveled across the country before the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, to do multiple Super Saturdays and big events. They call him the multi-level marketing professor. So this is his story. He has a young lady on his team who just hit executive director, Millicent Gavin. This young lady, he uh, is known for, I believe, uh, well over a decade or almost a decade and a half. So they started with a relationship. That young lady uh, helped the Max achieve the platinum executive director position uh, over a decade ago. That young lady uh, got involved in, in some other uh, career paths and became uh, disengaged with Legal Shield for well over a decade. So she came out the gate strong. But as of late, recently, she re engaged with Legal Shield. But here is the point of this story. Over the years where it was a decade plus, where uh, Ms. Gavin uh, was not actively involved with Legal Shield, Mr. Kevin Mack kept the relationship going outside of Legal Shield, the friendship, the mentorship. And this young lady was able to achieve an executive director again. And that took the max to platinum four. So they're TMB's newest platinum four executive directors for the new uh, associates chiming in and, and, and just experiencing, right? It's an experience, as Mrs. Kelly talks about, our newest six figure ring earners out of the Louisville marketplace. We're talking about this occurring because of the relationship that Mr. Mack had with Ms. Gavin. So uh, that's what we're talking about with, it starts with growing a relationship. And the great thing about it is with the Max organization, uh, their organization is approaching 40,000 associates as well. Our, our, our organizations mirror uh, one another. And, and so the thing about it is when you look at that, that is a massive nugget uh, to that some people may neglect to growing a large and massive organization. And here's a second one, right? Help your team find success quickly. And this actually is related to relationships that I'll mention as this story prior to me being involved with Legal Shield. Back in my Howard days, uh, I had a fondness, I had a mission to mentor young men right there in the DC metro area, right? Matter of fact, an adjacent neighborhood called LaDroit Park. And so I met a gentleman named Omar Rushdown. Uh, we did some mentoring together back in 94, 95. Well, he was my first recruit. So we had a, rela a relationship prior to Legal Shield. We had a mutual friend by the name of Corey. Now, I actually signed, I actually did a presentation for Corey to get the membership. But Corey was also on the list that Omar had as well. And because I had the network marketing experience, I was able just to cut to the chase and, and get uh, the, the membership there. But what I did is I paused and I said, I want my new associate to have some success. So Omar could have theoretically did what I did, but he didn't. I was more aggressive because I had experience in the industry. So what I did is I actually uh, gave that membership to Omar and that helped Omar fast start qualifying. Now, why is that significant? Because Omar ended up becoming, within our team, our first six-figure earner. Matter of fact, he achieved a six-figure earner before we were able to. So that, as you can imagine, helped us to grow a super large organization. He knew I believed in him. He found success quickly. Now, I'm not saying he wouldn't have fast or qualified if I wouldn't have done that, but you guys see the importance of when you, you never know. And I, and I matter of fact, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, long after I did that, he actually told me, he said, man, that told me 
you believed in me. And he didn't tell me at the time, but he told me after the fact. And so that boost he got from just using this real simple secret of helping your team find success quickly, uh, again, allowed us to be approaching now 40,000 associates within a team. Here's a third success secret regarding growing a massive team. Sell the team on Team New Vision. My second recruit out of California is a gentleman I went to junior high school with by the name of Ricky. Now, Ricky, it was interesting. We were about to launch a t-shirt business. The Lakers had just won uh, their first title with the Kobe and Shaq run in 2000 to 2010 with that whole dynasty. And for those East Coast Laker fans, he, was, he actually shipped me some t-shirts I was about to start selling. And so when I, re, when I prospected him, I, we were already talking business. But this is how it played out with Team New Vision. I, I edified Darnell Self's story to such a hard, uh, to such a strong degree that I sent <laughs> Ricky the whole profiles of success. I could have took a picture, went to back then Kinko's, right, FedEx office and laminated. No, no, I put the whole profiles of success, the book, right, in the mail and he read it. But that was really key in that gentleman getting started. Well, that helped me to launch a West Coast business. So this gentleman became our West Coast general, if you will. And I sold him on Tino Vision so strongly, of course, through conference calls, uh, through him, of course, having a welcome call with Darnell Self. And of course, I ended up flying out to the second month to the West Coast to give him support. And Mr. Self and Mr. Humes uh, just happened to be going out there to do a Super Saturday. So by the grace of God, it just all came together. And so he showed, he, he knew I, I was supporting him. We did, a matter of fact, a, a private business reception to help him launch his business. But so he was being sold on Team New Vision from day one from the profiles of success. But here's the end of the story. I sold him so strongly on us being that dynasty and dynamic team that he caught a plane himself to the East Coast, study the briefing in Money Making Maryland, took the model back to the West Coast and launched the first West Coast briefing for Team New Vision that went on uh, to create so many executive directors. Now, this gentleman is no longer active with the company, so I learned a concept to work to, to get through a particular new associate. So even though this gentleman fell off, hit director, was positioned for executive, he actually led our organization to a $100,000 income earner out of Southern California about six years later. That helped us to, again, grow a massive organization. Why? Because I sold him out on Team New Vision. Here's the fourth success secret. Identify leaders and develop them. Now, this is a more current example, but there's a young lady out of the West Coast. Uh, her name is Jocelyn Brown. Matter of fact, she, as a result of the, the team I just talked about, this young lady, very busy, uh, other businesses. She has a relationship with Dr. Dre in the entertainment industry, a successful real estate business. And she was identified as a leader to work with uh, and we began to work with this young lady, had so much potential, and so she was frustrated because uh, she was so busy, and so we, and she actually, she actually devised this, but through us going back and forth with the mentoring and coaching, she said, I have about an hour a day I can put into this business, so she coined it at her hour of power, five minutes, or rather five uh, hours strong per week, and that hour of focus allowed her to recruit a young lady 3,000 miles away in New York City. Again, guys, this is how you build. This stuff is so simple. This is how you grow a massive team. So this young lady, right, by us identifying her as a leader and then saying we're going to go ahead and, and uh, help develop this young lady to a whole other level, recruit another young lady out of the New York marketplace named uh, Janae Cherie Tucker. And so what that led to is me and Ms. Brown and Fatima now developing this young lady, 24 years of age, she just turned 25 last month, 
no experience in the industry, but us three, because see, it takes a village to raise a child, that old African proverb, but it takes a, a myriad of leaders to raise up an executive director within the Tinu Vision family. So us three leaders, and of course, she got support from Mr. Self as well. So there's been a lot of leaders that have poured into her from the Young Pros movement. But, but here's my point. This young lady, uh, Johnson Brown, was identified as a leader. And then she recruited a young lady who we saw as a, a budding leader. And now, as we develop this young lady, matter of fact, Johnson Brown called a plane, right? So what your team does, uh, what you do, your team will, uh, what, what you do, your team will, will do as well. Johnson Brown called a plane out to New York to do an amazing event. I think they had 50 plus guests at that event. Matter of fact, I think it was 60 plus guests. So as Janae Sharif Tucker has been poured into, and that's what Team New Vision does. We pour into, we develop leadership. We don't just get a, a recruit, take them like a wet noodle, throw them on the wall and hope they stick. So uh, Janae Sharif Tucker, not only hit executive director in four months, but she's been able to have back-to-back -back months of over $10,000 of income, five figures back-to-back -back months as one of our newest executive directors. And so uh, her recruiting and her team is, is just exploding. So again, the massive team continues to grow because we continue to keep these success secrets right in front of us. Here's the fifth success secret to grow a massive team. Embark on the path of personal development. i never forget, on my way to executive director, Mr. Self gave me a golden, he gave me a platinum nugget rather. Let me correct myself. He said, look, make sure your team doesn't grow in size past who you're becoming. Because whoever you're becoming, your income will actually rubber band back to who you are and it can actually grow out to who you're becoming. So sometimes we can have uh, an artificial growth because of momentum within our team, and we're having a lot of people join and grow, and we're feeling good about that, but we're not embarking on the path of personal development. We're not reading the books, listening to the audios, getting mentorship, modeling uh, those who have the success, and we think it's us. And so the secret is, is to make sure you continue to grow 10 pages of a good book a day, 15 or so minutes of an audio, getting around those, and associating with those who have what you want. And, and as Mikhail Mackey says, one of our millionaire club members, right, run with the finishers. He wrote a book on that. And so you got to run with those who have actually finished the race. So that association is so key. So with personal development, when he gave me that nugget before I hit executive director, I went to, I, I, what I did, I made sure that I was working on myself and growing past the physical growth of the team so that as the team was catching up to who I was becoming and, and who I was even um, looking to, to go way beyond who I had, who I had uh, been prior to Legal Shield, it helped the growth to continue. Because again, sometimes the growth can go backwards because that leader does not embark on the path of personal development. So these five success secrets, these five success secrets set up the foundation for building not a house, not a five or 10 store building, but a skyscraper of a massive network marketing organization. So let's go ahead and go into higher gear. I may talk a little faster. So if I talk too fast, please speed up your listening. All right, the five success secrets of building a massive team. Let's jump into it. All right, first take responsibility uh, for your success. Now, when you do that, you take responsibility uh, for your success. Uh, this is what it looks like. As a matter of fact, we talk about building as an engineer. It reminds me of the definition. You're constructing something that's large, putting the parts and materials together. So in this situation, the parts are the people, and then the materials are the tools and events, which we're going to talk about. So taking responsibility yourself is simply this. I've never, ever felt entitled, just because the team was growing, to, to rely on the existing team to continue to grow. Of course, we support the team. Of course, that goes without question. But I've always taken the responsibility to say, you know what, if I want the team to grow to another level, I'm not going to go into management mode and begin to just tell people what to do. I'm going to show the team what to do. So give you an example. Uh, we were right there at Bronze Executive Director. Matter of fact, that Bronze organization had actually started to create other executive directors. 
Now, as at bronze, you know, to maximize the comp plan, you want to go to silver, gold, and platinum. So I never forget. There was a young lady that was on my list of 100 plus people. They said, make a list of 100. I made a list of 177 people initially. John herself did my game plan interview right there in my home in Maryland. So I approached a young lady. I remember that there was 50 people that I had built in that other network marketing organization. I went to her first, of course. She was my best recruit back in that other company. She wasn't ready when I first got started with Legal Shield. It took me 18 months, right? Fortunes in a follow-up for her to finally come on board. I'm out in California, jumping on planes. Matter of fact, they used to call me. I was coined and branded as the bi-coastal associate. And I say this in a humble way, but because Omar was from California as well, we were able to, within our organization, the P3TNV organization, right, Prosperity Partnership Program, Team New Vision, put the West Coast on the map for Team New Vision. I took that on as a personal challenge, and, and Omar did as well. So when you're building and you're growing a large organization, you have to have a big vision because if you have a massive dream, you need a massive team to help that uh, to, of course, uh, come into fruition. And so... I'm in California building, I'm full time by, by, this, by this point in, 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 the, in the career with Legal Shield. And so this young lady came out to a briefing that I did and we're bronze executives. So she saw me go from zero to bronze without her and she got started. After 18 months of follow up, it took us nine months to help her to become executive director. But as opposed to placing her front level, watch where I'm going now. I decided to place her within an organization uh, of a gentleman who was a manager at the time running a briefing from that briefing that was started uh, by Ricky. I saw him some potential in him. I saw him stepping up, placed her in his organization. That helped him go exec director in about a 90 day time period. And that took a silver executive director. So take your responsibility right for yourself to grow your team and then to start building on the growth you've established as that foundation is the first success secret. The second one is use the tools. Now, again, having that big vision of your team is important. I started this company with new vision, having a vision and really a goal to grow a nationwide organization. I want to get paid from all 50 states all the provinces in Canada, right? Wherever Legal Shield was, I want to have income. Practice is coming from those markets. So the team was sold out early on, and the company as well, on using this one tool. It was a VHS tool, a VHS tool, right? A video, the old school videos you put into the VCR. We've come a long way, right? Of course, the tool now of choice is Prospect by Legal Shield. But because the team was sold on this success secret, of using the tools. Everybody was using the tools. Like the, the question was not if you're going to get the VHS tape, but how many are you going to buy? 10, 20, 30, 50, 100? So fast forward, we had a vision to grow a team within the Georgia marketplace. I was taught you become a millionaire based on one market, but these four, you get all four cranking, man, game over, right? That's California, Texas, Georgia, and Florida. So Georgia was always a focused market for us. And of course, especially Atlanta as the hub. So within the Atlanta marketplace, we directly look to, uh, we're looking to build there and uh, got a lot to, to build in that marketplace, uh, but weren't as successful as we would have liked to have been. But because of that strong California focus, California team was building, they understood using the tools. And there was a young lady who moved from Bakersfield, California out to the Atlanta area on uh, Terrence Minoy's team a gentleman who's probably helped us to bring 35 to 40 executive directors within his team uh, or more uh, to our organization. So this young lady is in a car. She leaves a VHS tape behind. And guess who's in that car with her? Melvin Larry, millionaire club members, Mr. Melvin and Sharon Larry, right? So Melvin Larry gets this tool. Long story short, he watches that VHS tape, him and Sharon Larry, also $150,000 income earners. They watch, they get started. But guess what, team? They're on our 14th level because of the tools. Because the person I recruited who recruited somebody, who recruited somebody, bop, 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 down to the layers on our 14th level because 
of this success secret of using the tools help us to build this organization. And you, and you know that the Larrys have a massive team uh, within our team. Why? Because of our team using the tools. Here's the third tip, field training. Now with field training, here's an example that is just so powerful. I'm still a rookie in Legal Shield. You know, Darnell Self, uh, being my sponsor, gave me this type of support, and he gives us support outside of those he sponsors as well. Uh, but being my sponsor, you know, obviously, uh, he was a little bit more intimately involved with the growth of my team within the first zero to five months, and even still mentors and coaches, uh, me and Foxman to this day. But, but here's my point, New Vision. Omar had cousins and family in Alabama. I had never been to Alabama. Darnell Self and Omar Rushdown catch a plane down to Alabama. Darnell Self field trains Omar. So I was taught, have your sponsor skip over you and work with those who you recruit, and then you skip over those who you recruit and work with those who they recruit. Oh, guys, that is a, a nugget to build a massive team. That just came out of me right now. So long story short, that organization, four months in the business was critical. That Alabama team was critical in me going executive director in five months. Why? Because of the field training that Omar got from Darnell Self. Here's the fourth and fifth tip. We're out of here. Build from event to event. The events, the big events to the events in between the big events, are critical. So yes, I went to Vegas, my first big event by myself, but I continue to go to all the super Saturdays and the briefings all in between with the goal of growing my team from event to event. And it wasn't just one big event to the next big event. Those are like in 90 day cycles, which is the fourth, the, the fifth tip, but it was about going from the, the big event in Vegas, like this independence weekend, this is a big event, it's streamed. We can't wait to see you face to face, but this is a big event. So this big event, I come back from Vegas, I'm by myself in Vegas. I go to my Super Saturday. I'm going to my weekly briefing, my weekly briefing, my weekly briefing. And the team is growing, growing, growing. But at the Dallas event, which was 90 days from Vegas when I first got started, I went from me being there to now we have five people going to Dallas. Because all across the country, they were going to their Super Saturdays, going to their uh, briefings. And then that grew to 14 people, Oklahoma City, the next event, 14 people on the team. Uh, to 40 people back in Vegas that next summer, to 80 people in Baltimore, to 100 people back in Oklahoma City. It took about two years for that to happen, for us to get 100 people to come out to a big event. And that equal is the formula. You get 100 people or so to a big event on a streaming like this, that equals a six-figure income. So that's why it's important to build from event to event. So, of course, a massive team brings some massive income. And here's the fifth one. Running on a 90-day cycle, this book here, we took inventory at the beginning of the year. Well, actually, last year, took inventory, massive inventory of those who were working, those who deserved our time. And that 90-day run we went on from January of 2000 to March of 2000 yielded a 14-plus thousand dollar builder's bonus just a few months ago because we were sold out on building in 90 day cycles. New Vision family, what's the big secret? It's one word, duplication. Don't do what works, do what duplicates, and we look forward to you building a massive and growing a massive organization. Happy Independence Weekend, everyone. Let's continue to take over. Guys, take care, take charge. God bless. Bird Count signing off from the Atlanta, Georgia marketplace. So, Good. So good. I listen, yeah. so many nuggets, like so many platinum nuggets, as he said. Ooh. I mean, because it's just, anyway, it's, it's a lot. And I know for some of you are new, you're like, okay, that's a lot. And yes. But this goes to show you, I mean, Mr. Calhoun just proved it can happen for anybody. It can happen for anybody because the people you introduce who don't do anything, he introduced people who didn't do anything. The people you introduce who do something but don't keep doing it, he introduced people who did something but didn't keep doing it. The people you introduce who promise one thing and break that promise, he introduced people who broke, right? And so we all we all do that. 
But the, the, the difference, the differentiator is that our culture reads sponsorship, not just recruiting. Recruiting is the act of someone signing up the application, right? I'm in, but sponsoring is actually working with them, coaching them, directing them, you know, showing them, hey, here's where you go. Hey, now you can't make them go to the fast start class. You can't make them successful. This is my, my big mistake, right? Trying to make people successful. Listen, stop trying to fix people. Work on finding people who are ready to be fixed. Man, that was good. Yeah, I thought so too. I like when you get on high. <laughs> Listen, the, you, our, our team's um, motto is is faith, family, finance, and then fitness, as you all know. And we have this mission to uncover the seeds of greatness that allow ordinary people to become extraordinary. And that's all we've ever done. I mean, that's already it. We, didn't, we never had to make someone, right? It was already there. We just had to help them to uncover it. And sometimes it takes a minute to uncover it because they've had 20 years of you'll never be nothing, you ain't nothing, you right? I mean, I talk like that, but they've had 20 years of maybe you know, people putting their thumb down on them, people being belittling, whether it's a personal relationship, a business, a professional relationship, whether we're teachers or whether, you know what I mean? People say mean stuff. And then here we are, two weeks, we're like, yeah, I'm trying to get to them. Listen, you got, you're fighting against 20 years. It may take longer than two weeks for them to discover that seed of greatness because it's been covered with all this crap. And so that's why coming to a bit after bit after bit, they start saying, you know what, maybe I can't, maybe, you know what, I am that person. I am a superwoman. I am a superman. I do deserve better. My kids, right, and all of a sudden, the same thing they used to use as an excuse, they use as a motivator. You know, I can't do it, I don't have kids. You know what, I have to do it because I have kids. I can't do it because I don't have a lot of money. You know what, I have to do it because I don't have $99. You know, it's $25 is a bill. You know what, if I'm thinking $25 is a bill and I'm, I'm 32 years old, that's a problem right now. Right, so at some point, people got to feel like, you know what, enough is enough. That's what Mr. Calhoun just did for me. I'm like, oh! Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm boy, it's about to be another, I'm be <laughs> Gary Jenkins, do not. Okay, Gary Jenkins, stop, we got to go. We got two more friends. If I could give you the world. Hey! On a silver platter. Would it even matter? You still be mad at me. Hey, thank you. Stop. Grinding all day. All right, so look, we have um two more trainers. Two more trainers. Yes, yeah, so before the training, this is my favorite. So we had some ladies that decided that they wanted to do a special tribute for Team New Vision. And I am so excited. I'm obsessed with this video. I have watched it like <laughs> 25 times. I watched it all last night and I woke up this morning. I was like, I want to watch it again. I am so excited. So please help me well. Oh, this is going to be hot. I forgot. The you video might want to stand up. You might want to stand up, stretch your legs. You might want to stand up. It's going to be exciting. We have Karen Beverly, Darlene Quincy, Renelda Johnson, Tanisha Kelly, Tanisha Morgan, and get ready for this. Get ready for this. Janae Cherie Tucker. Let's go.
Bow ties and business with me. Bow ties. I brought my squad with me. We here. We got rings and we win it. Ah, hey. oh, y'all in private plane. On a Tuesday. We do that dang thing. We do the thing. Hands go up. Singing and dancing all through our pain. Hey. I just want to change my life. Change my life. success, which you know one of our core values, which means you're all going to play different instruments. We're not all going to be focused on the same thing. We're not all going to be on the same lane. Some folks are going to be focused on, you know, B2B, business to business sales, some CDLP, some networks, a little bit of both, maybe switching lanes. Look, my point is just give yourself 100%. You know, you've been here for my training. Put both feet in. Yeah, we're a family here, so we help each other. We so help each what, other. What you good. lack, one of our team members is excellent, yeah. right? Yeah. So let's work together. Yep. There's so much talent. Just look, what, just look what they just put together. It's amazing. So good. <laughs> Two more trainers. Oh, my man. Since we're in Maryland anyway. So let's go out to my man. Platinum exec. Listen. Not platinum one. Not platinum two. Not platinum three. No, no, no. Not even platinum three. Platinum four. It's like. Couple people and all of uh, Legal Shield and Platinum Four. What? Yeah. Hey, Platinum Four Executive Director, my man, Kevin Mack. Let's have it. Hey, TMV family, Kevin Mack here. Uh, one of, of course, many ring earners, a part of this organization now. How cool is it uh, to know that we now have reached 100 ring earners here within Team New Vision. Uh, so many success stories, uh, but most importantly, guys, we just look forward to helping you to join the ranks, the ranked ring earners, the rank of millionaire club members, uh, but first and foremost, the rank that's next for you. And so I have an incredible task here uh, to spend a few moments with you guys talking about uh, eight vital events guys that will position you to build a world-class international organization. I'm really excited about it because when you get this, guys, I know there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle, right? But when you get this, when you realize that everything that you're truly doing is in an effort to have about 100 people at the international convention, guys, to put you well on your way to a passive six-figure income, then you'll treat each event as important as each event truly is. And so what we're gonna talk about here, guys, is building from event to event from day one. Guys, building for event to event from day one. And so there's a few things here that we want to make sure that we get our minds uh, prepared for, guys. And it is getting our minds prepared to win fundamentally. Because it's all about mastering the fundamentals. And so let's talk about it, guys. 
right? Why you must always show up. You can practice shooting eight hours a day, but if your technique is wrong, then all you become is very good at shooting the wrong way, right? Get the fundamentals down and the level of everything you do will rise. Well, where do you get these techniques, right? Where do you have an opportunity to hear from the best of the best, individuals who have already put in their 10,000 hours? Well, it's at the big events, right? We start with smaller events, but the progression of events will put you in front of the best of the best. And what will happen is, guys, you will plan, do, review. You'll attend an event, you'll go out, right, and test out what you've learned. you get better because you took notes. But guess what? You have to keep showing up because there still will be something that we can get better at, right? So that we can, in fact, uh, enhance and improve the level, right, of everything that we do. And this here, guys, is a quote uh, from the one and only Michael Jordan. Here's what's required, guys, is truly being coachable. You know, when I got involved, I couldn't afford not to be coachable. My sponsor told me to do a few simple things that made the most difference. And what I can tell you is this, guys, is we joined this opportunity with no experience at all. We were able to earn about $5,000 our first month with no experience. We reached the executive director position our first 90 days, went on to earn close to a six-figure income the first year. Now we're on our third million from home. We've been fortunate enough to reach the platinum four position, guys. Well, it's because we were willing to be coachable the whole way through, okay? Because, again, we didn't have time to not be coachable, right? What you're doing here, guys, this weekend, you are taking time to do something that's so important, guys, which is to take in your learn knowledge, right? It's the books, the audio, right? The classes that you take, right? Drive Time University, the things that you listen to while you're driving, you're partaking in that process right now because you're attending this live stream. So guys, congratulations. I believe that you fit this category, right? The category of being a coachable person because you showed up today. And so you're going to take this information in, guys, but then we're going to go out there and take action, right, with your activity knowledge because you have to fail forward. You have to pick yourself up. You have to dust yourself off, right? And then you'll model uh, some people that you can relate to, some trainers. Uh, that you see and that you hear that you can uh, just connect with, guys. And it's just an awesome experience uh, hearing and seeing those individuals who have stories that you can connect with and you go out and emulate them, your modeling knowledge, and then teaching knowledge, simply meaning those who you are willing to lead, those who you are willing to help get better at the game. Right, but you have to be coachable, guys, so you are right on track because you showed up here today. And so let's talk a little bit about the very first uh, event, guys. And this is an event, it's important. And far too many skip this particular event, right? It's called the game plan interview. Right, I said I didn't have time to be uncoachable. And so my sponsor, Mr. Carlo Brown, he said we needed to get together over the next 24 to 48 hours to have a game plan interview, right? So that he could teach me how to succeed, so that he could teach me how to earn my investment back. And he told me a few things, guys, right? He said I had to make a list. 
and at this very important event whereby he taught me how to contact and invite the people on the list and invite them to a presentation so that we can close. Guys, what are we talking about? We're talking about this very important first event, right? And so as you go forward, uh, you want to be sure with your brand new associates, guys, to let them know how important this very first event is. So you have a responsibility, right, as a sponsor to express the importance of it, right? Sometimes, guys, we just don't put the necessary sense of urgency on the opportunity to help our new business partners, right, really have and formulate a business plan. Right? You've helped them start their business, and so now we have to spend time with them. Right? Throughout your journey, guys, you'll learn more about uh, this getting started right process. It starts uh, with the Team New Vision welcome letter. As you can see here, our very own Mr. Self has a very important message for all of us. Guys, when we get our new business partners started right, because you had a game plan interview, you made sure uh, that they watch this video with him. You made sure that they know the path to travel in regards to continuing to learn more. But it's all from this game plan interview, which is a very important event, and it's the very first event, right? The second event, guys, is your pre-launch Zoom. Guys, this is the launch. This is the, the, you know, the grand opening, if you will, of a new associate's business. This is all set up at the game plan interview. Guys, we have the details. We have the line by line script uh, for you, the new associate. Right, for the expert, everything that you need to succeed here inside this process, guys, for event number two, which is your pre-launch, right, where we may invite a handful of people uh, to a Zoom to launch your business, or it might be a full launch where we expect to have, you know, 15, 20, 30 people on that launch. Uh, on your behalf or for your brand new associates behalf. And so guys, this is a big deal, right? So game plan interview, it's an event, right? The pre-launch, it's an event. Guys, we're building from event to event for events. We're building from events, guys, to events for events. And so as we uh, have really pressed forward, guys, to have that pre-launch within a new associate, uh, it could be first 24 hours, 48, 72 hours. We're really trying to have that event as fast as possible. And so after that, we want to go ahead and take advantage of the fast start trainings that are happening every single week. This is what allows our new business partners to actually earn their $300 fast start bonuses, right? Which has to be done, of course, in their first 20 days. The class has to be taken in the first 20 days. And of course, the new associate uh, has to rank advance. They have to fast start qualify with the necessary uh, qualifications all in the first 20 days. And so we don't have to wait right until 20 days to take this class guys we can have this class in the first week but so let's have uh, that game plan interview and then quickly uh, have the pre-launch zoom and now perhaps from that zoom you've already met your fast start qualification so now when you take your fast start training guess what guys right there's going to be a 300 dollars bonus uh, on the way because you've already 
completed the process. Guys, through the Team New Vision app, and again, all that you'll learn through the Team New Vision welcome letter, you'll be able to locate a Team New Vision fast start trainer. Guys, we absolutely have the best of the best. And so let's make sure that uh, we do just that. Utilize the Team New Vision platform, guys, and see where our trainers are, our ring earners are training, and let's get our business partners to those classes, guys. And again, this is an event, right? It's a big deal, right? These events are a big deal. We look forward uh, to congratulate you all for earning your bonuses. Right, event number four, right, is your weekly statewide recruiting Zoom, guys. Again, right, we're building from event to event for event. And so let's lock down, guys, the particular day for your state that you're going to be building into the weekly event. Okay, in the Maryland marketplace where I reside. It's on Wednesday night at 7. And so now we have that event. It's on our calendar. And we're building into it, right? We do have the opportunity, of course, every single day to utilize the presentation and prospect by Legal Shield, as well as other events uh, that's taking place uh, weekly and daily, if you will. But Find your state, right, particular event, right, so that we can build culture there together. And, of course, uh, when the states uh, start to open back up, that night is more than likely where everyone will convene. And let's go ahead and make it a habit, right? Let's go ahead and make it a habit now with the Zooms from home so when everything opens back up, guys, it will already be in your schedule and again we have incredible presenters guys who will surely surely close people out for you right we also have a special event special blitz uh, that we hold as an organization we've had some incredible events here uh during quarantine and so when it's an event and we've made a decision that it's an event for us Guys, it's something that we show up for. It's something, right, that we build into. And you want to be non-negotiable about that pursuit because it gives us an opportunity to build your business faster than slower. Let me tell you guys, there are some businesses that absolutely exploded, right, who took advantage of the Platinum Blitz uh, that we just held recently, guys, organizations increased massively, right? Did your business increase, right? I believe it did if you plugged into it. Right, Super Saturday. So here's how it was put to me in the beginning, right? Um, one meeting a week, guys, one Saturday a month. Right, one meeting a week, that was the weekly meeting, and one Saturday a month, guys. Right, it's social proof, right? It's a bigger event with more people than the weekly event. It gives you and your new partners an opportunity, guys, to hear more stories, right? And it said that facts tell, but stories sell. And the more stories that you have, the greater your opportunity to overcome someone's objection because you heard a story, right? There's always someone who utilized a particular life issue as an excuse or reason why they couldn't succeed here or why this, this isn't for them. But there's someone else who used that same situation as the reason why they succeeded. And that is why you want to show up at the Super Saturday. Our next Super Saturday, guys, is taking place next week. 
uh, July the 11th. Guy, it's going to be a huge, huge international Super Saturday event for the entire company, right? We're already excited about the things that we have going on now as we run from July 1st through July the 10th, the bonuses uh, that exist there. Uh, for us getting performance club qualified and recruiting. But that's just a small piece of the puzzle, guys. All right, July the 11th is your next Super Saturday. You don't want to miss it, right? You put it on your calendar. Guys, you put it on your calendar, and there's nothing, right, that you can allow to interfere with that. That's how you have to feel about your business, guys. Right, you're asking your family for that one Saturday a month. Right, you're asking your family, right, for that one day a week, right, to build your business. Now, here's the thing you have to deliver, you have to produce, right, because you're asking them for that, that, that one day a week, right, that one day a month, right, that one Saturday a month. Now, you have to do your part when it comes to that, and you have to have guests with you, right? You have to have team with you, and you have to show up. Why? To raise the level of everything that you do so that you can get better, right, over the next 12 months at getting more guests right at the weekly briefing or the weekly zoom so that you can get better at having more guests and more associates at the monthly super saturday see that's why you have to show up guys so that you can get better right event number six guys right our tmv leadership summit right this year here we are streaming together uh, live for this event. How awesome is it, guys? We talk about the era that we're in today whereby the cheese has moved. Guess what? We still got this incredible opportunity to be together, right? Today, celebrating uh, our Independence Day together, guys, Freedom Weekend. Right, whatever it is you'd like to consider it, but here we are still together, right? Not missing a beat, guys. This is what we do annually together. We come together with the Team New Vision family. We have what's called our entertainment. I gotta tell you, you know, the the live events are absolutely amazing. The leaders prepare. Uh, we do skits. We cry together. It's out of this world. We all will be together uh, next year, next summer, guys, uh, 2021 uh, in the D.C., Maryland area. And so we look forward to spending that time together. And guess what? It's an event, right, that goes in the calendar. It's event number six. What are we doing here? We're building from event to event for event. It's what we do. You see, this is all a part of your 10,000 hours. It takes about 10,000 hours to master something, right? And so as you come and you learn here, right? It, it's study, do, teach, right? Practice, drill, rehearse. And so you have to show up, right? Because you'll learn what you need to study. You'll learn what you need to do. You'll learn what you need to teach. And then you go out and fail forward as you run and build and develop to the next event. The next event is the Legal Shield Leadership Retreat, right? It's a fall mini convention, if you will. And uh, the next one that we're having, guys, of course, is coming up uh, in October, 
We're going to all be together in Charlotte. We're so looking forward to that event, October the 9th uh, through the 11th. So as you can see, right, there's a general progression that's happening here, right? There's the Team New Vision event that we just talked about, right? It's Team New Vision, right? But then this leadership retreat, right, a little bit bigger, right? Because it's the Team New Vision leaders as well as the leaders from other teams across the country. The question is, are you one of those leaders? Right? Not everyone is going to show up, but those who would like to build their businesses, right, sooner than later and have the success that they desire sooner than later, guys, those individuals will be here, right? The progression. And we're doing all of this, guys. We're building up, right? Because again, change starts with you, right? Change starts with you it's up to you you're responsible guys for leading the change right Mahatma K Gandhi he said I cannot teach what I do not know right I cannot lead where I'm not willing to go if I want to see change I must become that change right that I hope to see how about showing up to the lead the change uh, conference guys that surely puts you on path to that. And we're doing all of this to build up, guys, for event number eight. That is our international convention. Here's how the math works, guys. For every associate on your team that shows up to this big event, to this big event, they passively would represent about a thousand dollars in income for you a year, right? Passively, right? From the, the production. So with that formula in mind, it would take about 100 associates, guys, that each could account for about a thousand dollars in income. There's your passive six figure income annually. And so let me explain this. You can earn with our incredible compensation plan, right, of $100,000 without those 100 associates showing up, right? That's the hybrid of a compensation that we have. It's incredible. But I want you to take a look at this slide here, and I want you to lean in on what I'm saying here. It says 100 associates from your team equals right, passive, right, a passive six-figure income. See, that's different from you creating most of the income yourself, right? We have an incredible product, right, that pays a lot of money for one sale, right, and that is cool. Guys, but how much cooler <laughs> is it having a passive six-figure income that's coming in uh, right, whether you get out the bed or not, right? We get rich from ongoing transactions, okay? We get rich from ongoing transactions, but we become wealthy from ongoing transactions without you being there. We become wealthy from ongoing transactions, guys, without you being there. So we are intentionally building up from event to event, guys, starting with the game plan interview. And we're going through our progression of events. And then we continue to do that progression of events with every associate that joins the team. And then the compound effect of that progression is your 100 associates with you, right, at the big event. And here we have it. You're on your way to your passive six-figure income from home. And you keep running this play, running this process over and over again. And that 100,000 a year, right, can become what? 
a million dollars a year. And on this team, right, Team New Vision, we have examples of that success. And so here's what happens, guys. Big decisions are made at big events, guys. Big decisions are made at big events. It's when this thing, right, truly goes from, right, your head to your heart. Now you know what you're a part of, right? The International Convention is the International Convention for your company. You Inc. Take Legal Shield out of the equation at this time. The big event is your big event for your company. So, how do you miss your own international convention for your company? Okay? It's said that, right, a team will take on the characteristics of its leadership. A team would take on the characteristics of its leadership. So if the characteristic of you is someone who doesn't show up, someone who doesn't promote, right, from event to event, right, for event, chances are you won't get the benefit of seeing 100 associates from your team at the big event to give you the opportunity to earn a passive six-figure income. So what characteristics, guys, is your team modeling from you? Guys, I look forward to those decisions that you'll be making from the big event. What are we talking about, guys? We're talking about habits, guys. Right, we've learned that right winning is a habit. We've heard that success, guys, is a habit. It's just a cycle, right? And it becomes a part of you. Right? You want to have people around you, right? The circle that you're a part of, right? Where everyone's talking about what's next. You want this to become a culture inside of your business. Right, where you're the, the first to arrive at an event, the last to leave. Guys, first to arrive, last to leave, first to register. See, if you don't register for events, you'll never be able to promote it. All you'll ever be able to do is announce it. So you want to have people in your circle who's always promoting. We stop, we promote on welcome calls, right? When we do welcome calls, someone should be promoting, right, the game plan interview that the new associate is going to be having. Someone's going to be promoting, right, the fast start class that's coming up. So though these all become then what? Reminders. Because everybody is saying it, workout partner, experts on welcome calls. So now it becomes reminders to talk about and promote the next event, right? And then it becomes a routine, right? Now it's, it's routine. We call it like clockwork. And then ultimately, what? The benefit you gain from the habit is the reward. Which one reward that we just talked about, right? We said a passive six-figure income, right? That's the reward, right, of this habit of building from event to event for event. Here's what happens, guys. You put in the work that you've committed to, right? You do it uh, with decency right, in order and discipline, and we do all this fundamentally, and guess what happens? One day, guys, your signature, right, will become your autograph, and you're going to be given that signature <laughs> at the big event, right? This particular hat that I'm signing right there, guys, it was at the International convention 
where your business partner actually handed me his hat so that I could jot down my signature, guys. And I look forward to you uh, having the opportunity to get into the profiles of success uh, for the success uh, that's coming your way. You believe you deserve it. You really believe you deserve it. Then you'll do the necessary work and you will go to work uh, and make it real. And so, guys, I just look forward to seeing you guys right at the next event and for us again i'm look forward to seeing your name uh july the 7th at the super saturday guys because that's where we'll all be right because we know how important it is and so if you make a decision uh, to make event a priority guys you'll be able to build the world-class international organization that you desire. These habits for me, this habit formation for me, guys, led me to developing an organization that has at least one associate in all 50 states and into Canada that joined my business, although I live in Maryland, but because I was able to effectively talk about this habit right routinely enough guys enough people listen and they were able to design their future so look guys i can talk to you guys forever because you're family and i simply wish the best for you guys so you guys take care right take charge but most importantly put in a work guys to become legendary for your family you guys take care Hey, this has been an awesome event. Hey, don't tune out yet. In fact, tune in. It's about to get ridiculous. First of all, Kevin Mack, listen, when he said, all I want is the best for you, he wants the best for everybody, he really means that. Like, if you pull him aside, I don't know if you've ever done this, at a big event, it's like, I just got a question for you, Mr. Mack. He will break that thing down and say, look, you got a minute? Sit down. I mean, I mean, he's so willing to not just give you a quick answer. Well, I don't think he does anything quick, but he will break it down. You gotta love Mac Attack, man. That's my birthday twin. So. Yes, it is your birthday twin. Two, two, five. And that song, look, I'm still on the tribute song. The ladies. Ah, uh, I killed it. Can we watch it again? Maybe at the end we'll play it. So we, we got one more training, guys. Thanks for sticking with us. Sorry we went over a little bit. It's been an awesome day, TMB. Man, I told my wife, I said, I feel like a racehorse, like in the daggone thing before they raise it up and they run out. It's like, I can't stop moving. I'm like, ready to go. I can't believe we fit everything into one day. I know. It's been awesome. Oh don't, hey, look, I'm saying, stay with us, yes. guys. Yes. You don't want to miss I'm this last week. By the way, um, home stretch, next year, no pandemic, we're going to be together. We're going to be together. It's going to be awesome. So if you already registered, um, for the live event, not for this live stream, but the actual in-person event, then you're already registered for next year. You're already there. For those who didn't, we're gonna give you a shot right now because I think it only holds 1,500 people. This spot, I think something like that. Uh, I know. Yeah. I don't. We can't. Like we've already <laughs> signed the contracts. Yeah. So first 1,500 get in. Bottom line, this is the way it is. So how many spots are left? So uh, just get there, right? And uh, maybe we have a breakout room, right? Like you can't like get inside the room, but you'll be close. They'll figure it out. Let's show the video where we're going for those who don't know.
Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Welcome to DC. You know where you're at, the USA cap. You're taking a slightly, I'm taking a slightly. Now how you go at home, you will be right back. But we will be right here, we will be right here. You know where you're at, the USA cap. You're taking a slightly, I'm taking a slightly. so you can be one of the 1500 again if you already registered for the event that we had to postpone um your money's already went towards that event and so we're looking forward to uh seeing you there uh it's going to pray for a breakfast before you go into the event i mean it's got a lot of great things the only extra event that we're doing so go ahead and register there that's team new vision uh, 2021.com it's easy to remember new is in you not in ew in you so team new vision 2021.com okay um you got it back up there oh perfect got it back up there all right cool so um it's, it's the same price that it was 139 uh, the only people who paid less than that were folks who were in vegas last year because we did a special on the first day we uh, announced it and again because of the pandemic we just had to move it back to a uh, one more year so we just kept it at 139 it didn't go up so for those who paid the 139 you know, we didn't want to make it cheaper for today because it'd be unfair to you. So we kept it at 139 uh, for everybody. Uh, if you're a ring earner, obviously you have to contact us and get the discount code there. Um, the only other event that we're going to do before we close out with our next speaker, the only other event that we're going to do is um, a special. We were going to do a senior director and above event. Um, we we're going to have a special reception for my wife and I and um, for the senior directors and above. But now that we have so many senior directors and above, we're gonna ask that you elevate your game. And that's, that's a, a, a positive problem to be a part of the TMB family because we raised the bar for you. So you got to be a bronze executive director by uh, this time next year, the same 4th of July weekend next year, in order to be invited to, it's gonna be a special leadership mastermind. You can be invited to, it's gonna be like $49, it's gonna be food and everything there, but we'll have an opportunity um, to to have a mastermind event because there's some leadership skills that go from bronze to platinum and from platinum and beyond and to sustain it, right? And so we look forward to having you there. We feel like the bronze executive director position is a good position to have that leadership talk because not only have you hit the level, but you help someone else hit the level. So in fact, I want to show you what it looks like. I actually did a video because I thought you all were going to be here to say, hey, if you're a senior director above, we're going to have a special event. We have that video um, prompted. Can we put it Hey, TNV family here doing a site visit at our Financial Independence Weekend location 
at live here in Maryland. That's right, we are coming back to Maryland 2020. All you have to do is go to uh, tmv2020.com to register. But this area right here, which is our executive suite level, we're actually going to do a reception up here for senior directors and above, senior directors and above. So make sure you go senior director. We'll have more specifics on that so that you can hang out with us and fellowship with the best of the best here with TMV and of course our TMV cousins as well. So looking forward to uh, seeing you all here. 4th of July weekend 2020, hanging out with us, and uh, it's going to be an amazing time. I'm telling you, it's entertainment, so everything is in a play format, if you will. We show people the right way and the wrong way, so that now you can identify if you're doing it right, perfect, keep doing it. If you're doing it wrong, you can course correct. I love these events that happens once a year. TMV family, I look forward to seeing you all there. All right, great. So listen, guys, uh, so that was Senior Director and above what we're going to do this year, but it's going to be bronze executive. So let's work hard, set your goal, get with your leadership and say, I want to be bronze. I want to be in that particular mastermind. How can I get there? So, but either way, register for the, uh, for the event, okay? TeamVision2021.com. We said it. Don't say, well, is there any way I can get a ticket? We said it, 1,500 people. So let's make sure that we, uh, we get you there. We had 2489 register for this event, 2489, not all of them washed. Uh, but between the Facebook, uh, where we streamed this and this, we had a couple of thousand people. So congrats, guys, on having all your team watch this. Also, next Saturday, um, Mr. Max has mentioned it. Awesome job promoting because he talked talk about event to event. Uh, we're actually going to have uh, Super Saturdays happening all across North America, virtual. And uh, what can I say about it? All I can say is that you got to be on. Like the stuff we're going to announce is going to take us to a whole nother level. But that's why I wanted to have, I'm so glad we have this event right now because we're really preparing to go into the company event next weekend. And the things we're going to announce next weekend, guys, is going to blow your mind. So make sure that you're ready for our corporate announcements and centers. But use the first 10 days of this month to get Performance Club qualified. Just decide what tier Performance Club qualification you want to be in because there's incentives on the table. You can earn extra money and an all experience paid trip to Mexico. So um, make sure you pay attention to the incentives. I won't go over that right now because we're over time. I just want to get out to our last trainer real quickly. Um, Tracy knows this this guy more than me, better than me, but that's my man. He's amazing. He's inspired us all over the last 14 months. He and his wife have been amazing. They're great friends. They're family to us. And uh, I'll let you uh, introduce uh, this gentleman. What am I going to say about Marty's friend? Oh, my gosh. I've known Marty when since we were kids. And you know how you see people and you say, oh, I remember how you used to be this person and now you're an adult, you're this person. Marty was the person he is today when he was 12. <laughs> Please understand. We were in middle school and Marty was going around saying, yeah, I'm going to be a businessman. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. We were like an entrepreneur. Who? He was saying this. He had the same energy. He had the same confidence when we were kids. And he told us back then that he was going to do big things. And we were kids. We were thinking, you don't sing. You don't do any, any sports. What possibly is going to make you rich, right? And look, here we are now in 2020. And he has had an amazing career, so successful. Him and his lovely wife, I just adore them. And I'm so proud of them and so happy that they finally... Yes, after finally what, 19 years we were talking about legal, so a little bit, just kind of dripping. To little join little us. So yes, please help me welcome our last speaker of the day. Bring it, bring it, bring it, Marty. Bring it. Marty. We here, baby. Listen. Miss Self, I meant to say Miss Self, I apologize. Listen, this is your long time, brother. After third, since third, listen, since, since diapers, right? Uh, we've been knowing each other. So I'm so proud of you, first and foremost, for all that you've done and all that you will continue to do to guide this team. Thank you so much, first and foremost, before I even get started in this training, uh, for giving us your husband, Mr. Darnell Self. We go way back. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of him and all that you guys have accomplished. But it, it says a lot about you as a wife, as a mother, to be able to allow him to give us so much of his time to guide this unbelievable team and all that the effort that he's put in, all of the effort that you've put in over the last 21 years is amazing. we got another 30 years to go. So thank you so much for your leadership. Listen, guys, um, I'm excited. For those that don't know me, my name is Marty. I'm a platinum uh, here in the company. And, and let me just share with you, I have the awesome pleasure to speak to you guys about posture right? And about incentives. And when I think about posture, uh, I think about, you know, sitting up straight, shoulders back, right? Legs and, uh, and feet planted straightly, right? Make sure you have that 
firm hair, handshake and look into the person's eyes. And, and that's posture, right? But I'm talking about a different type of posture, right? I'm talking about the, the posture of confidence, right? The posture of assuming the sale, the posture of knowing what you have in the forefront of your legacy, right? So I'm going to talk about that. I took some notes right here, guys. I'm going to be looking down and back up to you and just share with you some of the things that I've done to be able to succeed. And we all know we don't succeed in this company without a team. But you, you, you have to have a level of belief, right? Let's just start there. Where is your level of belief? There's a difference in saying, I believe it's going to work. I believe that I'm going to get to platinum. I believe I'm going to get to manage. And there's another conviction level of belief, right? Where you're going to do whatever it takes, as long as it's legal. You're going to do whatever it takes, right? To, to, to do what you need to do, what you come here for. And that level of belief, guys, can't be just money. Because once you get money out the, as an issue out the way, then something else has to drive you. That's why we always talk about your why, right? But let's talk about posture. And when I think about posture, I think about confidence, right? And a lot of people take uh, uh, confidence as arrogance, right? And, and that's okay, right? Because you can't please everybody. Some people are going to look at you and say, you know what? He has an unbelievable posture. He assumes to sell. His belief system is at an all-time high. And this is what drives you. Right? You're going, to, you're going to have haters. That's, that is what it is. But there's a level of confidence when you're talking about going to the next level in this company. So let's talk about this really quickly. Um, when I think about belief, it's just transferable. So when I got involved in Legal Shield, I didn't have to figure out whether this works or not. I was being mentored by the self, the self family, right? I already seen it work, right? I know, I know Mr. Self gets up the same way I get up. I know he puts his legs in his pants the same way I put my legs in my pants. The difference is, will I be able to get on the grind? Will I be able to transfer? Will he be able to transfer that belief that he has into me? And will I be open to it? Right. So the posture is very simple, right? Because we're in a time right now, ladies and gentlemen. If I could just be, be so honest, we're in a time right now where everybody needs a lawyer, right? Growing up in the world of of Highsville, Maryland. If some of you guys may know where that is, some of you guys may not. But growing up in Highsville, Maryland, if I could just be honest, my posture was never the way it is today. Right. I was always taught, hey, if you see the police run, if you need a lawyer, you go, it's because you got caught doing something wrong. Right. But today, as a businessman, 22 years of experience, I understand the importance of having an attorney. I know for sure, for sure that we all going to need to have a death date and we need to have that will. So my posture is when I deal with people, I deal with them on a different confidence, a different confidence level. I, I'm assuming that they're going to say, you know what? You believe so heavily that I'm afraid that if I don't get involved, right, that I'm going to miss something. So you can't go to a person and say, well, will you get my service? I don't, I think it works. I really haven't got mine yet, but I'm hearing that this person, you can't do that. You got to assume the sale, right? So when I go to the people, I tell them what they need. I don't wait for them to tell me or ask me, right? Listen, man, I don't, I don't know if you had your will or not. Listen, I didn't have my will either, but here's what I want to do with you. Here's what I want to do for you, Right? I'm a, I want to do something for you. I want you to support my business. That's what I want you to do for me. I want you to support my business. Then I'm going to do something for you because I want to make sure I protect your family. I'm assuming the sale, right? We need to do this today because you got to understand something. Death has a date and none of us know it. So I need you to do this right now. How much do you love your family? Listen, I'm so direct with people because the worst thing you can tell me is no. If you tell me no, then what's the referral? See, this is, this is how I think. That's posture. Right. When you guys think about a, 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 a party, a restaurant, a restaurant that uh, a roof, Chris, let's use roof, Chris, roof, Chris, the steak tastes good. Right. The, the all the food, the drinks, all these things, they taste good. Right. So you, you assume when you tell somebody to go visit Ruth, Chris, you already speak with a different posture. Man, I can't believe you haven't tried Ruth, Chris. Can you, that stuff chicken is off the chain. Just see, see think about what I'm saying. You so you, you selling because you believe in it. You taste the chicken. Right? That's like going to Chick-fil-A. You, what you mean you haven't heard of Chick-fil-A? Are you crazy? Chick, you, oh my God, you must live in a third world country. How you not learn about Chick-fil-A? Right? That's how you need to be about legal shit. Like, live, you, you're not protected. Are you, are you serious? You're not protected by legal shit? I mean, bro, how do you not have your family? Sis, how do you not have your family protected? I mean, this is what we have to do as adults. Come on, listen, you got to get yourself in order. Somebody had to come to me and tell me this as well. So it's my duty to make sure you get in order because somebody took the responsibility to make sure I got in order. Even if you're in order, you use those words, right? So we got to understand some assume the sale, okay? Let's talk a little bit about belief. Uh, I think a little bit was about belief, but let's talk about belief because a lot of you guys um, sit back and think about, I believe in Legal Shield. You know, I believe in the service. I believe in the compensation plan, but the compensation plan doesn't come without services, right? You can't get people on the service unless your belief system is through the roof. So when I got involved in Legal Shield, yes, uh, my belief was there, right? I, but there's a different conviction today, right? I, I believed in my leadership. I believed in, I seen the, the vision work, 
for, for the self family for so many years. But my belief went from, you know, I know it works to I can't believe it's working to I can't believe y'all don't even have it for it to work for your family. It was a completely different system, right? That conviction was so serious. And see, I, I'll be I'll be remiss not to share with you guys. A lot of us get in for the compensation plan. We know it, but we really don't understand how the compensation plan works until we actually works the business, until we work the business. But you can't work the business unless your belief system goes up. Because if your belief system goes up, then you can sell more memberships. If you sell more memberships, then guess what? You have a bigger check. That's how it works, right? So for me, I had to focus on the services and I had to focus on the compensation plan. I'm just telling you what worked for me, right? And how that worked was through systems, right? It worked from me getting in front of people and then people getting in front of people. See, a lot of people come to me all the time and say, how do you get people to buy into the service? I, I, I didn't get a lot of people to buy into the service, right? I get about $180 worth of memberships per month, right? That, that's the goal I set for myself. I'm not saying I shouldn't get more. I'm just telling you, I make sure I become PC Pro qualified every single month. But my goal here, ladies and gentlemen, for you is to understand, I just know about five, maybe six, seven people that knew five or six or seven people who knew five or six, seven people. And because I believe in business, because I believe in entrepreneurship, because I believe in legacy building, because I understand this is called foundational income and everything above the foundation is just transactional, right? If the transactional gets stopped, just as it has in COVID-19, right? Pre and post, all these things get stopped. Guess what still pays? The foundational business. So when you go through these lessons, these peaks, these valleys, these curbs, these robots, these stuff, these, these, these potholes, when you go through these different things, uh, what happens is your belief system goes through the roof, especially when you get a check. I never forget, I'll give you a quick story. I, I never forget in March, uh, 2020, I was, I was sick. I was sick for about three and a half weeks. Um, my, my wife said, boy, you had COVID-19. I told her I had the bug wise. I, I wasn't COVID-19. I had something else, right? I'm not going to claim that on my life, right? But, uh, I know I didn't do a webinar, right? Um, I text a little bit while I was in bed, right? I text a little bit. I still communicated. Still, this this is all belief, right? I got to say something to the team, right? Whether it's good morning, whether it's hope you guys day is doing well, hope is uh, have a great production, uh, great, great day of production, whatever it may be, right? Your belief goes up another level every time you hit a position in this company. I'm sick for three and a half weeks and I still get paid $32,000. I didn't even do a webinar. Right. But it was all the things that I've done prior to me being sick. See, see, this is what I want you guys. This is not a microwave lifestyle. This is a kind of this is kind of us getting put in the oven, turning ourselves to 350 and getting baked from the top all the way through. And when you get baked all the way through, not just on the outside, but you get baked all the way through. Then you have the substance that you need for when the when the haters come. Right. The substance that you need when the haters come and say that don't work. Or oh, I remember legal shield when it's prepaid legal. It didn't work for you. See, that happened to me so often. I, oh, that was prepaid legal, man. I mean, it didn't work for me back then. I'm like, your last girlfriend didn't work for you either. But you ain't stopped dating girls. Right. Maybe you did. I don't know. My point is this. My point is this. We got to go through peaks. We got to go through valleys. We got to go through stop signs, roadblocks. Right. But so many of us have these self-imposed barriers that we control, that we can move with one finger if you just stay connected. So you got to stay connected. You got to get on the TNV calls, the team calls. And I can be honest with you guys, as a platinum, I'm still building, right? I'm still trying to remember. I'm so new still in the company, 14 months in the company, right? I've run my own company now for 22 years. I can promise you, promise you, promise you, I have failed more than I ever won, right? Failure is never, failure is never the amount of money that's in your bank account. Failure is what you've gotten through and how you elevated through it, right? So when I got through this, this, this piece that I'm still going through today, Right. Because I want you guys to think this. Don't think this for one second that I don't have my ups and downs. I do. Right. I have my ups and downs in Legal Shield. I have people quitting. I have people signing up. I have people staying on the services. I have people say, I'm going to be your next platinum, but they don't even get to senior manager or senior associate. Right. I, I have these people to get involved in the company. And guess what? They say, I'm going to take the fast star train the other day. Then they go into the witness protection program. Listen, that has nothing to do with me and it has nothing to do with you. Right. I can only control Marty. Right. I can only control Marty with. Sometimes I believe I control Israel too, but that, that's a whole nother story, right? But my point is, you got to be able to have such a conviction when people say something slick about legal shit. You, you're ready to fight. You're ready to put the gloves on. You're ready to go into a different profession, professional boxing, right? Because people will be people. Guys, just listen. This is why you have the 98, the 97, the 99% of the entire population getting up every day, going to work. Right? And, and, and you know that hasn't been working forever. 
right? That's, that haven't worked for you for 20 years. You know what I mean? People come to me and say, man, you know, you're just good at what you're good at. You, you, you're just a natural born seller, right? Like, like I'm, I'm not a natural born seller. I just got a different belief. My conviction is different, right? So when I speak about posture, ladies and gentlemen, you got to really understand what you have. Posture may come from you reading a little bit more, right? You don't like reading maybe some audio books, right? Maybe going to a, a national convention. I know we haven't been able to do that. And you guys are doing an unbelievable job, by the way, for us not to be able to go to a national convention. But my point is you need to stay connected. You got to stay connected in this game. And that's how this works. You're great on your job because you're connected. Your posture is different on your job. You put a suit and a tie on, you're dressed clean, your hair cut, your shape up is great. Gentlemen, I'm talking to you. Ladies, your hair is unbelievable. You show up on time to get noticed and you leave late to get noticed. And you do this for 20, 30 years. I'm not knocking your job. All I'm saying is that they're capping your income. They're not going to pay you your worth. So here, all I'm saying to you guys, I cannot, I don't know about you guys, but I can't be around the Darnell selves of the world. The Michael Humes of the world, the Alistair Edwards of the world, the Fatima Salahs, right? The, the, I, I can't be around the Jackie Cotes, right? Or the Burke. I, I can't be around these leaders knowing that they've been here, knowing that they've been for 20 some odd years and, and they can pour into me every day for free, for free, for my posture not to be stand still. I look, listen, you see, I gotta see my shoulders. My shoulders are pushed back. You know what I mean? People call me and say, man, you, 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 you just think you're good. I, I know. I, I know I'm good at what I do. Right. But I know there's room to grow and I only grow when my posture is right, because there's more negativity that's going to be positive to coming within my life when it comes into legal shield. Right. So that's posture, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to talk to you guys about that a little bit. Um, one more thing I will talk about when it comes to posture. Uh, you got to learn how to sell you. Nobody's going to buy into the company unless they buy into you first. Right. Nobody bought into legal shield until they bought into me. Right. But I can't. I, how, how can I expect somebody else to believe in my leadership if I can't believe in my own leadership? Right. I got to do webinars. I got to be I got to be that example. You know, what I mean, people call me and say, man, you know, how many webinars you do a day? I'll try to do 20 if I could. It's just that people on, you know, they're working every day. I can't. I, I, I ain't got that type of time. I'm, I'm waiting. Right. Let's go. Right. But I don't wait on people. If they can't listen, if a person comes to me, this is my posture. If a person comes to me and they said, I'm in. Boom. Let's get you in. You need a grand opening tomorrow. 48 hours at least. Right, let's get you in the grand for the next 48 hours. Got to get a grand up. I'm going to set you up with a fast start training. Listen, I've got those things in place. And, and, and that's why I'm going to send a text to them every day. Every, this is just me. I'm not telling y'all what to do. I'm just telling you what I do. I stay connected because I understand after a certain amount of days, habits are formed. 21 days, habits are formed. 21, 27 days, whatever days they say it is, right? Habits are formed. I stay connected. I monitor their business because their business is my business. And most people say, well, 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 Marty, you know, I ran out of people. I'm like, how do you run out of people? Because if you're building the business the right way, the person that just signed into my business, although I didn't sign them in, just became my warm market. I know they know people that I don't know. Right? This is my posture. I'm a, you know what I mean? People say, I don't want people calling my people. They ain't your people. This ain't, a, this ain't 100 years of slavery. Right? You sign them into the business. They need leadership. Right? And maybe you don't know what to do, so you turn them on to the Mr. Self. You turn them on to the Alistair Edwards. You turn them on to the Burke Calhouns, the Kevin, the Kevin Max. You turn them on to people that know your upline leadership and be okay with that. Because these guys are going to make sure you succeed if you show up. And that's what I think a lot of us are missing. It's not just, just so much your posture, but you would never graduate high school if the teacher never showed. Right? So you as a student have to show up. I'm still a student in leadership as a platinum to executive director in this company. I'm still a student. Right, right, right. How much more is there for me to learn? It's a lot. I'm just, I'm 21 years behind. So we got to do this, guys. And you got to understand, you got to be able to sell you first. You got to be able to sit back and be able to elevate. Right. You got to be able to read a little bit more. You got to use some of the words. Some of the times I use words in presentation, I'd be like, man, that was good. I just read it. That's not my words. Right. I just read it. Right? I think I talked about the other day how a fish never knows his environment or never understands the environment that he's living in because He's surrounded around water all the time. Whereas if you and I get in water, we're going to drown if we stay there long enough. Right? That wasn't my words. I read that. These, these come from me reading books. Right? Me listening to audio. I don't even read because a lot of I should probably should not say that. But you know me. I'm just authentic. I'm trying to get better at reading books. But that's a flaw of mine. Right? And it's okay. It didn't keep me, make, it didn't keep me from making $357,000. Right? I did the activities. Right? I did the activities. My posture was different. My belief system is different. I remember Mr. Self at the TNV event in Las Vegas, my very first event, standing on stage saying, I wish upon you $20,000 premium. I wish upon you $30,000 premium. I was in the seat like, let's go. 
Like, like, you know what? I'm on my way. I didn't know how I was going to get there. I just knew if I continue to do the same activity. But what he was saying, it, I believed it, right? And because I believed it, guys, my premium is at $30,000 a month. And it has nothing to do with me, but it has everything to do with my activity. It has everything to do with my belief. It has everything to do with my posture. Okay, so listen, let's make a transition, man. I mean, hope that did something for you guys. I hope they helped you a little bit. But let's talk about driving incentives. Now, I don't know about you. I come from, I've been in this industry for 12 years. By mistake, by the way. I, I got into this industry by mistake, right? Somebody came to me and offered this unbelievable opportunity called, uh, I won't say the name of the company, but it was an unbelievable opportunity at the time, right? And um, we know things change. Cause people come to me all the time. So why are you leaving the other company? I'm like, why did you leave your job? Right. It, you, you outgrew it. Right. For whatever reason. But there was lessons. And a lot of people, I don't want you guys to judge Israel and I's success or any other leader's success for that matter, according to what you do. Because sometimes you can move so fast and then you got to be able to sustain this unbelievable team that has built under you. It's like being in the kindergarten, but somebody promoted you to the 12th grade, but yet you don't know anything about the 12th grade. Right. So so 12 years I've been in the company in this industry, I should say. And and. We've been able to handle things differently here in legal show because of what we went through for the last 12 years, right? So we understand the incentives. We understand that legal show by far, and I'm not saying this, listen, what you get to know me, you will understand I'm just straightforward, right? You know, I can't get fired, so I can really be straightforward. But you would not understand when you look at these compensation plans uh, and the incentives that some companies give, or they're, 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 there's no comparison. Right, legal should get the unbelievable incentives, guys, from PC Pro to PC for Life to builder bonuses to residual income to upfront money. Man, you name residual income, the incentives. It, it, it drives everybody's behavior, right? And, and that's what this is about, right? Listen, I want you to make money, but I want you to understand where the money comes from. I want you to build the team, but I want you, I want you to understand why you're building a team. What's the use of sign up three people that has no memberships? You still got three people on your team. That's like, that's like having a football team of 11 people, but y'all ain't got no football. How are you going to play football with no football, but you call yourself a football team? How do you build Legal Shield? How do you build this unbelievable business, but you have no memberships? We get paid from the memberships, right? So you drive and sell. So let's talk about creating behavior of that and moving with some urgency. When I sign a person up, um, I'm looking for the first fast start training. I don't have to sign them up. They're just on my team. But I'm looking for the first fast start training. And I know some of you guys may say, um, Marty, I don't have time. I don't have a job. Well, that's completely up to you. You you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, you will always have bills, right? But you dictate whether you have them or not, right? That, that's up to you. One thing I knew, I knew that my job, when I had a job, would never pay me my bills. I knew that many years ago. It would never pay my bills off. I knew that many years ago. Even when I was promoting fights, I knew that I was just as great as my last fight. When Mike Tyson got knocked out, I stopped getting paid. Can y'all believe that? Right? They ain't pay me not a dime since, right? Israel and I started family. They ain't pay me no more. Right? Layla, I don't know, I don't know, on the last fight for Layla Ali, Israel went and Mike Tyson. Y'all know they still ain't sent me a check. And if they do send me a check because they want to use it for television production, it's only one check. Legal Shield will pay me every day. Right? So I have to understand I'm driving the incentive, the performance, the urgency around what I'm doing. So when I sign somebody up, everybody needs a grand opening immediately. Right? Like, like it, how, how do we, listen, how do we invest $50,000 for a franchise and we get the keys from the landlord? That day, listen, we get the keys from the landlord after giving them 50. We give them 50,000. They give us the keys and we beeline straight to the storefront. We open up the doors and we put our hands on the wall and we pray on the wall. Right. We pray on the wall about my register is going to be here. My uniform is going to look like that. And, and my floor is going to look like this. We ain't made a dollar. Right. But we're envisioning. We got dreams. We're, we're moving with a sense of urgency. We got the architect and the paint. I mean, we're going all in. And then we, we finally have our grand opening because every business needs a grand opening. You invite everybody, even the haters, even your mama, your mama's mama, right? You invite everybody. You Grandma, grandma can't even walk good. You put grandma in the stroller, in, 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 the, in the wheelchair. Give her the cane, whatever you need to do. Get everybody there. Matter of fact, I want you three to invite three. That's what y'all do. And then you get the DJ. You even get balloons with helium in them. With the name of the company, you do all these things, right? And then when it's all said and done, that particular day, you make in a good grand opening $5,000 and you're still $45,000 in debt. But yet, here we are in Legal Shield, 
and you come in this business with $99. If your family, $49 with the extra $5, you got the ID shield plan, and you wait two, three, four weeks, maybe a month, and do your grand opening, and you only do one. But yet it has the potential. Whereas if you just sign up a $49 business, a $49 family plan, you have the potential to make $60, the potential to make $120, manager $140, right? You'd have made all your money back. You gotta see what I'm saying here, right? And this money don't stop. Because everybody comes into your book of business, if you're looking at it from a business standpoint, this is your partners, these are your team, but these are also like franchises, right? Think about Starbucks. Starbucks don't make the amount of money because they just got Starbucks. They got multiple Starbucks. Well, we have multiple team members, multiple partners, right? So you move with the sense of urgency. There's two reasons why you move with a sense of urgency. Number one, you should be willing to try to get your money back. It takes three to five years to break even in business if you haven't got your money back in your first year, if you're not out of business in your first year. And leave us your 48 hours. Boom, you're going to get paid. As long as you're doing the system. As long as you're following the system. As long as you get with your leadership. As long as you're setting up your grand opening. You set up your grand opening. You do a, set somebody up on Wednesday, grand opening on Thursday. Or you can set somebody up and do a grand opening. You set them up on Wednesday, grand opening on Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday evening. You don't have to get 30 people. Get three. Tell three to bring three. We got nine. After third of those nine signed up, that's three. Three take fast start training. Boom, you're already a senior associate. You'd have made three hundred dollars because you took your fast start training, teach the three how to do exactly what you do. That's nine hundred dollars in bonuses plus your three. That's twelve hundred dollars. Where else can you get that type of return? See, this is what I'm thinking about when I think about vision. When I think about where we're going in this company, it's so not about the upfront money. I'm starting to get my residuals right after thirteen months. I'm starting to see my residuals right, and it's amazing. In the last three days, like my first residual check. Guys, it's two grand. My next check was nineteen hundred. The next check, which is today, was fifteen hundred dollars. This is on top of the extra money that's coming in, right? This this gives me vision to understand, man. If I just if I just keep doing this, what's going to happen five years from now? See, some of you guys are thinking too short. Some of you guys are sitting back saying, you know, man, if I'm an ED, something happens, man. Maybe I'm an ED and I don't get my builder bonus, so you know this ain't working for me. You're short term thinking. Listen, if you don't get your bill to bonus, somebody else is going to take your place. Legal show been around here for 48 years. One thing for sure, two things for certain. They don't need us. There's always going to be somebody to replace us. So you might as well put your foot in the quicksand and fall out if that's what you're going to do. Or, or you can be complacent, move with a sense of urgency, be complacent within the company, I mean. Move with a sense of urgency, understand there's growth in what it is that we do, right? There's growth. Everything's not going to go your way in business. Everything didn't go your way on your job, right? You get up every day and go to work. You don't like the person to sit beside you, but you still worked there for 30 years. You don't like your boss. You talk about your boss every day. But as soon as you call legal shield, your ID shield ain't working right. You can't get into your back office, right? You pick up the phone and you say, oh, they didn't show up in traffic court. Somebody called me the other day. Oh, somebody, they didn't show up in traffic court for me. Must have went like you said. I said, send me the ticket. It's because you got a DUI. It's 25% discount, right? Read your services. But more importantly, guys, it sentences everything here, man. This drives the behavior. Do you know when a person gets into this company, the first thing I teach them is PC Club, PC Pro. It's the first thing I teach, right? I'm, I'm, I'm setting the mindset immediately before you go to executive director, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm teaching you how to become, get $180 in personal premium every month. I don't care if you got $180 in PC Pro. We're going to give you a 50% multiplier. I want you to get $180 every single month. That's not a lot to ask as a business partner, right? As your business partner, that's not a lot to ask you to get $180. You get $180. I'm only asking you to do this because I'm going to get $180. If I get $180 and I teach you how to get $180 and six more people on my team get $180, that's a total of eight. I'm trying to hit executive director. That's $1,440. Listen, without signing anybody up, it's just that we are consistent in getting services. Eight people get $180 every single month. Personal recruit, personal membership, $180. Yes, you're going to be PC Pro qualified. I get that. But that's the backbone of the business. Manager, that's the core rank. 180 PC Pro. That drives an incentive. When you ED, performance clubs are popping. Performance for life is popping. These are just extra cash. Listen, that's extra incentives. My last, if I could share, my last um, PC, my first PC Pro check, PC for life check, was was uh, was uh, $4,900, right? That's, that, I got paid out on the seven for the month. The next month, it was $6,900. The third month, it was $8,800. The fourth month, guys, it was $8,700. You see how that works? This is just extra, right? It's an incentive. On top of the, the builder bonus, the first check was $100,000, right? So, so think about where, where else? Listen, I've been there for 14 months. My investment was $99. I'm not even talking about residual yet. I'm just talking about 
my upfront investment was $99. Some of you guys just spent that as this video is going on. Like, I mean, think about like some of you guys right now, some of you guys right now fiddling around. Some of you guys right now letting the wife or the husband disturb you. The kids are running around. You're probably petting the dog. Stop. Like, like seriously, like lock yourself in a room and say, tell everybody I need four hours, three hours, however long this training is going to take. Don't bother me because I'm setting myself up for life. I'm setting you up for life. I'm setting the family up for life. You got to be able to take notes and then take action. Okay? So I hope that helped you guys there. Um, here's my takeaway. Um, this is a long-term play. This is not a short-term play. If you got here for the short-term play, guys, listen, if I could be honest, you know, just 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 become a member. Right? Just don't, don't stop fooling yourself. Right? Stop fooling. If you want to be wealthy, you can be wealthy. You can, do, you can be whatever you want. Right? You want to be platinum, you can be platinum. Right? We, we're going we're gonna to celebrate you if you're a manager. We're going to celebrate you if you're a senior manager, director, senior director. We're going to celebrate you no matter what. $50,000, $200,000 ring earner, we're going to celebrate you. But no, if you can get to 50000 guys, you can get to hundred. If you get to hundred, you can get to five hundred. If you get to five hundred, you get to a million. But you got to be able to have the same activity. The same activity. Right? And you got to write good business. You can't write bad business. Right? I'll be remiss. Now, listen, there was bad business written in my organization. I, I'll be remiss not to share that with you guys. Because I don't want you guys to think it's perfect over here in the wind house, right? When it comes to business, there's so many ups and downs and in, in, that I go through within legal shield, within trucking, within real estate. I go through it all. I just handle it differently. Personally, I love failing because that's a le there's a lesson there within failing, right? But this is a long-term play. I don't, want your, I don't want your older self to be pissed off at your younger self, if I can use that word, right? That's not a bad word. Right. I don't want your older self to be upset. Let me say that. I don't want your older self to be upset at your younger self because your some younger self made dumb decisions. Right. I don't want you to do go. I don't want you to go through that. I want you. I want you guys to be on the yacht. Right. At the TV event. I want you to walk across the stage and get your hundred thousand dollar, two hundred thousand dollar ring. I want you to be able to be debt free. Right? I want you to be able to give back to charity if that's what you choose to do. Tithe a little bit better. Help your parents out. I want you to set a goal for how much cash you want. I want you to get your credit on point. I want you to invest in other things and allow Legal Shield to be the foundation of it. Right? This is what I want for you guys. I pray upon you guys $100,000 a month. It's doable. Right? When I first got involved in this company, God, I remember my, I hit ED in 30 days. What, what did I know in 30 days? Think about it. April 29, 2019, I joined the company. What, did I, what could I possibly know in 30 days? Let me tell you what I did know. There were other people doing what I was trying to do. And if I just follow their system, I could do it too. I just got to stay consistent. I got to stay persistent. I got to move with urgency. And I got to move people out the way. Those that want to go, will go. Those that want to go with me for a little while, will go with me for a little while. And as long as they stay there, I'm going to get into their network. And when they quit, their network becomes my network. So we must understand your posture got to be on point. Your belief system has to be through the roof. That's number one. Number two, you have to understand you're in the best company that the direct sales industry has. I'm telling you, there's a lot of things going on, guys, in this industry. There's a lot of uh, player hating, right? There's a lot of people that's going to always say, my company is better than yours. Like, they're supposed to say that. Like, I'm supposed to say Legal Shield is better than yours. I'm supposed to say I put my compensation plan up to you. I'm supposed to say that. That's my conviction, but I believe that. There's a difference in I actually believe it. And then I'm actually saying because I just want you in my business. I just don't want anybody in my business. Think about this. If this was a multi-million dollar business, and I know that it is, and some of you guys are still battling with that. But you know this was a multi-million dollar business. Some of the people that you're inviting to this company right now, you wouldn't even allow them to get into your business. So make sure you treat this, guys, the way that you would treat a multi-million dollar business because that's what you're sitting on. So God bless you guys. Hope this training was hopefully uh, uh, great for you guys. I hope this really expands the way that you think. I heard Mr. Self say something years ago. I remember him saying, listen, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. Get involved, get in the game, stay focused, sacrifice, because I'm telling you guys, the best is yet to come. First of all, I was laughing so hard, literally tears coming out of my eyes. I was laughing, I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, oh my God. So I was laughing. And then I was like, oh my, so good. So listen, guys, thank you for being with us all day. Let me just say this. I hope that I proved the point to you today. Um, and that is, you don't always 
has to be out front. Even if you're the leader or structurally, right? The leader of an organization. Use the talents of your team. And sometimes that'll slingshot you past everything. Like, where'd you come from? Because you put people in their lane. I didn't even train today. Right? But but I'm in a position where I, I've always, and I've said this, those who have been around the TMV for a while, it's like, man, one day I'm going to sit in the back of the room and just smile. My cheeks are going to hurt. So I'm like, man, somehow, directly and maybe even indirectly, I've empowered these folks to make more than me. That would make me smile. And to see all the trainers train today should say to you, now I do train, but what if I just put people in the system? Marty Wynn, as long as I had the system for him, he's Marty Wynn. Mike Hughes, as long as I walk through the system with him, he's Mike Hughes. Remember I said, we're helping people to uncover the seed of greatness. It already exists within them. It takes ordinary people to extraordinary. That's you, my friends. That's you. And I wish I had old videotapes of my first month. Because then you'd see a person with low self-esteem, a person without a car, a person who felt like he was disappointing his wife, his kids, his mom, my family, borrowing money. And uh, it didn't make me feel good. But I knew I didn't want to stay there. And I could either put the pillow over my head and pretend like life didn't exist and that things would just get better, or I could come out swinging. I just chose, chose to come out swinging. You know what I mean? I think at some point you're like, you know what? I'm just going to give it everything I have. What do I have to lose? And maybe I was at that place. So I hope that today, perhaps that was another lesson, a platinum lesson, that you can introduce people and plug them in. Many of the trainers talked about that into other people and have them help coach your folks along as well, especially if you're part-time. So what a great, great event. Um, don't forget to go register, TeamDivision2021.com. Stay plugged in. Do we have a plugged in slide? How you can stay plugged into um, TMV with uh, Facebook and Instagram? If not, just go to the real uh, Team New Vision uh, Facebook and uh, the real TMV on IG, stay plugged in, right? Listen, Faye Heisman does an amazing job with our Instagram stories. I'm inspired every day because I check out my stories, right, on TV. I'm like, oh, yes, yes, I'm inspired. It is right there. So check it out. Take a picture of it, right? Go join us. Stay plugged in. Mr. Wynn talked about it. You got to stay plugged in, guys, so stay plugged in, right? Um, also, um, we want to make sure that uh, all of TMV is getting our newsletter. So make sure you go to... Um, uh, tmvforlife.com, tmv, the number four, life.com, scroll all the way to the bottom and, uh, and join our email blast. And I want to thank, before I bring my wife back up to say bye, I want to thank uh, all the folks who are behind the scenes. I asked her to put a slide up there because you guys would be amazed what was going on in the background, which is great. I get to sit down and take notes. Didn't even have to train today. And so um, you have the slide of all of you guys uh, in the background doing all the work you guys did. Uh, to make this happen. Uh, if you could put that up, that would be awesome. I just want to give kudos out to, to Mr. Gary Jenkins. Uh, these guys, I mean, seriously, we were up to like four in the morning, one morning. I mean, it, it, was, it, it was insane. All the work they did behind the scenes. Herman Davis, same thing. There's Chapman, same thing. There's Herman Davis right there. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you all behind the scenes. Tech guy, right? Did an awesome job. You got Room Mitra. Um, I mean, it was a lifesaver today because some things didn't go according to plan. And the room Beecher stepped up and said, I got it, I ran it. Of course, you had uh, Mr. Gary Jenkins there and Faye Heist of our boss ran it all, put it all together. There's Chapman, oh my gosh, I can't, look how many computers there. At one point, he had like eight different computers going at one time. I'm like, dude, what in the world? You're confusing me. But again, it took a team of people and Faye Heist up over there to the right uh, to pull all of this together. So thank you guys for all that you do. And um, listen, how many people expect to get your ring? One more deal with this. How many people expect to get your ring? So my wife and I, uh, years ago, um, because we were blessed to start earning quite a bit of income, um, we started writing checks for $20,000, $50,000, $80,000 to out of our own income, right? And that's that's a big support because she'd be like, why are we paying that kind of money? We don't have, and most, listen, I happen to know because I, I got friends that make a lot of money in the industry, so, so, so do some of you. Most folks, for whatever reason, don't decide to put that back into the team. I'm not, look, I'm not talking about charity money. 
I'm not, I'm not talking about church. What I'm talking about right now is putting that right back into the team. And so we put a lot of money back into the team because we believe in the team and we believe in team culture and believe that the team has to feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves. And Tracy and I aren't bigger than TMV. You're not bigger than TMV. And that's why it's important that we always understand the importance of the team because we have a team agenda, not a us agenda, not a you agenda, but a all of us agenda. And so our first event 2017 that we did for the ring earners, I was in Miami, ran the yacht. It was awesome. And uh, we all got to hang out. Then we did um, Top Golf and we a different yacht in 2018, all hung out. We had a great time, right? And it's the fellowship. That's what James Kelly talked about, right? Going to an event that changed them. And because there's different conversations when you're around all ringers, because you have some real conversations that you're probably not ready to have with a senior associate. And then uh, this last time with the Riviera Maya, I think it was, Mexico. Yeah, and it was unbelievable. So again, next year, we'll be back to our ring earner events. So... We're going to play a couple as we close out. So stick around and check out the, uh, the ring earner retreats that you too can be a part of, my friend. Listen, because it's not where you start. This is wherever you start is where you start. But it's where you finish. And we don't care how long it takes you to get, to get you there. We're going to be working with you. We'll be supporting you. We'll be cheering you on. And we'll be holding your hand. The one thing we won't do is go back and get you. We'll reach back. You just have to reach up. But part of success is you got to reach up too, right? Don't ever ask your leaders to come back. Reach up. That means you've got to take some action, okay? And then we'll take action as well. Thank hey. you guys for sticking with us today. Yeah. It's been amazing. Everything turned out awesome. Thanks for everyone who's been here. And I look forward to next time we see each other making up for lost time. Thank you so much, TMV. Yeah. Amazing. You are. And I apologize again for all the senior directors above, all the testimonies. We'll make sure we get them out on IG, on Facebook. We just couldn't get it together um, because of the uh, the length of it. So, but we'll, uh, we'll make sure we celebrate you guys. Congrats on all the success that you all are having. We'll see you all at the top. Stay safe. Stay strong. Let's play those videos. Celebrate. And it's important to celebrate not just big wins, but small wins along the way to the big win. And it's also important to appreciate people, uh, to, to, to understand when you have massive success, it's typically because you've had great people around you. And the folks that are behind me, we celebrate the top golf. We got a yacht party. Uh, we just love to hang out. Like-minded people, progressive folks who think out of the box, and people who are looking to take their lives to the next level by taking other people's lives to the next level. That's who we are, and we're just getting started. From the bigger picture Everybody in the city to me Like a distant cousin, brother, little sister I see myself in the young ones When I look in their eyes It feel like a mirror Carly on all on my own Cartier all on my arm All I hear is Cyrus and car alarms The world won a war with no armor on First time I seen a dead body I was 14 and I felt the pressure Like if I don't get it I might end up next to him I'ma take the dice and I'ma roll a seven Seven, 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 eleven It's nine, eleven getting caught around The hood America's lost and found Where they digging the lost and never found All I ever wanted was to turn these G's And the M's and the Mercedes key Got it and I still felt incomplete That's when I realized that it was bigger than me Bigger than me 
When the whole town on their feet and they all just waiting on you to speak. That's when you realize that this is bigger than me. All I wanna do is make the city proud, yeah. Wishing all the old just could see me now, now, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gon' realize that this is bigger than me. Who on that foreign got that foreign? Now it's born, started touring. Swear to God, that's when I realized it was bigger than me. Flats on it, niggas with a roll. Got that rolly with the shine, but lock my tie. That's when I realized it was bigger than me. I see people in the same place 10 years later, man. And that's the bitch. God talking to me telepathic, like it only happened if you let it. I can't spend my whole life looking at the same ceiling fan when I feel like I ain't got no ceilings, man. If I ain't special, why I feel it then? I gotta get on the road, I gotta be the one chose. I gotta come back and tell the greatest story they never told. This must be the feeling that you get when you know you close. And you know it's a way in, even when the doors are closed. And realize that this is bigger than me, yeah. Bigger than me. When the whole town on their feet and they all just waiting on you to speak. That's when you realize that this is bigger than me. All I wanna do 